Hello? 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 <laughs> what I meant to say was Hello everybody. Hello my Twitch frogs. How are we today? I hope everybody's doing good. Welcome to another crazy Twitch stream. Was that was that what you guys wanted? Is that which 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 is was that what you guys wanted? Sorry, sorry. What I meant to say is, what's going on, guys? Today in the Twitch stream, we're gonna do some crazy stuff. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys want to see more? Is that is that what you is that what you guys want? Is that what you guys wanted to see? Is that is that? Is that what is that what you wanted? Is that what you get? Yeah. Also sponsored by Rain Shadow Legends. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> My dudes, what's going on? How we doing today, Chat? How we doing today? Another beautiful day in the hat alone. Ah, man, it's almost like we eat, breathe, and sleep this shit. There you go. It's a, yeah, yeah, that's what we want to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the only reason why you guys come to stream, is to hear that live. Any other reason? Nah, there is no other reason. <sighs> there is no other reason. Why am I so tall? Why am I like, why am I like 10 feet tall? What's going on here? Yo. Yo, yo, what's happening, chat? Hello, hello, hello. I'm back. Did you miss me? I I miss you guys. You do wings yet? Yeah, I got I got cheese or. Yeah, I got the cheese or wings, man. It was it was really cool. Re re really really awesome. S super super excited. It's great. I love I love having a chance of 13 wings and getting dog shit wings that I just have to trash. It's good stuff. At least it wasn't Amrock wings. It's the exact same as Amrock wings. Cheezor, Troll, of uh, freaking at this point, Amarok, Efon, Troll, and Cheezor are the exact same to me. Yeah, the free source slots were awesome. I mean, the new limited time gem shop was awesome. I bought it out. Man, was it just me? Or was it this limited ti uh, time gem shop? Super fucking expensive. Like, like crazy, crazy expensive, dude. You know the disc, the person saying, if I got gold rose, you owe me VIP, I got them, dude. Yeah, I heard a couple people got them. Dipped out last stream, we're going to stick around the gameplay this time. Let's go, dude. What limited? The limited time jump shop. He needs yacht number three. I think it was like, what? Was it in something like, uh, like 16k gems or something? Statue from the new weekly things. Nice for beginners. Imagine trade 12 trophies for 1k power statues as a new player. Uh, yeah, it's pretty strong if you can get that amount of trophies, to be fair. Yeah, I, I bought I bought out the whole limited time gem shop. It cost me like 16. It was like 16k gems. It's fucking expensive. It was crazy expensive. But I mean, it's okay. It's okay. I think, I, I don't know. Maybe it was less. I don't know. But yeah, I bought the whole thing out. It's fine. It, it was good. It was good. It was great. Minus one card still, though? Yeah, true. But how was your guys' weekend? But how's it going today, chat? How we doing? How goes the games? Uh, I didn't die, by the way. I still haven't died yet. And, uh, you know, we're, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting closer. Closer. We're not as close as we were last time, but that's also because we had a lot more levels because of Crystal Custard was really actually carrying really hard. Seen the future rotation items for the World Two feature? Yeah, I have, dude. I, 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 already, I got, I got, I managed to kill the boss, the first weekly boss. So, uh, it's actually quite easy. 
Still waiting to be able to replay the battles. Hell yeah, Big Prince. I can now hourly click Bleach Logs Oaks if I want to. Nice. I got a second ram on my Iron Man. Imagine getting two epics on your Iron Man and complaining about it, Rupert. Like, how dare you, dude? You rolled two 2.5%. How about you, Ligma? I got Frog, okay? Kermit is my best friend. I love him very much, but still. He doesn't have battle armor, so it's not the same. I'll take Frog, dude. I'll trade you, bro. Pet trading when? My iOS was uh, one room for World 5, pretty hype. Nice, Decro. Wow, Decro, you actually went ham, bro. iOS was decent, and I bought the pearls from the last update after the new ones rolled over, and now I can't buy new wings because it's in the same slot. It's okay. We, we, you probably would have gotten, you probably would have got Amrog wings. It's fine. I'm going to do, what the bug am I? I don't know. I don't know. Make the mate, I guess, and, and have the breed a sheepy. I don't, I don't fucking know. Just got my level 13 vial and ran 3D printer for the first time in two weeks. Finally hit 1 million Oakalogs ore. Nice. How was the weekend? Made some big gains. Nice, dude. Yeah, I, I, made, I made a few gains. I made a few gains. Have you checked the wiki? It's all you can buy for the trophies in the future. It's Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. We'll go take a look at the wiki to see what you can buy. Chat, it's actually crazy. And chat, I think we might be able to buy the pink bandana, dude. The pink bandana might be for the sale. Mm, finally. We don't have to, finally, we don't have to watch uh, Lava's fucking streams in order to get a pink bandana, because he, last time I checked, he, uh, he, he hasn't streamed in a while. I got the starter bundle, extra storage, kind of OP. Yeah, that was super dope that Lava decided to add a little bit more to the starter pack. So, I mean, the extra 16 storage spots were actually huge. Free Ram Day, got an extra Ram whenever trade comes out. Nice, all right, sounds good. Just made old gold tools for my characters. Hell yeah. Good. Also saw your alt account. I think his name was Lava Flame too, but didn't talk at all. So you were in game Saturday. Uh, also, why were you in game on Saturday when you didn't stream on Friday? Oh, because when I went for a trip, I just leave. I left him AFK overnight. See, the nice thing about DK or like crystal, crystal statue or crystal, crystal farming with statue farming is I won't run out of storage space for like three days, so I can just leave him active AFK on my computer for three days. And he will not, he will not go max capacity. So, I mean, that's probably why it looked like I was still online when I was actually not. Just unlock World 4. Do you have any tips on lab? Uh, get to World 5. Get to World 5 as soon as possible. Put all your characters until you can get to Killer Brightside. Go push your Squire to get Divine Knight. Push Divine Knight if you're, this is for active farming. If you're active farming. Push them all the way to world five. Get to world five. Do your divinity grind. Get goat god. Get level 40 divinity. And then you can put everybody into lab. And they'll be leveling up lab and divinity at the same time. Saves you a lot of, lot of time and effort. Yo, what's up, my dudes? Yo, what's up, White? What's going on, bro? AFK in town while moving hosting event. That's kind of sus. Wait, AFK in town? How was I? I wasn't AFK in town. What? I, I, I logged out of my Iron Man because my Iron Man, whatever he was doing, was going to be max capacity and lagging, but my, my, my main account was at Clammy's the whole time. So don't do lab until you get World 5? I mean, yeah, for the most part. Well, at least you, you want a couple of characters in lab so they get the thing called uh, Killer Brightside, which it basically gives you two times kills. You were AFK on your alt or not AFK? I was... I was... I was... Not AFK. I was at I was at Tyson's. Uh, logged off at Tyson's, and then I woke up to. I mean, I came back to. You don't have enough food, so you get less AFK gains. And I was like, "Oh, okay, that's kind of lame, but that's fine." But chat, we got to roll a new pet today. It's a new week, brand new week, new beautiful, beautiful pet. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we're getting Rip Slug today. All right? I feel good about today. I feel like Rip Slug's going to happen. We're going to get super juiced out. So we got a couple things that we have to do before we start stream. Well, obviously, we started stream already, but we have a couple things before we actually get into content. I saw that uh, Llama uh, recently put out a Megalodon guide. Uh, so I want to see uh, how much better it is than mine. It better be fucking better than mine. My last Megalodon guide was like two years ago. Okay? So... He's got, it, 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 the bar isn't that fucking high, all right? Would you send after reaching mountains for your first time? I scale. I've only sent it once so far. Eh, I mean, you can if you want. I'd probably get started on Realm. Bro, I'm trying to make your lava joke. Why can't you understand? <laughs> so 
Sorry, were you making were you making a, a, a joke that wasn't good? Sorry, I fell asleep. I got my dude today. Damn, it's good. Hell yeah, brother. New Cinderbane AI short as well. Think that one's a banger. Yeah, it's pretty good. You gonna check out the new update in World Two? I already did it. Sorry, chat. I was gonna showcase it for stream, but I I got I got a little got a little carried away, and I just did it. Uh, I ended up getting all the all the kills. By the way, I uh, I maxed out on the weekly boss. Uh, it was really easy. All I did was buff, buff as much as I could, and then I tacked, and I did like what, like 40k something damage and one shot the boss all five difficulties with one hit. Uh, by the way, damage carries over, just FYI. So, I mean, you just buff, 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 and then you attack, and then it just does big, big damn, huge damn, easy peasy, dude. What's a good average statue, uh, statue for starting off World 4 because I'm lacking on levels right now? Statue farming isn't really that important until you're like, re like once you get like crystal farms going. With your account, you could have randomly clicked. Actually, I had to restart because my first clicks, I actually, believe it or not, didn't end up, I only got to the fourth difficulty. So you actually have to use a little bit of brain power. Just a, just a tiny bit. But I mean, if I've ever played any turn-based MMO, or I would say MMOs, any turn-based RPGs in my lifetime, I would know that, for instance, like Wizard 101, with a turn-based combat, what do you do first? You put all your shields up before you do big damage. Uh, for, for fucking Final Fantasy, what do you do? You buff all your characters up before doing a big damage. Same with this. What do you do? You put all the buffs up before you do big damage. It's all the same. Kind of nice, you can get 6% uh, multiplicative damage for recess at the end of the week. Yeah, I totally, I totally didn't do the miscellaneous bonuses. Got Frog from Companions, finally got my cooking speed from 16.6k to 23.6k. I got Diamond Chef, I got Hippo Artifact and Sailing, my Bubo gets 10.5 million damage. I got Sandcastles and Breeding, I got a Small Nugget Jeep. That's all the gains I got. That's pretty good, Mateen. That's, that's not bad, dude. I, I, you know what I think, you know what I think Mateen's got going on, dude? I think Mateen's got like this notebook, and he like writes down everything that he's got going for the week, dude. Appreciate it. It's good shit. Yo, Abby, she wrote. No problem. Of course. Absolutely. YouTube frog, love it. Yo, thank, thank you, Abby. I appreciate those kind words. I appreciate my YouTube frogs. Appreciate them. Checking out the VODs is why they're there. You know, get them, you know, that's what they use. Actually, the VOD channel is almost at 2K, chat. We're almost at 2K subs on the second channel. So if you guys haven't subbed to the second channel, go do it now, please. Give that second channel a little bit of love. Do I need a favor? When trading comes out, can I get Sandy Paw and Frog? I can't get them anymore. I never got one. I, I can't, dude. I'm locked out. I can't get those anymore. I got 12 more animal bubbles. Yo, in the hell yeah, Rico. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what we love to see. That's the good stuff. Any tips if I just got to World 5? This first stream where I can ask you. Uh, you're you're going to want to you're going to want to bing chill. And you're going to want to do your divinity grind and your lab grind. Yes, chat, we have a lava announcement if you guys have not seen it. There is a brand new update, of course. Uh, we have our beautiful beautiful new UI. And I got to say our the UI looking pretty damn spiffy. Uh, I do really like how I can't wait until more and more come out. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm mixed on this, but I love cosmetics. Anything that changes the game or how it looks, I'm all about it. Give me more. UI looks fire. It makes the game look less and less like a mobile game, and that's what we love to see. Because you got to realize he has to do stuff like this or else the game starts looking dated. If the game starts looking too dated, then that's the issue. Yo, what's up, Pickle? Yeah, that's what I did. Forgot all my gains, writing it down, especially when I got a lot of stuff completed. Hell yeah, dude. Wanted to get the 40 trophy UI, but couldn't replay the boss. Yeah, that feels bad, dude. Don't get to try the new battle feature. It's anti-hardcore. Yeah. Yeah, true, dude. True. I tried on my hardcore. You couldn't do shit on it, dude. Feels bad, man. Feels big bad. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, it looks cool, dude. Like, to be fair, like, look, 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 look at this, dude. Like, like, I mean, 
Look at his UI now, bro. That looks that looks sick. Are you telling me that's not sick? That makes that just makes the stream look so much better. Makes the stream look so much better. UI a bit broken in dungeons. Ah, it's the first day. Every everything with lava's broken on the first day. Having to apply each one one at a time is annoying. But but the thing is, is no, it's not because once they all come out, then you can have everything set up for your own personalize. Yo, Car Wimby, thank you for the five months. Because because here's the thing. Here's what here's what you gotta realize, okay? So, you know, if you if you get like the elemental sorcerer and you and you get like the galaxy background. That means every elemental sorcerer can have the galaxy background. You know, every boobo can have like the like some kind of poison looking background. So like every time you switch, it's all of a sudden an eye catcher and it makes it feel everybody could see what character you're on because it's dependent on what your UI is. It's easy big brain. Does it change the way your item screen works? No, I don't think so. We need a hot bar, the ramp jump at a yeah, true. We need an IBA one. Let's do Ethereum buffs are great. I was going to do a video showcasing all of them, but it, eh, eh, there's, there's nothing really to showcase. Wait, 14 new on ban requests. What the hell happened? Uh, I mean, I mean, being a streamer, that happens. Try the next update. Will let us hold down candies to use them for faster use. So oh, probably. What cards did you get on Steam? Oh yeah, chat. By the way, anybody want to trade me some Steam cards, bro? Yo, I, uh, I want to get all of them. Anybody, anybody want to donate their Steam cards to me, dog? Be able to match UI's cosmetics will be sick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can. The RAM has been waiting for you for a while now. Pet him. I have Journeyman Blood Berserker. Still waiting for the optimization pad. It'll happen eventually. I don't know how nuggets are calculated, but I haven't gotten a better one since my pull was small, dude. Yeah, true. Show how to get them. I'll, tr I'll trade versus World 2 PD carry. I already sold mine. Why'd you sell yours, dude? Which ones do you need, G? Here, let me check. I need... I got some Forager ones. So, I got two Journeymans and a Blood Berserker. So, what I still need is I still need uh, Beginner, Beastmaster, and Wizard. The ones I still need. Okay, I can give you... Okay, I offered you a trade. Okay, all right. Uh, I will give you. I'll give you a battle block theater. Wait, what? What do you? I don't want his steam cards. He has a brand new update. I have one beginner twenty three. I don't want his steam cards. What ones do you need? Uh, here, I will trade you, I will trade you a Devourer one. Here, uh, wait, no, I can't trade you that. That's Here, I'll, I'll trade you a Team Fortress 2 one, okay? I'll trade you some TF2 gear. I will give you... I will give you the, the gloves of running urgently, alright? Okay, and I, and I, and I, and I want, and I want, uh, I want your, I want your beginner, okay? All right, that's what I want here. I made an offer. Wait, uh, I have to do Gmail. What cards do you need? I uh, I need uh, Beastmaster and Wizard. I'm getting beginner from Pickle. I know you convert them to gems that I realize are Steam gems. Yeah, rest in peace, dude. Plus one scrap, dude. I have one of both of those. You can have. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, yo, Decro, DM me your, DM me your friend code so I can friend you, bro. Gave you your Steam profile, the clown reward, dude? Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Is there a cooldown on trading when you become friends? There better not be. I'll be sad, bro. But I mean, we got, we got to get them all right away, right? I feel like, I feel like that's necessary. I had to confirm the trade offer. All right, there we go. It's it's confirmed now. Got to catch them all. Well, I mean, yeah, of course. How do you get the Steam cards? I don't know. I got Wizard. Hell yeah, Griffy with a full set seems wrong. That's what I'm saying. That's why I need a full set, dude. I need a full set coming out there. It's the max number of Coliseum tickets per day. You can get three per day, and it and it maxes out at nine. So you can do three days of three. 
Should be good now. Missing items trade on hold. Why is one trade on hold? Why what? Why is trade on hold? On hold for 24 hours? God damn it. Stupid Steam. Probably think I'm trying to this is your first trade you've ever done as a microtransaction. You know what I noticed, dude? I've noticed I noticed people have been uh I've been getting a lot of I've been getting a lot of uh DMs, dude. I've been getting a ton of DMs of people just asking for their uh for some reason. Sent you a DM, we'll give you a beginner. I actually just got a beginner. Thank you, dude. Um So basically what's been happening is people have been DMing my Discord and being like, hey, can you review my IE? Like I'm just I'm just gonna go to everybody's IE. Like I've got like over the weekend, I got literally 15 messages. All be like, hey Griffey, can you take a look at my IE? I don't know what I'm doing. And it's like, bro, bro, I don't I don't got I don't I don't got time for that. I, I don't I don't got I don't got time to look at the IE review, dude. I don't got time for that, man. You review my IE? Like, I'll do, like, it's never from doing it on stream. Yo, Hadix. Thank you for the nine months. Oh, bro, we got a, we got a baby, dude. Hadix baby? Sounds like an eligible job. Yeah, true. Check some IE profiles for some guys. Now I feel like Griffey, dude. Yeah. Will you please be my friend, dude? Ask Reddit. What? what be your friend? What did you add me as a friend? Pickles, you know it's funny. The guild recruitment has been deleted five times since I applied, but I never got a DM. Wait, what? Really? No, it hasn't been deleted multiple times. What do you mean? This is our first time that we've actually done a guild sign-up wipe. Hey, you know it's crazy, chat? So yesterday we did a... Uh, I, I decided to wipe the guild sign-ups because people weren't responding, so we wanted to go, we wanted to go fresh. Within literally 11 hours, 50 people signed up again. We are, we already have a backlog again, dude. Like, holy shit. Like, it's getting out of fucking control here. Unnecessary. How long is the wait typically for to get in the guilds? Like, uh, like usually a week, maybe? I be on the top? Yeah, true. Yo, Alpha. Coming with the primer. Yo, thank you, brother. So at least the second time you got wiped or joined right after wipe, did you? You have amnesia or something? Of course it did multiple sign-up wipes. Maybe I, maybe I, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do, bro. Here, I'll, I'll accept Spesh as a friend. There you go, Spesh. I accepted you as a friend. You're officially Steam friends. Don't be stalking me, okay? More people just gotta do solo guilds, dude? Nah, IBA on fucking top, baby. IBA on top. <laughs> Thank you for the 2,000 biddies, bro. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, brother. I'll apply again. Yeah, make sure to apply again. Chad, if you guys haven't applied for the guild that you're not part of the guild yet, the, we, we re redid it. We should be, be able to get through. Why does the whale have a knife? The real question is, why? It's, it's, it's because it's Australian, okay? It's an Australian whale. That's why it has a knife, all right? I need to apply, dude? Yeah, I mean, Magic Egg kicked out from the IBA, bro. Imagine. Case of Moose shows up. Crikey. Yeah, absolutely, dude. All right, as, as, we, as we were taking a look here, as, as we were going back, okay? Anything from Australia is deadly? Yeah, true, dude. True and real. So, take a look here. You know, it's pretty sick. You know, you got, you, got, you got all that good stuff. I mean, it's not too bad. Trophies. You know what? Honestly, real talk, chat. I'll take this over the battle pass any fucking day, bro. <laughs> any day, okay? Yo, white. You fucking heard wrong. Thank you for the three months, dude. Thank you, brother. World 6 when? Yeah, World 6 soon, TM, bro. World 6 soon. Is that good stuff? Two months? 
Yeah, I could pro I could probably see World Six probably show it up in two to three months, maybe if lucky. I don't know possibility. But then we also have what we were talking about before chat is we have a future content blog, which is we have trading cards with badges now. So now we can craft badges with cool little backgrounds and emojis, bro. See that, dude? It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, dude. Kind of fire. Not gonna lie. Uh, I actually, believe it or not, I'm one of those people that do like Steam cards and shit. Like, I do like the collectibles on Steam and everything. I don't know, it's kind of kind of crazy, but I mean, this is... But the thing is, chap, this, this is more important than you think it is, okay? Just hear me out. Let me cook for a second, all right? Some people maybe be like, eh... Eh, it's, it's okay, I don't really care about it, but here's the thing, okay? This legitimizes Eidolon even more. Because if you know any game that is decently good, they have these specific things. Such as backgrounds, badges, and Steam cards. So now since they have these things, Eidolon is more legitimate in Steam's eyes than, than more than ever before. Okay? So even if you guys don't care about it, it's still a W for Eidolon because that just means it's just that much better. Just think, now we can get card packs for Eidolon running 24-7. Is that how that works? All the Shovel Knight cards for your birthday, but there was a hold, dude? Man, damn. You think the Anvil Tab 3 Helm are worth crafting over uh, Dementia and Void? Eh, I mean, you're going to want to craft Dementia over Platinum any day of the week anyways. Yo, hydrate, dude. All right. I got my, Chad, I got my Fiji, my Fiji water. I'm, uh, I'm going expensive today. Chad, the joke is, it's not actually Fiji water. I just put Brita in it. I just put Brita in it. It's not even Fiji water. They had a bridge in the gold mine. They've had that for a while, bro. You just have to do the quest line and then the bridge shows up. Just feels like Lava's trying to tick off boxes, which he should be doing. R r realistically, I mean, if if there's boxes to tick off for a game, you, you better goddamn tick off those boxes. I read that you get cards for spending money on the game. All right, well, we're going to have to spend some more money, I guess. Well, I mean, that's bullshit then. If you get, if you get cards for spending on the money, why do I not have like 9,000 cards to give away? Get trading cards simply by playing one of the participating games. As you play, you'll ca occasionally receive trading cards, which will be placed in your Steam inventory. All right, okay, well, there you go. King, do free to play yet? No, not yet. Need to farm small mana pots to make icing iron bites for genies already bought out shop? Hell yeah, dude. What's up, Durotu? What's going on? It's $1 for a $9 spend on the game. <laughs> Should have, like, way more cards than that, then. Spending money in the game to get cards is how all cards work. Well, I mean, that's fine. Getting frog from companions made my damage to 11.242 million now. Well, look at you, big dog. You're killing it. We have a second... Do we think second boob or, or second ES? Second ES, 100%. Second ES, no no competition. No one knows someone gave me a water bottle, took a massive gulp, my life ended for a few minutes, dude. Yeah, that's when you realize that everything hit, hit the shitter real quick, dude. All right, let's see. I want to show you guys the new. So if you guys didn't know, there's a brand new boss in World 2 that came out. Lava Flame. Spin the wheel. Lava, you can't just come in here and just like, just like run the show. All right. All right. Okay. I'm busy steam trading right now. I'm trying to get all the cards and you're coming in here and you're disrupting the stream and you're telling me to fucking spin the wheel. All right. I'm trying to finesse my chat. Yo, we got a hype train. Spin the wheel, baby, dude. Bro. No, you know what? You know what? You know how this works, chat. You tell me what to do. I ain't gonna do it. All right? She's talking to split personality. Okay, okay, chat. Why are you talking to yourself? God damn it. Heads up, baby. Woo! Red hat god. Woo! You'd love to see it, dude. Yo, thank you for the 420. You won't get a creator code this way? Bro, I won't get a creator code anyways, okay? I've given up on the creator code. It's not gonna fucking happen, all right? All right? I'm, I'm, too, I'm too out of my mind, all right? It, it, bro, it's like, you know, hey, 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 chat, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a creator code. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. 
Yeah, it's coming soon, chat. Just like World 6. <sighs> How do you donate to yourself without speaking chat? But thank you for the vibe gifted. Thank you, thank you, Lava. Thank you, dude. And Moonbloom, thank you for the resub primers, dude. And thank you for the 420 bits, brother. Wheel? Oh my god. Okay, I will spin the wheel once, all right? Are you... Fine. Fine. You guys get one wheel spin, okay? I'll, get, I'll do it just once. Why do you guys do this to me? We have we have a we have a situation here. If you spin, if you spin, I'll lose all respect for you. All right, we're not spinning the wheel. All right, we're not spinning the wheel. No, no, you have rules. Stick to them. All right, okay, fair. All right, easy. Plus plus five, baby. That's what we love to see. Hey, no, he he did it, bro. He said it. You're not supposed to listen to chat. I didn't. I did. I didn't spin the wheel, bro. I didn't spin the wheel. Sp spin for hardcore Iron Man? Yeah, let's refine my salts, bro. Let me, let me, let me refine my salts, okay? He told you not to spin, though? But yeah, but he also told me to spin, so that counter, that, you know, that counter arguments everything. <laughs> Yo, weed glasses on, huh, dude? Bro, psh. There, this is a drug-free zone I have, you know? Drug-free. Counterspell, dude. <laughs> hug a crystal on the hardcore for wheel, uh, bro. I don't. I ain't hugging. I ain't hugging no crystal. Yeah, tall. Yeah, true. Tall. You have one normal monitor and one vertical for reading chat, right? Yep. Yeah, I have. I have one. I have one vertical monitor so I can see all of chat and everybody. So I'm looking at chat right now. I mean, vertical. I'm gonna be honest with you. The vertical monitor game goes hard, dude. But I think I need three monitors. Chat. I think I think three monitors needs to happen so I can have all my stuff on the one screen. I can have chat on the second stream, and I can have the stock market on the third screen. You know, we need that, dude. Do you turn off auto use on your pets in Teams? Are you meant for pet arena? There's a little there's a little slider that you could turn off before you start. Three screens definitely play. Yeah, absolutely. Why not four monitors and three computers? Because I'm not XQC, dude. I'm not a juicer. All right. Four is best. Yeah, I don't think my I don't think my uh, my 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 standing desk can handle four monitors attached to it. To be honest, six consoles. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so where we need to go is uh, yo, what's up, Ranch? What's going on, dude? Wait, I'm looking for uh the what is? I guess it's maybe it's uh, world two, worlds. I guess w world two maybe. Where where is it? Wait, where, where's the new, where's the new wiki page? Where's the new wiki page? I want to see what all the goodies are. I've seen all the goodies already, but I don't know where they are. For the new boss, where are they? You have to search for it. It's called weekly battles. Oh, okay. Search weekly. All right. All right. Ah, I found it. I found it, chat. I did it all by myself, my massive, gigantuan brain. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Wow, there's stuff that requires. So, chat, apparently we're going to have a bunch of new UIs here, by the way. Like, dude, like, just think about this, okay? See, Galaxy UI? Just, just, just think about this, dude. Just think about this. This one could be for the Elemental Sorcerer, Blood Berserker, oh, bro, the Rift UI? Oh, the grass UI could be for the Beastmaster. Sandburn. Bro, there's some good there's some good shit here, dude. There's some nice ones, dude. Yeah, the Rift UI is goaded, dude. I love that actually. And I love how he used Infinolite, dude. Yeah, I like how Lava decided to use the Infinolite. It's called Ascended Being. Yo, possible leaks incoming chat? Pos potential leaks. And look at this, chat. Look at this. Pink bandana. For 999 trophies, the legendary pink bandana. Wait, they are per character, not account wide? No, you're just allowed to. They, they are account wide. You're just allowed to. Every time you swap characters, they can have their own personalized one, so it looks badass. If I see OGA Gamer on there, dude. Yeah. So apparently there's like boss battled spillover talent books. Wait, uh, what are these? So, so apparently, apparently, chat. To my understanding, there is a new one that is called... Where is it? What? what? Where'd it go? Where, where, where is she? Where is she? I swear I just had it. I, sw I swear I Oh, here it is. So, 
Apparently, boss battle spillover gives you more drop rate for each difficulty weekly boss is defeated. We get to that to 100. So if, I, if I'm correct, okay, just, just hear up, okay? I think, what is there? 45 boss weekly battles? Right? Right? No G? So there's, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times five, that's, that's 45. Okay? You know, nine, so that, that's 45. So realistically here, that should be, that should be, that should be huge, right? That should be, that should be, that should be massive, right? You know, I feel, I feel like that's a shit ton of drop rate. That's a, that's a massive amount. Drop rate for each difficulty of weekly boss battle defeated. Does it go to 100 though? We're understanding that it does go to 100. So I mean, it's probably not just going to be as broken as we think it's going to be, realistically. We probably think, oh dude, that's like, that's like 12.5% drop rate per, per, per whatever, so that it caps it, so it goes to like 100 and something. Yeah, we think we're thinking it goes to like 562%, but I don't think that's how it works. I th I think I think what it does is it just goes to 5. So it's going to be either 62.5% or it's going to be 562%. Yeah, it makes yeah, it makes me think 12.5 times not yeah, exactly. So it's I think it's going to be 12.5 times 5. I don't think I don't think it's going to I don't think it's going to be uh yeah. Board to death talent works. I, 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 oh, I mean, let's look at it. Wait, can we? Even, yeah, here it is. Reduces the respawn timer. Wait, what? Oh my god. Will Beastmaster not be dog shit? Oh my god, shit. Oh my god. Will Beastmaster be good? Sheesh, bro. He doesn't have to be in the lab. BM useful? BM might be good? Character respawn time? Wait. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, is this, wait, is this character respawn? Oh no, oh no, this is character respawn. Oh no, no, we've been debated again. God damn it, stop with the debates. Spruce survival, perfect for the Iron Man. We can't, what are you talking about? It's not perfect for the Iron Man. The Iron Man can't even do the new fucking World 2 stuff. Because he requires multiple characters in order to pass that shit. You can't even get fucking trophies on the Iron Man. Still useful BM can say less time. Yeah, true. Use, useless talent book. You know what? For all those people that lick the floor every day of the week, this will be good for you. All right? This will be, this will be fantastic for you. Because it also does boost AFK survival percent. So that means you can use more time candy. So if you like licking the floor, this is the talent for you. You're Griffy when you wear glasses, you're Lava when you're not, dude. No, that's fake, dude. Just get a high skill level, see insta kill all five tiers with a single move. Yeah, true. That that that's that's what I did. I just buffed up. All you have to do is just buff, buff, buff the whole entire through, and then you just do one attack and you do big stupid dumb damage. Easy peasy. No, you can't trick me, dude. We need either's a timer. Yeah. So it reduces it by 400. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is it random event time yet? Bro, don't, don't even, don't even do that to me, dude. Shatter, don't even, don't even, bro. All right. I don't want to, I don't want to hear about, I don't want to hear about that shit, dude. But check a look, take, you know, we, we take a look at those stuff. Take a look at this stuff though, dude. Take a look at this stuff. Okay. First of all, the crow perch. I'm so excited for this. Holy shit. This is going to be awesome. The crow perch is such a cool hat, dude. I'm so fucking excited for the crow perch. I am mm, mm, so happy for this, dude. I love this hat. Little, little crow boy. This might be the new Beastmaster hat, by the way. New Beastmaster, a little bit of crow. Gotta love the cosmetics. It's good. You know, you get the 100 gold food statues. Uh, a thousand statues depending on the week, but you know what that means chat? That means there's a potential chance of a thousand Kachow statues, okay? One thousand Kachow statues. That's kind of big. That's kind of huge. Alright? That means, that means you could, that means you could get some big gains here. 
That means you gets a big kachow. But that means that also means that potentially level 200 kachow statues could mean. All right. But the big, big winners here, okay? The big winners are the silver and gold stopwatches, okay? After your daily reset, forward or backwards by 15 minutes, that's kind of cool. The gold pocket stopwatch, dude, or pocket watch. Shift time forward by 24 hours, triggering daily bonuses and resets. This is disgusting. Okay. Alchemy is gonna go burr. Holy shit. That's amazing. That is so good. Obviously, it's a one-time consumable. But you gotta realize how much you can skip with this. Okay? That means, chat, that means your, your 50 alchemy bubbles per day. You can use it to get another one. That means anything refinery. That means pushing alchemy. That means sigil pushing, chat. Sigil pushing. Sigil pushing. Hello? Sigil pushing? All that GP farming. So now GP is going to look skewed as shit. Cooking is going to be huge. Does it affect sigils? We don't know that. We don't know if it does it affect sigils or not. Prince? It says when you're over it. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Hold down for four. Restocking items are triggering various dailies and systems. There, there, there's, there's systems, S -s systems, systems. It could be. We, 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 I have, I have hope. I have, I have hope. All right. I have, I have, I have lots of hope, okay? Don't you, don't you, don't you take this away from me, dude. Don't you take this away from me, okay? All right? I'm, I'm coped. I'm coped. Let me, let me, let me have my cope, okay? Oh, so chat? Oh, so? Plus two to slab. Absolutely. Can't forget that. Oh, wait. True. That also implies snail chat. That also implies snail. Snail chant and also stamps that, that also applies to stamps as well. So that means one, two. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hello? Okay, that's a little too zoomed in. Okay, so that means one, two, three, four. Four slabs. Four slabs. That's plus four slab. That's real, realistically, all that matters. Just hit 1.05 cooking. What's your uh, what's your cooking speed? I think it's like eight eight point seven e forty. Pretty sure somewhere around there. Doesn't affect prints accordingly to some end gamers. Well, that's bullshit. What will you do if you stock like fifty gold watches? We'll have a we'll have a good old time. What does Star Talents do? Uh, so bored to death is kind of just increases your death respawn timer, and uh, uh, boss battle is more drop rate. Silver Pock Watch could be busted if you keep gaining daily resets. Push the timer to 15 minutes. You just daily reset for more resets. I mean, you could. It's not an event, right? It'll be there forever so we can get the cosmetics every time we have excess trophies and stack the gold. I, I would assume so. Yeah, I would assume that this is permanent now. Also, chat, by the way, Lava has moved the idle skilling NPC to, to dread, dread low ore, but have no fear. You can still use it in the World 1 town. The codes still work in the World 1 town. I think it's more of a just a, rem a reminder to people that it's like, oh, hey, you got to Dreadlow Ore. By the way, you could do idle skilling for a free event. So, I mean, that's, that's good. That's good. That's what we love to see. Look at the wiki edit time. What a page was last edited 18th of September at 1337. Oh, elite, elite reset. Look at that, dude. Look at that. So that that's pretty cool, you know, all around. <clears throat> cool. Was, was it was it? Did I need to make a video for it? No, no. I might make I might make a video for it, you know, next weekly boss and be like, ah, oh, hey, by the way, if you want to know how to easily kill the weekly boss, hey, you know, that's you know, that's all you gotta do. It's just buff and then attack and then attack and a buff and you know, ba -ba 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 -ba. it's good. You know, that's the, way, that's the way it's got to go, dude. That's the way it's got to go. But chat, we have a couple of things to react to. We have a, uh, we have to go to YouTuber. Okay. Are misactions worth it? I don't know. I don't know. Dude. I don't know. 
He's a thing called common sense. That's not true. That's not true. So we have this thing to react to. We have a we have a llama video to react to because he did an Eidolon Megalodon mini game guide. Okay, so we gotta make sure. We gotta make sure. I'm not XQC. Okay, chat. We have things to react to. Yeah, but I don't stutter every every other sentence. Okay. Besides, it's a Megalodon guide. He's stepping on my toes. Okay, we gotta react and we gotta hate watch. Okay, just kidding. But to say at least we can understand him. Yeah, dude. I have you know I have great pronunciation. And we also have a uh, AI generated for Cinderbane as well that we need to take a look at. So that's kind of poggers. Where is it? Okay, so it's uh, this one. This one. Here we go. Stop. When did you just start reacting to YouTube content? I react to all the Eidolon content, okay? I, re I react to all, all, all Eidolon content. All right? I have you know. I have you know that's a thing, okay? Just, 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 just enjoy. Just shut up and enjoy. I'd rather watch Anvin or Penguin then. Yeah, then fucking go watch them then. Fuck off! All right, so we got the Sprout. What do you think about this one, Chad? I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what else you expect from from this, to be honest. I mean, I mean, did you read? No, I did not. I did, I did not. I did, I did, I did not. Oh, oh, I'd rather watch. Oh, than X. Oh, okay. All right, all right. C tier. I think it's all right. I, I think it's, I think it's all right. I, I think, I think maybe it's like a, th maybe like a three. I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10. I mean, to be fair, it's Sprout. You can't really expect much from it. Okay, TPP, this better be good. One eyeball? Eh. I mean, eh. Worse than Sprout? His eyes are 90 degrees off. You should look about it, dude. I mean... I don't know about you, chat. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna be the first one to say it. This looks sussy. Okay? The, he, he looks traumatized. There's something happening in this bathroom, and it just it's looking sussy, okay? Alright, maybe he saw Dr. Dr. Def, who knows? The tongue looking a little weird, it looks more like a cup, to be honest. Someone had Taco Bell, dude. Yeah, this this dude, he's seen some shit. Yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> the NPC, yeah, dude. TP Pete has seen some shit, bro. All right, Tiki Chief, this better be good. Chad, fucking Chad, I, I, I think this is good. Th this is a good one. This, this, this is good. I like this. This is fire. That's bad. That's pretty dope, dude. You know, yo, when, when are we getting Eidolon with uh, ray tracing, bro? This is what this is what Eidolon with ray tracing would look like, okay? You could take Amrock, 10 out of 10 would, dude. RTX on, absolutely. Pigs are still better, but it's good. I, I would think, the, uh, to be fair, the pig NPCs, the two best types of NPCs in the game are the pig NPCs and the blobby lights. The pigs are just overall fantastic, and the blobby lights, I mean, you just gotta love the blobby lights. They're like the little mascots. Alright, next one. Let me guess, very basic. That's kind of fire. That's kind of fire. I, 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 yeah, I'd say that's gas. I, I, yeah, I'd say that's gas, dude. That's a, yeah, that's a, that's that's gas. Well, it's pretty sick. Better than the original? Yeah, I mean the original's pretty good. I mean, yeah, I mean it's not bad. All right, what, what's the last one here? What we got for the last one? Oh, here we go. We got a pig. Best one. Best one. Hands down, best one. Pigs always take it home. Pigs are the fucking chads of Eidolon, All right. Bro, Papaya Pega, even though I hate this quest line, I fucking can't stand the quest line for this guy. Amazing. Bro, absolutely amazing. Yo, when are we, when are we gonna get, when do we get the piggy plushies win, bro? That's what I'm asking for. 
Yo, what's up, Llama? I want this as a doll, dude. Pig has never failed us. Just got back in the game after a long time off. World 3 pulled slug pet on third try last night. Feels good. Nice, Dom. Welcome on in, dude. Welcome back. Looks like Bingus, dude. I think this is fire, bro. I think this is absolute straight gas. Is that the last one? Okay, real talk. I'm gonna like this. Obviously, here you go, chat. Make sure, make sure to make sure to put, you know, like like the uh Oh oops. I put uh, oops, sorry, I did it twice. Um why does it end like that? Okay, so real talk here. Uh Poppy up make sure to like it on comment on it, chat, just to help it with the algorithm because we you know we watch it. So I mean if we watch it, you gotta make sure to help promote it. Papa Pig is the goat. All right, so here, here's here's the one here's the one thing that I have. I feel like I feel like there's a little too much filler in the short. I feel like there I feel like you could squish at least two to three more into each short. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. But you should be able to push at least a couple more in. I just feel like I feel like the transitions are a little slow. Maybe I'm just picky. Maybe I'm just based. Who knows? But all I'm saying is, you know, you know. You know. All right. Next one, chat. But then there will be less shorts. Yeah, but sometimes sometimes qual sometimes quality is better than quantity. Okay? There's there there's a reason why I do weekly uploads instead of instead of daily uploads, because then it'd just be then it'd just be garbage, all right? So apparently Llama has decided to step on my toes and make a Megalodon mini game guide. All right, this means war, okay? This means that this man is coming on in and saying, hey, I'm going to teach you guys how to get a Megalodon. The fucking nerf, all right? No, I'm just kidding, dude. Let's, let's see. Let's see how good it is, okay? Let's see if he completely just copies my old guide, and let's see what happens. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this wide world of ours. I hope you're having a great day. Titanic Llama here, and in today's video, we'll be diving headfirst into the fishing minigame, wading through exactly how it works. Wrong! He's not using the dock! Wrong! Wrong! No more flock? I think it's because I told him that he might get demonetized quickly because if he says, what the flock, and, it, and then the, the, uh, I, the ID creator or the bot for YouTube might flag that as, as, as literally swearing. So... I think I think he's I think he went away from that. So you too can make a splash with your megalodon trophy. Alrighty, before we get into it, what do you call a fancy fish? Oh God! Sophisticated. Okay, so for everyone who didn't immediately click off the video after that, I just had up, to grab your rod and lure and let's get into the facts. Fact number one: the first fishes evolved during the Cambrian period around 541 million years ago. You know what won't take you 541 million years? Getting to level 15 fishing, which is going to be required to give yourself the best chance at catching a megalodon. So if you don't have a level 15 fisherman, go and fix that now. Fact is it just, is it is is it just me, or did 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 I have just like a minor minor stroke from all those scene skips? Is it was it just me, or am I? What happened? Do you guys do you guys remember what happened in the last five seconds? I feel like I just—I feel like I just got some little message from McDonald's, bro. I, 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 <laughs> now I'm feeling a Big Mac now, Chad. I don't know about you guys. Filet o fish? Yeah, I'm feeling like a filet o fish, dude. Act number two: the fishing quests from this whale dude give a good chunk of fishing experience. So doing these will help you with that whole leveling to fifteen. This editing's gotten better though. Alrighty. The reason we want to get to level 15 is to open up the portal to the second fishing area. The reason we want to get to this map is because of this dock platform right here. Wow! wow. This dock is our friend because with some simple positioning, we can use this. I wonder where he got this from. I wonder. I wonder where he got this tip from. Hmm. I don't know, chat. I don't know. It's good. From the wiki? Bro. The Reddit? Yeah, probably, maybe. The audacity, where did, he, where, where did you get it from? I actually, believe it or not, I, I figured it out, by the way. When, when I made it, I, I figured that shit out, okay? Just want to let you know, chat, I, I, I found it by myself. 
this as a ruler in the minigame. We want to run all the way to the left hand side of the screen. Doing this will make our character turn and walk back a few paces before you can always use WASD by the way when you click on the nearest fishing spot. If you've done this correctly, you should be aligned perfectly and you can check this by looking to see if the end of the mini game lines up with the very end of the dock. Fact number three. Sharks first evolved during the Devonian period around 395... What the fuck's with these fish facts? Why, why are we getting fucking fish facts? What? Huh? What? Why? For what reason? I feel like I'm being fucking trolled right now. I feel like I just opened up a Rick Roll video. The lore. <laughs> Why didn't you have any fish facts? Apparently I need more fish facts. Million years ago. If aligned perfectly, we can now use the end of the planks that make up the dock as markers. There's two things to look out for here. They are these darker thicker, juicy lines. And if we look at the pattern that make up the dock, take special note of the places where these two boards meet like this. What? With those in mind, huh? the word best and the rope hanging from the dock, we can give ourselves a good idea of what power is required. So let's run through those markers in detail right now. But first, fact number four. Megalodons ruled the seas from the early Miocene period 23 million years ago all the way through to the early Pliocene Epoch which ended about 2.6 million years ago. I feel like this goes without saying, but for the sake of being thorough, this here is your power bar. It goes from zero to brrrr, I, I mean seven. But knowing that, we can now align the markers we were just talking about up with power levels. So in ascending order, let's go through them now. This first dark line here is a one power throw. Where these two boards meet is a two power throw. This dark line here is a three power throw. The meeting of these two central boards right here is a four power throw. The middle of the word best is a five power throw. That's wrong actually. This line here is That's a wrong. power throw. No, it's in between the middle. It's the gap between the numbers and the B. It's the zero and the B. No, that's five. What? What are we talking about here? No, that's wrong. It's not in between. And finally, the end of the dock is a full seven power throw. I also mentioned the rope earlier. The rope marks a 1.5. So if you think of its distance between the markers for one and two, you can imagine where two and a half is gonna be, three and a half is gonna be, etc. Fact number five. Just knowing what power you need to throw in the minigame doesn't mean you will always throw what you intend to throw. Whoa, are a thing that's like not wrong. I have choked and lost a Megalodon. Absolutely. The Meg I think we've all choked. On screen before. We've all the choked five, on Meg. Yes. Well, that's more of a four and a half throw, but it has a huge hitbox, so that's what she said. <gasps> Way to fucking choke. Way to choke. I often get asked how I got so good at the fishing minigame, and here's my secret. Practice and patience. Bullshit! You ass Griffy! You fucking liar! You ass me, you piece of- Put me- Give me fucking credit! No, that's bullshit! I- I've literally watched and watched my guide on stream! What the fuck do we mean? Respect your elder, bitch! God damn it! Fucking- This is- Bro, way to not give me any fucking credit, dude. This is some A-class bullshit. As the old saying goes, practice and patience prevents piss poor performance. Or something like that. Am I fucking washed up? But when I first knuckled down and decided I wanted to go for the Meg Trophy, I spent at least two weeks using every daily minigame on fishing, practicing. I would use half of my daily attempts as throwaway games, setting myself goals like, okay, I want to throw four, four power throws in a row. If I missed one, I would reset or I would want to try and throw each power in ascending order without missing, again, resetting back to one if I missed any. Fact number six. 
The guy at the shop on this map is actually a platypus, and he has a jar of Vegemite. And as an Australian, is that is that actually true? Wait, is that is that is that factual? Is it actually a platypus with Vegemite? You should know. You coded it, bro. Is that that makes sense? There's no way that's a platypus with Vegemite. No cap, dude. You tell us. I mean, I could see. It, I, actually, now that I look at it, it looks like a platypus with Vegemite. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. The hell else would it be? Okay. Okay. Lava. All right, dude. Okay, man. All right. All right. Apparently, I'm talking to myself right now. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Bro, I, bro, I did. I'm gonna be honest with you. It took me, it took me this long to realize that that was a bill because it's the same color as the face, dude. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I did not know that was a platypus. That did not look like a platypus to me when I was paying attention to it. This makes me happy. It, I, I thought it was like, like a mustache or some shit. Memorizing the power markers and getting the muscle memory for the power for each throw. Then I'd spend the other half of my daily minigames on actually going for Megalodon attempts. Okay. Actual experience in the minigame is just what as animal you think it was? Like a fucking bases. seal? So you get used to the level of nerves you will personally feel when you've got Somewhere two around whales there? in the bag, and those mines seem to be getting bigger and bigger. One last thing to mention here is there's no timer. The only pressure is the pressure that you're putting on yourself. And well, the pressure to not f*** it up, but if you do get a bit shaky, you can get up, go make a cup of coffee, calm those nerves, come back to the game whenever you're ready. It's not going anywhere. And one last bonus fact for anyone who has made a bonus fact, chap, but the wait, video, there's more. Did you know you can actually catch a fish if it is overlapping a mine in the mini game? This is safe to do so. It will not make the mine explode and end the mini game. Another thing to note that is less important, yep. more of a humble brag, you can actually get more than one trophy in a single minigame. I know, I've done it. I'm sure with the information laid out in this guide and a little bit of time and practice, you too can earn your Meg trophy. But with all of that being said, I've been Titanic Llama, you've been watching a video, and I'm out. Peace. Also check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Titanic Llama. No, I've gotten two in one go. Yeah. No, no, it's it's check check the comments real quick. New Meg King. No fucking shot, dude. Finally, a guide that isn't outdated. First comment. Too bad I'm skilled. Damn the facts what I need. Tutorial is also helpful. Not bad, Lemon. Which the moments on screen power marked out so I could screenshot reference. Alright, chat. Alright, alright. Alright, there you go there. There you go. Make sure to go like the video. Go and like uh Hmm, I wonder where you got this from. Hmm. Bro, that's some bullshit, dude. That's some fucking bullshit, bro. That's some, that's some fucking bullshit, dude. Bro, I was holding back the rage, dude. That's some, that some fucking eight class bullshit right there, dude. I'm fucking so fucking mad right now, bro. It's a good video though. Real talk. Now I just don't need to make an. Now I just don't need to make another Megalodon guide. All right. All right. Now I, now I just I was planning on making another one. Now I don't have to. Easy. Five head. Perfect. That's what we love to see. It's okay, chap. You gotta realize the Megalodon guide I made was like two years ago. All right. All right. That was like one of my first videos. Okay. Like one of my one of my one of my one of my first videos. I'm gonna be honest with you, it was a good video, but realistically, you 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 could have you could have literally made that like three minutes because because of because of the random fish facts. My Canada trip is coming up. 
Last chance to meet a greet before I solidify my travel plans. We're getting poutine per the recommendation, but would love to get poutine with you. You feel also it's okay to send you my itinerary so you can double check everything listed and add you would prefer to do. What the fuck? Huh? Hello? Griffcon real, dude? Uh, what? Can you also add facts to your videos? Yeah, sure, dude. Really want to buy the random cape, but it says five out of one bot. Let's probably, what? I don't, I, how do you, how do you have, I don't know, dude. Oh, 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 it's because, oh, it's because the, it's because you bought the Divinity Pearls and they carried over and there's the same slot. So it says five out of one because you bought five Divinity Pearls. Yes, Apple Facts, Obels, which is best overall, Nightmare Cattle Croak or Nightmare Troll. Nightmare Cattle Croak is better. Give us Apple Facts, dude. I don't know, I don't know, man. New comment. I, I mean, it was a good video. I mean, I would say, <clears throat> here, here's my, here's, by the way, Mr. Willie, thank you for the primer. Here's what I would suggest, okay, for the video, all right? It was a little much, okay? I'm just, I'm just gonna put it out there, I'm gonna say it, all right? My, my, my brain was going a little zoomer at the end of it, all right? I was like, bro, there, there gotta be, there gotta be some fucking subway surfer, all right? I just want the straight facts, hard to suggest, I don't know if their audience is like, our audience is completely different. Our audience is like, let's be honest, chat, we, we're old souls, okay? We, we, we you know, Next video has Glama facts in it, 100% guaranteed, dude. I'm just gonna, yeah, dude. I'm just gonna start doing Llama facts, all right? I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it, a, I'm gonna make it total troll, all right? And I'm gonna be like, did you know? Fact number one: Llama actually learnt from my Megalodon video for his Megalodon video. Should do an only facts video. Yeah, true, true, dude. Rammy facts, yeah. I mean, it's all right. It's not bad. It's okay. Members of the Campbellhead family meeting. Yeah, I mean, only facts, dude. See cucumbers shoot out of their internal organs <laughs> for self-defense. Bose facts. I am loving. I mean, I mean, overall, I would say that's a that was that's a solid video. Also uh, worth mentioning, we only have six days of talent, so try to sort of travel each day. I start to via Disco email whenever you're present. It's time to squeeze in and hang out. Also have dinner, rest of the chambers, bar hop earlier until that, dude. What the fuck? Bro, what, bro, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hanging out with you, dog. I'm not hanging out with you. Bro, you're, you're not, bro, you're not, you're not even subscribed. Like, why would, why would I, why, what, why would I even, why would I, why would I even consider it? You like, you like know the stream for only like a month. Once you come to the secret office, meet great, dude. Bro, I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna get captured or what. Yeah, who the who the fuck who the fuck does social interactions, dude? The next thing is the next thing is, dude. Who the fuck does it? Who who goes on vacations to Canada? Gonna make you get his mag trophy. Yeah, facts, dude. Griffey World 2 2024, dude. Yeah, you know what, Chad? If you guys want to meet me, I'll be in TwitchCon next year. All right? If you guys really want to meet me? No. No, Rupert. No. Nah, dude. Nah, Rupert. Nah, B. Nah. Nah, dog. God, get the fuck out of here, dude. Nah. Nah, dude. You, bro, you so... That's so weird shit, dude. That's some weird shit, Rupert. I'm not even gonna say thank you for the sub, dude. That's just a troll sub, bro. Give me your fucking money, bro. What the fuck? This is a long ploy to get a gift of sub, dude. Thomas Fan Club coming in clutch, dude. Bro, this man's trolling, dude. Imagine trolling, dude. How many people would hand you their phone, ask for an IE review, or Megalon don't meet anyone? Meet and greet when? Yeah, TwitchCon next year, dude. I'm his biggest fan I had to. Yeah, true, dude. Tom is gonna start his own stream, steal half your audience? Probably. I mean, Llama's gonna steal half my audience at this point. Apparently, he's the new Megalodon. You know, may maybe Llama's the Megalodon prince, all right? But, you know, 
The king hasn't died yet. All right, so. Rupert on his work, I am not dead. So, I mean, until, you know, he has to dethrone me first. Last three vacations, California, Greek bird, Germany. I leave Canada for my vacation, dude. Llamas, there's a new guide guy. Llamas is... I mean, it, no, it's good. It's good. It's good that Llama does this type of editing style, okay? Because I take over the boomers. Llama can have the zoomers. It works out perfectly. It's perfect for that exact same reason. Yo, Vunce, what's going on, man? Yo, thank you for the four months, brother. Yo. Yo, happy birthday weekend, dude. I hope it was good, brother. Thank you for the four months, dog. Lava should make a trophy upgrade for Megalodon that need crafting. No, it's just, you guys just have to get good, realistically. You guys just need to learn how to catch Megalodon. What would you do if Thomas was at TwitchCon and came to say hi? This fucking, isn't it you? Aren't you, aren't you fucking, aren't you Thomas? Collapse room with Llama when We have a Megalodon off. Whoever ca catch more mags in a stream gets the crown. But, I mean, you only have 21 minigames. As a 30-year-old, that hurts, dude. Well, that's why you're here. We are all Thomas, dude. You could take Llama's VIP and give it to a random person, dude. No, I'm Thomas, for real, for real. Dude, coffee? No, you're not. Feel so bad for getting his name. Who's that dude who gifted a bunch of subs on, like, vacation in Thailand? I don't remember. That was so long. We are all Thomas, dude. I'm Tal Holmes, dude. I'm so bad with names and faces. Bro, it's it's Twitch. How do you how do you see a face, bro? Should buy more minigames? Yeah, true. I should buy more minigames. 21 minigame tokens is an hour of fishing. Man, you're taking the whole all the whale boomers and leaving only the moneyless zoomers to others. <laughs> Don't hate the game, hate the player, bro. I mean, upgrade by crafting multiple megalodons. I got like 20 of them. Dude, to make a mega megalodon? Bro, a, me a mega megalodon, which gives you 30% crit chance? That's big. That's big. You better bet your sweet ass I would get that trophy ASAP Arino. Said I'm not, but you're reading it like, it was, like that even funnier. Dude, whatever, bro. How do I reserve VIP table for Griffey TwitchCon meet and greet, dude? Um, I don't know, bro. Uh, bro uh, you know, I bet, I bet you, here's what's gonna happen, Jet. Here's what's gonna happen. I'll do like, I'll do like a, I'll, I'll, I'll meet everybody at like TwitchCon. Okay. Oh yeah, Roddick. Yeah, Roddick's still around. I'll, I'll, I'll meet everybody at, at, at uh, TwitchCon and it's gonna be like one person. Okay. It's gonna literally be like one person. And it's gonna be Rupert. Okay. And he's gonna be like, oh, hey, Groovy, how's it going? I'll be like, oh, hey, Rupert, how's it going, man? Anybody else? Oh, no, just you? Ah, right, okay, cool, bro. Let's, let's go. <laughs> that's realistically how that's gonna happen, dude. I ain't going to no fucking Twitch call. You, you fuck the fuck you are. It's gonna, yeah, he's gonna ask for an IE review. TwitchCon was in America, right? Yeah, I'm not going to TwitchCon this year. River would talk, he would just yell, oh! <laughs> Trying to figure out what class is best to main for the active leveling, playing, pushing portals, but using Bubo, but France and Bubo isn't the, that great to main active. No, it's, 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 it, it's great to main an active, you're just not there yet. Yo, thank you for the 2,000 biddies, dude. Oh! Thank you, man. We just shout out balls from a distance. Bunch of ILO players leaving the house to go to Twitch count. Yeah, that sounds weird, bro. We would all sit together at a, at a table and we'd all play all play Eidolon on our phones, bro. True. True, brother. That's that's the real shit right there. Yeah, who the fuck leaves home, dude? Yeah, exactly. How will I know when I'm at a place I can main an active booba level 200 talent levels? We don't touch grass. IE review in person? Yeah. Dead, we going to a TwitchCon, dude? I'm going to a TwitchCon, dude. I want, uh, to be honest with you, I want to see what the, what the partner, partner lobby looks like, dude. And I know you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta meet up with, uh, you know, with some, some other content creators. So I could be like, hey, bro, you wanna, you wanna collab one day? And they'll be like, yeah. And then you never, ever collab. You know, it, it, and it's the thought that counts, you know? Give fans the mag for them, dude. Yeah, true. If I review happens in person, then it has to be more of a rose session. Yeah, true. So I get level 200, which I main active. Uh, DK. DK or Elemental Sorcerer. Personally, I'd rather go to PAX than TwitchCon. Bro's gonna see himself in a mirror and thinks he's thinks it's Asmogold. Bro, why? Why is everyone doing exclamation mark Kukuro? We're not doing Kukuro today. Shut up. It's not happening. I 
I know you guys like Kukuro. We're not doing fucking Kukuro. We're not doing fucking Kukuro. It's not happening. Shut up. I gotta, I, wait, hold up. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put my storage away here. Give me a sec. I've been, I've been farming iron jet, but why? What do you mean, but why, dude? What do you mean, but why? Not happening. But why I missed the last one, dude? Just use RAM? What is Kukuro? It's a, it's a stream game. No, purely. No. 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 You can enjoy with no Kukuro. I, I like how, I like how purely only comes into stream when, when I'm getting fucking trolled. Okay? There's no other time that she shows up in stream except for this time when I'm getting straight fuck controlled. All right? What's the play up collab, dude? It's not, it's not. It's, shut up, chat. Be lurking, bud? Bro, you can't even spell lurking right, dude. What's going on here? Kukuro, let's do a collab. Yeah, yeah, true, true. It's fun to troll. Oh, yeah, bud. Oh, yeah, bud. When are you not getting trolled? Uh... Uh, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me come back to you on that one. So how's the Iron Man going? A lot slower than last time. I'm going to, I'm going to be honest with you. The Iron Man is, uh, without Crystal Custard, it's pretty brutal. It's pretty rough. Uh, Crystal Custard was huge. I kind I kind of really, really, really miss Crystal Custard. Do you have a, do you have a drop chance guide? Seem to be stuck around 11 times. Why don't you go ask Llama, huh? Maybe Llama will have a good guide for you and give you a bunch of random fucking drop rate facts. No pet roll? We we do have a we do have a pet roll today. I'm a boomer. All right, then it's coming soon. Eventually, here. Don't worry. It's it's, it's it's eventually coming soon. We have to do we have to do our main account yet. We have to we have to take a look at our main account. Lamas is the best for DR guides. Yeah, true. Kukuro doesn't make the guides anymore. When are you going to get the second frog companion? Eventually. Eventually, dude. Still w waiting for the drop rate key change to re-pop up? Dude, true. I would love another pair. I would absolutely love another pair of that. So, chat, the plan for today, okay? Here, here's the plan for today. If you guys don't know what's happening, we gotta deal with our main account. Then we have to, once we're done with all the, all the normal stuff, well, then we're going to be going on to our Hardcore Iron Man account. We're going to get some stuff done on that. And then while we're waiting for some lull periods, I'm actually going to be farming dungeon cards on my main account. All right. So we're going to be a, doing a bunch of dungeon card farming today. I know. I know. I know. And then, and then I can do like carries or whatever if people need, if people need to get carried in. Main account? Why your main account? Because these have to get to five star. All right. Look how close, look how close we are to full five star, okay? Dude, that's gonna take years? Yeah, you're damn right. What's up, Jafet? The, damn, the game's going good? It's never gonna happen. Oh, so that wasn't directed at anyone? Was it not? The chance you dropped it- Oh, I was, I was dropped as a child. Just pay for them? Uh, I did the math, okay? I did the math. Do you know how much money you'd have to spend to five star dungeon cards? They're, they're, they're not, they're not fucking cheap, dude. What were your thoughts on the new update? It was good. I like it. I'm a, I'm a fan of UI. Did you stream the update content? No. Less than Red Hat. Oh, by the way, chat, look at this, dude. See that? See that fucking RIP right there, baby? You see that? See that? Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Easy, dude. Easy. It's just that, it's just, it's just that easy, dude. Nothing hard about it. Just gotta, you know, just gotta be good. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Not, not difficult. All right. Please fix the reset, G. What do you mean the reset? What? What, what are you farming? Oh, I'm 100% farming cards on DK. Oh, no, no questions asked. Bro, have you seen the have you seen the new rank 50 traits, dude? Dude, rank 50 traits are insane. Did you did you do the boss on Iron Man? You're allowed one attack. I have not done the boss yet. D-Man has higher card drop, though. Yeah, but it's also fucking worse than DK to just hard farm. You guys take a look, dude. We're gonna be- we're gonna be running- Oh, by the way? By the way, just wanna put out there? Take a look at this, chat.
See that? See that? We did it. We did it. One oh four, baby. One oh four. It's the gamer. It's the gamer. Okay. Okay. But if we take a look at the uh, stat boost here, uh, so the new the new rank fifty traits are out. So we have max HP is two. Mobs deal one damage. You start with five blue RNG items. Dog. Buy RNG items from the shop gives two instead of one, but only forty percent of the time. This is overpowered. Each RNG item gives you plus one dungeon percent dungeon crevice. Uh, other endothelium traits give this bonus too. So I I don't I don't understand. I mean they they it's just this is just letting you know I guess. And then my favorite one. This is my favorite one by far. Max MP is also one hundred and fifty percent basic attack speed. You start with one purple RNG item of four choices. Uh, so that means if you roll, if you roll Duble, two purples, and both of them are coin flip, you manage to get double horn. Double horn runs? That's insane. That's insane. That's so strong, dude. That is literally god tier. But then you can't cast spells? I don't need to cast spells on DK because his auto attacks use shockwave slash. That's all, there, that, that's all there is to it. DK doesn't need spells. I get double horn so often, though. I don't. Hey, gee, I just hit elite class to suck between pushing world four and DK. Yes, Bubo. Any advice? If you're active farming, DK. If you're, if you're AFK, probably ES. Passive won't work, too. Passive works? What? What are you talking about? Passive works? Passive works 100%. What? Yo. Erotic with the T3, brother. Yo, thank you, man. Yo, thank you, brother. Wait, what do you mean it doesn't work? It doesn't use mana. There's no way DK... There's no way DK's auto attack uses mana. No shot. Because it just goes to level 50, so there's less chance. Trying to get my eighth god. Wait, what are we what are we talking about here? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean this? What do you mean this doesn't work? I also request a keychain guide. I have no idea what the best ones are. I mean, I mean it could be. I mean, I mean, I this could be a possibility. Roddick T three, by the way. Yeah, I said thank you for T three. Oh, and it's a full year, Roddick. It's a full year, dude. Thank you, man. Oh, I just wanted to troll, man. Fuck, god damn it, dude. Of course, of course you did. Chat, I'm running out of juice. Chat, I might, oh, I'm running out of juice, chat. This is bad. This is, a, this is a bad situation here, okay? Oh, and over the weekend, I farmed a ton. Farmed a ton of trophies, okay? Take a look here. Take a look at this, dude. Look, look, at, look, at, my, look at my World 4 statues, okay? Look how good those are getting right now. 185, 178, 170. Did I say trophies? I meant statues. Here's some copium to recharge the tank. Real 5 pets coming next week. Yeah, true. You run out of juice when you hit it every minute. I don't hit it every minute, dude. I hit it like maybe every 30 seconds, okay? Do you normally play on PC or mobile? Just learn my talents reset every time you switch devices. I normally play on PC. PC, PC PC's master, especially Steam, because all the Steam achievements. Boom, we're ready for this. Bang! Another plus one level, dude. Another plus one level, just like that, dude. Mm. Mm. We're getting level 200 pretty soon here. Look at that money percent, though, gent. 785.8% coins. It's big. It's pretty big. May, you know, it may not be as big for me because I have Gmush, but I mean, it's still, it's still pretty big. Still pretty, pretty big. You have all meals at level 60? No, it's not possible right now. It's, not, it's, it's actually not possible to have max. Can you show cauldron cap rates? My cap rates? I'm running, I'm running Viaduct. Making max money in 20 minutes with that level, dude? Easily. Um, I got 35, 36, 35. I've been, I've been, to be fair, I've kind of been neglecting. Pretty sure money statue is a different multi from Gmush though, so it's still pretty huge for you. Is it? Okay, well that's fire. Alright, that's worth. It's big worth then. So, I mean, my caps are okay. Like, 
I mean, we got, you know, we got like 15K cap on this one. We got 15K cap on this one. And we got about 8, 8K, 9K on that one. We'll lower those. Uh, 116, 120, 118, 130, uh, 110, 120. So, I mean, I mean we're, we're, doing, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. I've always had all my characters at Gmush since Iron Man started. My money has gone up in almost two coin tiers an hour. Hell yeah, dude. Statues are in the tier 8 along with Oval's gear like Honk Hat and Talents. Oh, okay. What are your sigils at? My sigils are dog right now, dude. My sigils are so bad, bro. Wait, why, why did that not- why did that not proc? What the fuck? Did my stuff break? Okay, apparently my stuff broke. So this is where my sigils are at right now, chat. Okay. We're doing alright. We're doing- we're- 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 you know, we're doing- we're doing okay. I gave- I gave up on sigils, okay? We got we got all the ones that actually matter, and then basically I've just given up on every other sigil because uh, <clears throat> cause it's dog. It's what we what we call dog. All right. What are, the, what are the ways to get high liquid per hour? Cooking's really good for it. Trigonic cauldrons when they come in a limited time shop are fantastic, and also there's uh, it's an alchemy that you could do, and there's stamps. I mean, there's lots of stuff. Should be done sigils by mid February. Yeah, hopefully, dude. Hopefully. Hopefully by World 6, I'll be good. Oh, by the way, this stamp... This stamp, dude, is so expensive now, I, can't, I, I don't even think I can level it up anymore. It is a level 170, and I got, like, no extra drop rate from leveling it up another 10 times, and it cost me, like, like something like 20, 40, something around 40,000 god shards or some shit like that. It's a fucking expensive, dude. It is. It is not cheap to level this thing up. All right, I, bro. This this is a nightmare. You have per meat max? I think so. I should. It's only one billion krakens. That's so cheap, dude. That's 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 what that's like one billion krakens with a ninety five percent and a twenty percent on top of that. What are we talking about here? The stamps have a max level. They have a max level based on your uh, carry capacity. So, so stamps are carry capacity. That's your, that's your soft cap. So, like, if you got something like this, I mean, you know, don't even think you could get that. You'd need, like, 90, you'd need 90% cost reduction on top of a 95% if you want to upgrade that in order to squeeze that out. That's just, that's just, that's just hella expensive. Like, this, this is brutal how, how expensive this is. Would you, would you look at that, dude? I, I, it says I need 30, it says I need 33 God Shards. That's not 33 God Shards, by the way. That's way more than 33 God Shards. So the hat and premium store right now just cosmetic? Well, I mean, yeah, it's premium hat. So money capacity, if you put it like that? Well, I mean, mo money doesn't really have a capacity. Oh, wait, hey, I can up, whoa, 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 I can upgrade this? Well, hold on a minute. Wait, wait, hold on a minute. I should be upgrading this. What am I doing? Oh, that's why. Right. Right. Okay, well let's let's go ahead and put put that on. Slacking on logs, dude. Two levels, brutal. Yeah, two levels per upgrade is pretty pretty shitty, to be honest. Recently unlocked stamp mastery besides crystalline. Which stamps do you recommend focusing? Uh all all the efficiency ones. Uh, especially oh, a big one. A big one, you want to prioritize most of your stuff. Your book's are already crazy. Yeah, but I want them faster. This, this is by far, like, one of the strongest ones to get. Multi-tool. One of the most OP stamps you can get. So strong. Unbelievably strong. And also, ladle stamp. Ladle stamp for base cooking efficiency. So good, dude. So your weekly boss also not resetting daily. So the thing with weekly bosses is they supposedly reset weekly to get attempts at fifth difficulty. Okay. So it's it's a weekly reset, but you have daily attempts to get to fifth difficulty. So so if you kill the boss, you're done for the week. The week the, the, you're done. It's dead. You don't have to worry about it. All right. Daily attempts don't come back though. Well then that's Classic day one lava patch, okay? They're, they're, I mean, I don't expect anything else. W name a mechanic that's worked perfectly from day one. <laughs> I bet you can't. I bet you can't. But that, that's, that's what happens when we have one developer, all right? 
Free to play handies, dude. Pets, movements, choose name. I mean, true. You know, I have a crystal mobs for Crystal Island count towards J Man's Crystal Countdown. I have no idea. Companions. Well, I mean, arguably they didn't work. I mean, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't have, we didn't have a pity system. So, I mean, I would, I would argue that to be fair. We have, we have thirty three. Do you think the cosmetic items will be limited or in rotation? I'm thinking they're limited. Just need new pets to come out. Lava hire another dev, easy. Yeah, but it's hard to hire another dev. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta realize that hiring another dev, it, there's so many things that could go wrong. It's not easy as like I would, I would know this. I've, I've gone through eight, eight editors already. Okay, and this whole entire time that I've been content creating, I've, I've been going through fucking eight developer or eight, eight editors. So I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to get a person to actually be consistent. Made your stream this time? Yo, what's up, Wild? Fucking about a bit. Yeah, and they also, they also, they also need to know as well as if they need to have the same ideology. If they, if they have the, if, if they have the different ideology and just clash and everything go to shit. How can people just leave like that? Well, I mean, there's lots of reasons. You know, they have work or they're, you know, don't want to, don't want, don't want to work for me. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Because here's the thing, it's a little bit different because uh, a lot of people, believe it or not, chat, believe it or not, don't like editing. They think they like editing, but they actually don't. Been doing good, how's the progress been on the Iron Man? It's slower, but it's not bad. Is there a new arcade rotation? Uh, not that I know of. <sighs> Life is crazy nowadays, yeah. They have Hearthstone, yeah, true, dude. Someone in that's done editing, it's a fucking chore. Yeah, but it's super, super nice once it's done. It takes a, it takes a really interesting person to, uh, to enjoy editing. There's new arcade rotation? Sick. Fire recipe rotation? I mean, I already own everything. Your guide video helped me a lot? No, I'm welcome. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Hey, like, cutting shit out, though. I mean, if you don't like cutting, that's like arguably 60% of it. Cutting, cutting is definitely like 60% of all video editing. And which is the, actually, believe it or not, is the part that I don't mind. Cut it, cutting is, is honestly, like, I actually don't mind it. Erasing things in GIMP, dude. Or just don't cut, bro. Yeah, just do everything raw. Just got my first whale ever, then fucked it out, dude. I mean, hey, at least you got it, dude. First whale income, bro. Rebound my mouse button so I can easily edit without the keyboard. That's kind of big brain, actually. I should, I should probably do that, to be honest. That's probably smart as shit. Holy fuck. All right, chap. We're going. We have three snail attempts. 29.7%. I think we get to level 18 today. Did you unlock all the plants? Yeah, I've locked all the plants. Well, I got dude the other day. 192 out of 200. Man, almost hit pity. 100% going to get it? I believe. I'm a strong believer, dude. I, th I think it's going to happen, alright? I think we got it. I think we're all juiced out. Oh, chap, believe it or not, while I was on my trip, I fixed my sleeping schedule. Would you be amazed by that? I'm going to bed early. I was in bed by three last night instead of six. I saved myself three hours. Where'd you go? I went on a, I went on a trip. I went on a trip. Let's just leave it at that. Bro, you gave your sleep schedule as till dawn last night, dude? Yeah, fixing in quotations, dude. A trip. Yeah. Yeah, trip, dude. I don't I don't want to give too much out because then chat's gonna start thinking that I'm a that I'm a, a certified uh uh grass toucher. I wanna make sure that chat doesn't know that I touch grass, all right? We gotta keep the long con going. Trip sounds like medications. New nugget when, dude? Pfft, bro, I can't, I can't do that. New nugget when, dude? One of these days it'll happen, all right? Don't worry about it. What is grass exactly, dude? Vape town? No, that, no, no, that was purely, dude. That wasn't me. Level is your nugget talent? Uh, a nugget talent? When you sleep at 3 a.m. is just late, just so you know. Nugget import? Wait, what do you mean? Wait, wh there's a wait, there's a nugget talent? Nugget import? 
small snail a couple days ago got on back to five really should have grinded out sodium absolutely oh oh my shovel uh my shovel is uh level 241 all right here we go first dab boom level 16 fuck <sighs> Two forty one, still thirty two k, bro. Yeah, I know. Congrats on changing it for the better. It's gonna get ruined in like two days. I I know for a fact that it's it's just gonna get ruined. You're doing three gambles for this? Absolutely, absolutely, dude. Are you kidding me? We gotta do three gambles for it. If we're not doing three, bro, you guys don't like gambies? What's wrong with gambies? All right. Interaction farm is crazy, dude. What are you talking about, dude? We're gambling. I mean, well, it's it, it's not it's not gambling because gambling's bad. It's gamba. All right, it's different. The gamba gamba is different. Gambies, we love gambies. I prefer free handies. Well, that's, you just go to the red light district. I'm sure they'd give them one with a coupon or some shit. Rather have Kukuro interaction. Okay, I I I I we should have never played Kukuro. Now now Arika will just never stop. About Kukro, never ever. Gambies and Marbies, dude. True. Facts. Got my growth cycle to under 10 minutes. Hell yeah, dude. May the odds ever be in your favor? Yeah, probably not, dude. Let's be honest here. G must add a coupon. That's why he went on his trip. Okay, maybe I did. All right, maybe I did. Okay. I don't know what's happening, though. Of course you don't, because you keep on saying fucking Kukro. It's not my fault, dude. I have to, like, I have to, like, make sure to skip your first part of your fucking chat in order for that to make sense. All right? God, God damn it, chat, stop. Chat, we keep the shit up there. You know what? I'm, I'm going to uninstall Kukuro. I'm uninstalling it, chat. I'm uninstalling it. I'm getting rid of it. It's gone. No, uh, no. Let me see the king. Nope. Nope. Calling your bluff, dude. The fuck is Kukuro? It's a, something we did on Friday. It's a it's a stream game that you can play with. You can play with peeps. Stop the cap, dude. What's your lowest you can get in your growth cycle timer? Oh, God, you can get it like three minutes or something. Unstall Eilon. Let's play Kukuro. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. Do it. You won't, dude. Wait, what's this? Wait, what? What did you just? Dude, what the fuck? This is why I don't click links, dude. This is why I don't click fucking links, bro. This is what this is a hundred percent why I don't click links. Okay. <laughs> I clicked it and it was all dangerous. Boom, dude. What's go, bro? What the, what the fuck is going on, dude? I haven't got a snail upgrade in so long. What happened, bro? I was popping off. Now I have gotten like straight, straight wrong, dude. Just can't handle the red light, green light skill, dude. Bro, that, dude, that's some bullshit. Easy gambas is what's going on. All right, dude. Okay, bro. Okay, dude. All right. Back to broke, dude. It's, I mean, it's casual. Uh, on your statue video, you showed as possible. We got skinny Oakel above 100%. I got mine to level 13, but it's not 100%. I've been missing a contributing factor. Yeah, you're missing vial mastery. Vial mastery increases the potency of each, uh, each vial. So you, and, and then it increases at level 13 vials. So you need to keep on getting level 13 vials and then it will go over to a hundred percent, but you have to unlock it in the rift LCA. Yes. Well, you don't have to get all other vials. You don't have to get them all, but you have to wait, bro. Are, bro, are you still sub to hooks, dude? Bro, you're still a hook subscriber. God damn, dude. I didn't know that guy still streamed. Someone just dumped 100k on yes, dude. This is the one. Further vial level 13 when? I got it to level 4. To be fair, I did get it to level 4. As a mod, it is a perk. Oh, oh you're a mod. Oh, okay. Yeah, we did, we did, we have 7.6% all stat from that special vial. Former mod. Oh, I mean, that's kind of cool, dude. That's kind of cool. Yo, what's the Bob Joe pickle vial at? 13. Level 13, Bob Joe Pickleball. You know, it's, uh, you gotta be a gamer. It's understandable. Sus? Nah. Nah, dude, you guys just don't know the, you guys just don't know the strat. You guys had enough golden stopwatches, you guys could have gotten Bob Joe Pickle level 13, but, uh, apparently you don't. 
OP gamer. I mean, you'll find a way to go live. I'll make a Google stream. All right, good. have luck. Good luck with that. Takes three million years to get to max, dude. Wonder if it actually buffs nothing. Mine's level 14. Okay, now we're hacking. Yo, Halls, dude. Coming with the primer for the two months. Yo, thank you, brother. Bro! So angry. So angry. Angry. I'm I, I'm officially convinced that I just I'm just gonna forever be at level 15. Have you ever test nothing cogs work with nothing? Dude, there's no way that nothing actually works. There's no potential way that lava has implemented nothing cogs to actually have anything to do with nothing gains. You haven't unlocked level 14 vials from RIP 66, dude? XQ, XQ Order 66? Kind of crazy that someone went all in on a 30% chance. It's 50-50, okay? Everything's 50-50. You either get it or you don't, bro. What's up, Francis? I, 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 bro. Man's over here with his gold rose, bro. Look at this, it'll make you feel better. I <laughs> like you could post links, dude. <laughs> you think you can post links in chat? <laughs> Need VIP for that. Level one pickle vial doesn't do anything. You're right, dude. So how about that nugget's average, dude? Don't make fun of my nugget, dude. It's average. It's fucking average, bro. Okay. Back to zero fucking snail, bro. Hey, you didn't take that chest, dude. You didn't, you didn't take that. You know that this week's gem shop is eighty dollars worth of gems. Yeah, it was expensive, dude. It was big expensive. I bought the I bought the shop out. It was not it was not cheap. Just notice that my big yeah 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 everybody's nuggets bigger than mine ah let's make the let's make the joke let's make the joke of Griffy my nugget's so small I I have such a I have I have such a puny nugget ah I got I got cattle cook wings and it's big sad dude yeah that feels bad dude I'm only at six k dude I believe your luck for once I ain't played in three months and it's bigger than yours dude okay bro. Like, if you just get a new one, dude, bro, true. I wish I could. My nugget's still smaller than yours, G. Oh, whatever, dude. I, I'm insecure about my nugget size. Okay, Chad, watch this. Today's the day that we get, we get the, we get the infinity trophy. Okay. Infinity trophy's coming in. 12 to nothing hours. Okay, well, it didn't happen on that one. Hey, Griffy, why are people giving away free handies at Chinatown? I couldn't understand what you said. Um, it's not Chinatown. It's, uh, it, it's my Twitch stream. Uh, free handies for everybody. Um, that's just, you know, that's how, that's, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking some tips from the, from the other, uh, other, other sussy baka Twitch streamers, uh, and the NPC trends, uh, you know, uh, you know, free, free, free handies, you know, tips you say. Yeah, yeah, exactly, dude. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's one way to get viewer interaction up. You have 5k family level yet? No. No, God, no. Pickle lacks critical information about expeditions? He sure does, dude. Mm, ice cream's so good. Bubbles. I gotta stop that. This is getting out of control. Just just wait until we go into glizzy overdrive, okay, chat? Just, just don't worry about it, dude. Increasing grip strength by 7%. You just wait, all right? <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> I need help. Chat, I, I need I need help, okay? I say things that I shouldn't say, but I say them anyway. <laughs> I really gotta monetize myself. Or moderate myself, not monetize myself. Uh, let's just get out of control. Creep Chris Strang, the handy dude. Farming gold peanuts every day of Glizzy Overdrive, bro. Hey, 25% of streamy show. Bro, what the what the fuck what the hell is that? Got more storage as updates. That's nice. Yeah, dude, the storage is huge, dude. Take a look. Look at that. Look, 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 look at that chest that we're on here, bro. That's huge. Look at all that chest space. God damn. Did dude just give you twelve hours of nothing hours? Uh, no, I don't think it's possible for that to give me it. Yeah, we gotta make sure that we use this. We gotta get our XP up, chat. This is important. Make sure we get our XP up here. Trash all our eggs every single day. So much room for activities. You're goddamn right. Yeah, I mean, we should probably eventually trade out our shinies. 
Level 80 breeding for the trophy, dude. We're pushing for it, alright? We're pushing for it. Still not a level 100 mushroom? No. No, God, no. What level is that shiny? Uh, oh, I think it's level 10 now, I believe. I believe it's level 10 now. Alright, so the next we need to upgrade is shroom bait. Okay. Shroom bait it is. We're getting close to being the hunter fully maxed talent levels. And he's going to be Mick Juicing. I have a change the speed DNA on Archer to 100 from 250. What? What? When was that a thing? Excuse me? I don't know. I don't know that being a thing, dude. Did you see the new Eidolon Steam Point things? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting people to trade me the cards right now. Yeah, people are trading me cards. Multi-kill matter for map farming on Wizard? Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Map farming is very important. Multi-kill is huge for map farming. That just means you get more, more mats. I only got Steam cards? Yeah, dude. Speak of which, Decro, did you, did you, did you, do I need to send you a trade? I think I need to send Decro a trade. Here, let me, here I'm, I'm sending you a trade. Hold up, chat. Let me, I, I, gotta, I gotta send a trade here. It's important, okay? You don't understand. You don't understand the importance of, 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 getting, of getting cards here. So I need, I need a Beastmaster and a Wizard. Uh, Beastmaster, where, where, where's my boy, where's my boy Decro, dude? Hello? 19 friends have this card. How come I can't trade with Decro? Wait, does that mean we have to be- wait, wait, do we have to be friends for 48 hours in order for that to work? I think we have to be friends for a while. Is it- is it- I feel like it's locked. Wait, no, no, Decro doesn't have Beastmaster. Trade held for 15 days? Decro's not been using Mobile Authenticator for 7 days? I can't trade with you! I'm not waiting 15 fucking days! Yo, who has Beastmaster? Yo, who's got Beastmaster? Who's got Wizard, dog? I do? Yo, yo, give me, a, give me your fucking friend code, dog. I have both, apparently. Yo, let, 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 let's, let's, add, let's add some friends here. Send me, send me your friend code. All right, here, here, here. Here, chat. Here, wa watch this. Here, here's my friend code. There you go. There you go. If you guys want to be friends on Steam, dude, there's my friend code. I'll trade if you have extras, dude. Cause love. That's a that's a lot of that's a lot of degeneracy. Wizard beginner and beast master, dude. There's Demos. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Where are these trading cards, dude? Yeah, bro. There's a, oh, well, more friend requests, dude. Bro, I just increased my friends by like 15. That's kind of that's kind of fire. Just that easy, dude. It's just that easy to get friend. It's just that easy to get Steam friends, chat. Okay, it's not hard. All you gotta do is just post your friend code on a Twitch stream, dude. Just go to anybody's stream. Just go to anybody's stream. And, ju and just post, and, and that's all you gotta do. Just, po just post your friend code. I'm sure you'll get friends from that. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, okay, okay. So, I need... I won't leak anything if I do that, right? I don't think so. I don't think it's leakable. Alright, 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 alright. So, so, cause... I'm gonna ask for a trade from you. Okay? I will, I will make you an offer of a Dead by Daylight card pack. Oh, wait, maybe not. I'll, I'll give you a Team Fortress 2 item. Okay? That's, that's, that's what I'll give you. Okay? I'll give you, uh... 
I'll give you the back burner. Hobo! I have, wait, wait, I've not been using a mobile authenticator for seven... What? Wait, I haven't been using the mobile authenticator? I just sent you... Wait, did you? Sent you BM and Berserker? Wait, can you just... Wait, can you just send shit? Have fun? Uh, respond to offer? Uh, confirm trade contents? Accept trade? Okay. Okay. Cobslow has offered me a trade? Okay, confirm contents? Accept trade? Okay. Wait, are we done? Did we do it all? Wait, I didn't have to do anything. You guys just sent it to me. Well, it was just that easy, chat. Okay, okay, could somebody send me a beginner? I need- I- I still need a beginner. Okay, that's all I need. All I need is a beginner. Somebody- somebody send me a beginner. There's no hold on beginner. I have two beginners. Send me that trade, dude. I'll send one? Hell yeah, dude. Need at least four of each, though? Why do I need four of each? Why do I need four of each? Exactly? Do you have any duplicates? I do not. I, I do not. Get that level 5G? Wait, what does that mean? Wait, 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 well, hold up. What, to craft all the badge levels? Can you assess? Okay, chat! The badge got five levels? Shit! One of each only gets you beginner badge? Shit! Send me your, send me your Steam cards! Send me all your Steam cards. I need to get the badges. I need to get big dog badges here. Send me all your goodness. Send me, send me all, all that, all that goodness. What have I started, dude? I, I need, I need some trades, bro. I need some trades, man. I'm all, I'm only, I'm all, I'm only at this, dude. We need more. We need, we need, we need more. Send me, chat, send me more. Chat, chat, send me more. We need more. Chat. Chats have me more steam carts. We gotta, we gotta max this out, dude. We gotta, we gotta max this out, bro. We gotta max this out. Send it. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. Okay, anyways. Why do you need them? Because. Because. Do you have a beginner still need? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Friend code here. Add me as friend. Send me your good stuff. Send me your goodies. I'll ex you get a you send me stuff, I give you a free friend. Free friends, dude. Free friends. All right. I have three pending trade offers. Respond to offer. Confirm, accept trade. All right, that's another one. Okay, thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We have a couple of friend requests. Let's accept those friend requests. Well, I wouldn't call that free. I mean, it is free, dude. It's, it's free because it's about the friends we made together. Sad. normally we you need to spend money on games to get more cards, dude. I mean... I mean... Yo! Yo, Stooge? What an absolute Chad, by the way. Shoot, bro, you're such, such a nice guy, dude. Such a nice guy. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, just it's just that easy, Chad. Just that easy, all right. Stooge sent me two journeymans. We got our first badge, chat. Our first badge is is good. View my trading cards. Look at that, dude. So so, chat. Do we do we? Does that mean we craft the badge? That means we craft the badge, right? Right. Do you get in line length when you get lab levels? Yeah. Send them Steam Link again, dude. There you go, dude. Craft it. All right, let's craft our first badge. Crafting. Doosh, 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 doosh. Beginner. Ice. Pog champ. 66% off 3D RPG. Don't know what the fuck that is. Five slot level bonus. Level 15 achieved. There it is, dude. All right, I need more, chat. I need more. I, I, I need to get the mage. I need to get the mage. Give me, what do you got? We got trade cards. 
Good job, chat. Good job. This is officially the IBA account now. Officially the IBA account. What is this? This is new Steam Idol on trading cards. Pack ripping overdrive up to seven. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. We have three new items in the inventory. I don't even know. I don't even know what. What is thirty three percent off three D RPG? What is? What is? What is even? What is even three D RPG? I don't even know what that is. Badge do anything in game? No. This is no. Literally, literally nothing. This does absolutely nothing. This is literally just Steam. Send a trade, or you send it. You send the trade. Accept that. All right, we're looking good here, Jim. We're looking good. All right, all right. There we go, dude. I got two wizards and a BM, dude. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. We need to get max badges day one. Wait, we can't give you minus one badge for not getting the next badge? Fortunately not. The big play is to get the foil badge, though. How do you get a foil badge? How does that, how does that even make sense? Imagine giving your cards away for free, dude. Bro! Well, I wouldn't necessarily say for free. I wouldn't necessarily say for free, chat. Sent you two cards, too. Thanks, man. All five foil cards? Is that even possible to get all five? Uh, bro, is there even foil cards? Yo, I got another trade offer. Huge. From Pickle Yama. Did you get nothing notification? I'm on World 3. Oh, it's because I have Fractal unlocked. Sent you my dupe. Thanks, dude. It's my donation for the year. Thanks, thanks dude. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. I just got my first blood, which I put his talents into. Cooking. You want to you wanna put them in cooking, dude. Yeah, but they're selling for like $10 each. No, they're not. They're not selling for $10 each, dude. It'd be like $1 just to buy the cards per... Yeah, but I mean... But I mean, would I, would I want to do that? Would I want to spend $10 on that when I could just get chat to help me out? You know? I could just, I could just, I could just get chat to just be super, super nice, you know? Give me like 10 to 20 cents. You know, chat, chat's such a nice. There you go, go here. What is this? Legends of Eidolon booster pack? You gonna buy the foil cards? Yeah, probably. Oh, dude, there's foil cards? Bro, what the fuck? Bro, who the fuck spends this? Who, who will pay $5 for a foil card? I might need a foil card, chat. I might need a foil card. Collectors, you? Yeah, true. I might need a foil card. Chat, I need a foil card. Foil equals better, dude. Yo, Divinity, thank you for the Prime, or Divine, thank you for the Prime, dude. Thank you for the fall as well. But am I, am I really? You can get, chat, should we buy some boosters? Chat, should we buy some boost packs? Should we, should we should we spend some money and do some boosters? Yeah? All right, let's do it. All right, all right, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's only one for sale, dude. We'll, just, we'll, we'll buy some booster packs. Wait, wait, you can't just buy booster packs? I, th I, th I thought you were, I thought you were, I thought you were allowed. So how, how do, how do we go? Do we have to go to the marketplace or? How does this work? How do we go to Eidolon booster packs? Alright, how, how does... Shut up, Steam. It's, it's the marketplace? Now nah, people have to get them, put them on the market? That's expensive, dude. It's expensive. Do I really want to pay some rando seven dollars, dude? Do I really do I really wanna do I really want to take the trade, dude? Yo, thank you, man. I sent one. Appreciate it. Do I really want to do that though? Do I really want to do that? One dollar for Gamba, dude? I mean I'll, I'll I mean, yeah, sure. Sure, dude. I mean absolutely. Chad, I still need a wizard until I can get my next badge. Wait, wait, hold up. So so here's the question, okay? If I get all foil cards, does that mean it's like if it's only it's only a foil for one for one badge? 
I sent you a wizard? Did you? Did I already use? I think I already used the wizard. You get level one foil. So you have to get level five foil? That's, that's insane. Seven dollars, dude? That's crazy talk. Gotta sell mine for free gems, dude. Buy like $20 worth of gems, you'll get all cards. No way. There's no way, dude. There's no way. There, there's no way, dude. Wait, how the fuck? How, wait, how do we get onto the marketplace? Wait, where, how, how does, how, chat, how do we get to the marketplace? Oh, found it. Click market. And then, and then we need to search, uh, search for items, uh, idle on. Okay, okay. Oh, somebody bought out the booster pack! What the fuck? What the hell, dude? Bro! What the fuck? Somebody's buying out all the foils! Some bullshit, dude. This is some A class bullshit, dude. Card drops of the free game, reward spending money in the game. You spent approximately five dollars USD after the card set was released. Progress the next card approximately nine dollars per card drop. Yeah. Griffey sell you fifty boosters for ten dollars each. Done. Easy. It's like basically me just giving your bits back. Okay, okay, okay. I'm in, I'm in. All right, all right. Well, that's fine. Chat, it's okay, chat. We, you know what? We'll do it together as a team. We will, we will, we will get it done together as a team. We will just slowly make our way on. We got, we got, we got our beginner. Rip, it only counts money spent. I mean, I'm pretty sure, let, let, let's be honest here. How you earn them again? I just joined stream. You stream by paying more money to Eidolon. Oh, thank you, dude. And you get those cards, though? Uh, uh, you buy spending more money. Spending more money. She does show us how far down the drain Gamma can take you, dude. It's different, okay? Alright? Let's, let's, let's put one thing into, let's, let's, let's put one in, let's put something into consideration here, okay? Okay, just, just, just hear me out, alright? With other Steam cards, it doesn't matter. But when it when it comes to when it comes to Eidolon, you gotta have everything at a hundred percent, or else it doesn't make sense. How much you got? I have I have like three beginners, three blood berserkers, two beastmasters, zero wizards, and three journeymen. All right, all right. But yeah, we're doing the five star card farm. Okay, it's important. All right. It's not. It's not. It's not what you guys think. I don't have an addiction. You guys have an addiction. So it's basically amount you bought. Yeah, basically. But I mean, so so basically what it comes down to is Lava needs to implement a new gem pack so I can buy. Uh, and then everything will be good. Yes. Yes. Gee, go buy. No, I'm not buying gems for science, dude. No, no shot, man. No shot. Does anybody have the math, by the way? Anybody, anybody, anybody have the math for how this works? So is it is it in the Discord? Anybody anybody know? Yes, I do. Okay. So I can describe in chat. Okay, so am I able to get it with this right here? Because I want this achievement. Do I have the numbers right? Just started playing. This game's a pretty fun game. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Welcome on in. Welcome to Eidolon. You'll love it, dude. I don't know what he's asking for, but just do it. I don't know. I'm waiting wait for Matt to say his thing, man. Oh, yes. Welcome to Eidolon, my dude. Welcome on in. Full send. I'm waiting. I'm letting him cook, okay? We want this achievement. It's very good. My phone didn't sync and sent it back a day. Tell us what you asked for first. I'm asking for the achievement. This achievement here for, for uh, right here. So if we go here, we go to achievements. This one right here. 
Perfect deal. Make a trade with Blobby G with gold that starts and then you get plus one additional sailing per chest. But I just want, I just want full achievements. All right. Yeah, I still don't have it. All right. Believe it or not, I still don't have it, dude. I want the 777. Okay. I want the 100 free draws. All right. Give me what I, give me what I'm here for. I mean, we have every other achievement. We just need world five achievements. Okay. So, so what, that's what we need. I mean, oh, I have, I have 6834. 634 chemicals. There's a bunch of different values that reach it. Simplest is 20 mil for the oil barrels. 20, 20 mil for the oil barrels. What, what, huh? So I, so, so. Missing World 4 achievements? Yeah, those ones are impossible. Work in the bright side was 776. There will be more. I'll do the math. Okay, okay, do the math for this. Do the math of how many times I have to click. Just get the achievement. I, 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 I know. I know I have to get the achievement, okay? I, I know. I'm getting, I'm getting there. I just, I just, I'm letting him cook. Okay, well, I mean, I mean, to be fair, chat, we also lost the Gamba because we didn't get the nothing trophy. It's just a big nothing burger. All right. Show how many barrels you have total. Uh, I have... 239 million. 239 million. So I need 20 million barrel barrels in order to hit the 777? Is what I'm understanding? Yeah? Okay. Okay, so... So, what if I, so if I click this three times, I'll be okay? I could probably click this, what, four, four times? Trade for 20 million? Got it, Kukuro, dude. 100 million storage. Is the magic number. So we'll click this twice, I guess. 144 mil? That's not... Okay, we gotta, we gotta reset this. Twenty eight point seven. Ooh, that's just shy, dude. So if we go like this, maybe that should be enough. Just collect a bunch of chests, open one at a time, go past seven seven, just sell the open chests again. Bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna be bro. Bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over. What's the next magic number? What's the next magic number, bro? I need another I need another magic number. Too sweaty. Ideally you have you would have a bunch of chests to collect. Ten mil. This is by far the easiest way to get it. It's so simple, dude. No, it's not. No, no, it's no it's not. Shut up. You, you shut up. Shut up, dude. Because it doesn't work, because where are my Hello, ships? Oh, there they are. I haven't collected my ships in a hot minute. To be fair, I have not collected my ships in a hot minute. Wow, look at all those chests, dude. That's pretty big. <laughs> it's a, that's a lot of chests. It's fine, Chad. It's fine. But I mean... All right, all right. Let's see if we let's see if we can squeeze this here. So we need to get we need to get twenty million here. Too hard to plan. Just have your ships going where the treasure is. It's fine. Okay, I'll just I'll just leave them chilling then. Just leave them chilling till we have the main one here. Maybe we can squeeze this out. Not 20 million in storage, 20 million trade. That's 100 million storage. Oh. Uh, so I fucked up. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying is I fucked up. Well, you could have you just... 
Well, slap my ass and call me Sally. That's some bullshit. I mean, bottle wins. I said that earlier. Okay, fine. New new goal here. We're just gonna wait until we have until we have the end one for trade. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wait we're gonna wait until we have this one to trade, and then we're gonna do it that way. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. All right. Here, let, let's, see what, let's see what happens when we go like this. Let's just make sure that the trade has changed here. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get super, super lucky. Could be a possibility, all right? Could be, a, it's a massive cope. I've never coped so hard in my life. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Is that a spreadsheet? Different things right now? Okay. Okay. All right, next game, but chat, you ready? Four printer box. Here we go. I'm not going to use idle on toolbox. I'm not going to use idle on toolbox. I mean, Dreadlo ships you up to? I've given up on sailing a long time ago. I, st I stopped caring about sailing. I got all my Eldritch. I don't care anymore. I'm just building gold bars at this point. Sailing is kind of dead to me. Kind of a dead skill. Going to be honest. Super, super dead skill. I use better than toolbox. I mean, it's kind of like up in the air to see who what's better. I mean, I mean, they both have their nice thing. Last trade loot trade is like four trades after this. Okay. Did you get damage of cooking speed from sailing? Okay, so. Matt, what's the sweet spot for the blue guys? Just so I can take a mental note in case I get it off stream. Uh, you do get, I mean, you do get damage and cooking speed from sailing, but I mean. I don't. 10, 100, 1,000, I'll do the math, there's a formula. Okay, how much would I, how much would I need for the, for the blue guys? The end. No Iron Man today? No, we're doing Iron Man. We are doing Iron Man. There's just stuff I gotta figure out right now. We're just doing our daily gambas on our main account. Okay. 20 seconds, chat. We're also gonna do some Kukuro. No, we're not gonna do any fucking Kukuro. I gotta farm out Divine Knight Party Dungeon cards while we're farming on the Iron Man. Alright? That's the plan for today. Okay, we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing some we're gonna be doing some farming. That's what's that's what's gonna happen. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Fuck. Wait, wait, wait. It's broken. I can't end the submission. It broke. It broke. My prediction broke, chat. It won't. It, it's it's hard broke. All right. Well, I guess we just delete that then. All right. It's broken. It's broken, dude. It's broken. Just had to delete the submission, I guess. Well, that's unfortunate. Minus one gamba, dude. Rip my points. All your points have got returned, dude. Rigged. How is that rigged? How is that rigged, bro? I I did I did I did I could could do anything with it. I would have won, bro. You can't you can't blame me for that. All right, it's not fair. It's not fair, dude. Don't don't blame me. All right, I didn't do anything. Oh, by the way, look at that chat. Five hundred ninety percent bonus speed. Not like the time pickle paid out wrong. True, true and real, dude. By the way, do we have enough here? Uh, yeah, we're good. We we did we did one. Okay, well that that's that's nice. Uh, you know you know it's really nice, chat, when you're able just to throw in a 3D printer for a bunch of logs and uh, makes things nice and easy for you. So let's uh let's uh, let's build out. Whoa, where is it? Where? Oh wait, it's library speed. Library speed's over here. Let's grab some more. Guys, professional Gambo can't set up Gambo, dude. Hey, it's fine, bro. Don't worry about it. 
What level is your call me Bob at? Uh, I think it's like a thousand something. Yeah, I think it's like a thousand. Yeah, a thousand fifty. It's getting there. I've been I've been ignoring it. Okay, so we only need uh four point seven billion. It's not too bad. I mean, we got an extra fifty percent talent book refresh. Can you sample red frisbee? I saw a short about it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can sample with red frisbees because it's technically considered the main mob drop for wood mushrooms. So it so it does work off multi kill. So you can get enough multi kill, enough kills per hour to be able to print a red frisbee. So it is possible. Yes, absolutely. Hundred percent. So I mean, hey, that's not bad. Oh, uh, Chad, if you guys see the new llama guide, you'll be able to figure out how to get a megalodon. To be able to sample rare drops, that would be neat. I feel like we're sampling uh, rare drops would kind of be. Hey. Eh. That's why you the GG. Gotta do it, dude. Should be green stack? Green stack red frisbees? I mean... It's gonna take a while. I mean, is that is that really worth it, though? Is that really Is that really worth it? Wait, no, no, no. Reset talent. How many frisbees can you print? I'm not checking. Because I'm going to ruin my, uh... Ruin my, my, uh, my beautiful... Oh, bro, we still need 500 hours. Fuck. I don't want to ruin my, um, my... What is it? I'm at, I'm at 1.63 multi-times on this right now. If I take a sample of a red frisbee, that's minus one, dude. The green sack and quest items was sweaty. That's sweaty as fuck. It's really not, though. Really not. Candy the 500 hours? Well, what's the point of candying the 500 hours for, dude? Might as well save the candy, dude. Like, I got like 10 Cosmics chilling in here, alright? I don't want to candy that shit. I'll get that in like a couple days. Yeah, true. True. This isn't a birthday stream, is it, G? It's not my birthday. The trophy, dude? Bro, we're never gonna get the trophy. Green stack dungeon key keychain fragments? Bro, probably. Plus one slab now? Yeah, true, dude, true. Alright, let's hop into the Iron Man. I think we're all done, aren't we? I think so. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. It's not, it's not my birthday. It's, will never be my birthday. Okay? I don't have a birthday. I don't know what you're talking about. No, chat, it's not my... <laughs> I'm very far away. Yes, chat. Okay, go for it. Yeah, it's it's my birthday. Yep, true. True, chat. It's my birthday. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Yep. Yeah. yeah, true. True and real. Yep, there you go. Yep, yep. There you go, chat. Yep. Birthday wishes. Woo! Yeah, it's my... I'm finally 16, chat. Would you believe that, dude? Officially, officially 16. Woo! Imagine, imagine having, imagine having a beard. <laughs> imagine having a beard at the age of 16, dude. I knew some people like that, bro. That was fucking crazy. Oh shit, I got a trade offer. Pog? Hold up, I got a trade offer. And a new friend request. Except that freight. Oh, yo, Ares with the wizard. The Beastmaster and the Beginner? What a Chad, dude. What a fucking Chad you are, dude. Decided to confirm it on mobile? No, thank you, man. Did you accept a trade from Thomas? No, I declined it instantly. Not even, not even, no, not even a second, second glance, dude. That would be absolutely not. Ready, chat? <sighs> New badge. Boop! 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 Oh. Beep, 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 beep. We got the lava word, pig champ. Threw a band in the refugee. Don't even know what that is, dude. There it is, bro. I need one more wizard. I craft it up again. Chat, I need one more wizard. Any wizards in chat, dude? We can get it. We could easily get another one, dude. We could get a level three on that, all right? Wizards. I have wiz. Arika, give me your wiz, dude. Arika's not going to give me your wiz. Not gonna happen. Just trolling me at this point. I asked Kukuro though. No, I'm not. I'm not. Not giving you Kukuro. Absolutely not. 
No, no way, no how, dude. Where do I find the badges? You, you, you find, you find the badges uh, by crafting the cards. So you have to collect, you have to collect one of each card. I have two whiz. Yo, 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 dude. I'll, I'll take them if you're giving them to me, dude. There's my friend code, dude. You get free friend code from your boy Griffey on Steam. Um, how can we get the cards? You can get it by playing the game or spending money. So considering how much we, we play the game, um, shouldn't, shouldn't take that long. Sell you a whiz for $69, dude. Is it fucking foil? Is it a foil card? Because if it's just a normal card, you can suck a fat one, bro. My party got bugged, now I'm gonna party with myself. I'd even get foil cards. I think it's a rare drop. Can I friend you just to flex on my friends and say that I'm friends with you? It's gonna cost you a card. It's gonna cost you a card. The cards retroactively based on how much we spent previously? No, unfortunately not. Unfortunately, it's not, and I'm pretty sure if you're, I'm pretty sure if you're free to play, you won't get cards either. So is this XP, dude? 0.1%, I'll take that. Alchemy XP? Absolutely. When I researched it before, a long time ago, there, there's a limit. Free to play will get cards. Will they? Okay, fuck. What's that chat Griffey uses to check out people's account and guide them? Oh, it's called Idle on Efficiency. Three cards for free. You get cards no matter what. No, it's normal, but you gotta try Corpa. Free to play, you can usually get half the cards rounded down. If you need five, you get two. Three or four, you only get three cards for free, though. Now you get more cards just for playing. Hey, hearty diggy. Huge. Huge. I spent 10k crook keys and 19 times dropper. I only got one cape, still no pendant. It's unfortunate. New NPC, Dreadlow Mines. Well, it's the, it's the same NPC. Nothing, nothing's changed on that NPC. All right, we got some balls, chat. Here we go. Let's give us bonus, 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 dude. Let's go. Come on, give us jackpot here. Let's get us a jackpot. Give us some dice, a little bit of jackpot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We need, we need this W, dude. We need this W. Please give me the W. Please give me the W. Ooh! Wouldn't it be crazy to get Jackpot on a hardcore Iron Man? Bro, that'd be so crazy. You check the poll. Imagine only nine people voting on the poll, dude. Imagine literally only nine people. You have your friends on Steam to send cards? Yes, you do. I'm pretty sure. Other than that, you have to put it on the marketplace, I'm pretty sure. Yo, keep on going, dude. Yo, keep on rolling, bro. Yo, let's go. Don't stop. Don't stop. Uh, Griffey, I'm holding a foil. Bro, you're holding a foil berserker, dude? Yo, my guy. Endless balls, dude. We doubled our balls, bro. We doubled big balls to hundo. A. A. There's no way G made a second idol. Um, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, dude. I really don't. I'd rather not talk about it. Foiled, foiled journeyman. Won't be tradable till 925, though. Unfortunate, dude. I got three G-man, dude. You hate it so much, though, dude. You'll love to see it, dude. Give me the gems, bro. We need more gems. I need to buy, I need to buy those, uh, those, uh, go, 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 go. Please, 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 please. Red hat. Damn it. Soon. Soon, TM. Yeah, I, I, I have to, I have to reset my idle skilling, unfortunately. I have to reset my whole idle skilling because of that. Imagine a red hat on hardcore Iron Man, dude. 
Imagine, dude. That'd be the, that'd be the dream. That would be the real dream. You know what would be also the dream? Fucking jackpot, dude. I would love some jackpot. People don't- people forget you got killed by a boss, dude. Never forget. Never forget. Rest in peace. Alright! Alright, we got- we got- Forge capacity? Base- ooh! Ooh! Oh, that's so huge! That's actually so big, dude. I think we just I I think we just go all into wisdom, dude, to be honest. That 20 wisdom, dude? Holy. 20 base wisdom, that's so much extra accuracy, bro. That's so much extra accuracy. Does this two base defense count for snakes? Shut the fuck up. Shut shut the shut the fuck up, dude. All right, easy peasy, chat. Wait, does that mean? Wait, does that mean I can roll a pet now? Chat, it is time. It is time. Uh, I would say, I would say bean. Bean or higher, dude. Bean or higher on this one, all right? Slime time, dude. It's probably gonna be like fucking bloke or something. If it's Ram, I'll, you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll be 100% okay with Ram. Ram, Ram would help me out so much. Not even gonna lie. Which how many times I've afk skilling and have too much in my, and too much in my inventory. King dude or bus, bro. I don't want to fucking dude. This is the one time that I actually don't want to fucking dude, bro. Dude is useless, multi 100%. I got ramped three times a row, it's rigged, dude. Double frog would be so sad, it would be so dumb. Can you show the bonuses before roll? Which, oh yeah, here. So we have frog, which gives us 10% total damage. Bloke is 20% skill XP. Sandy pot would be fire. Slime would be dog shit. Board beans would be meh at best. Multi would be alright. Sheepy would be dog shit. Crystal Custer would be huge. Day day ram would be massive. Rift slug would be overpowered as fuck. And King Dude would be okay if I survive past, um, Survive past, uh, World 3. <coughs> Alright, chat. So here, here's the plan. Here's the plan, alright? You ready? When it says past, past World 4, you mean? Yeah, true. Imagine get dude, then die, dude. Bro, imagine getting Jackpot and Crystal Custard and then die, dude. Damn, you drank Fiji? Uh, yeah, dude, I drink only the most expensive of water. It's actually just Brita. I just use this as the bottle. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Same thing, right? Same thing, right? It's tap water? I don't drink fucking tap water, dude. I may, I may be broke, but I'm not fucking barbaric, alright? Fucking barbarians drink tap water. Michael Bob Ultra? That sounds expensive as shit. All right, here we go. Imagine I have quality tap. Yeah, true, dude. Quality tap water is hard to come by. All right, here we go. It's going to land on Rift Slug. Boom! There it is. All right, Rift Slug incoming. Okay. So far, so good. That's not good. Oh! Come on. Come on. Come on. Please, please go past Sandy. Okay. Okay, don't land on slime. Please not slam, dude. Please not slime. Please. Okay, okay, okay. We got, we got bean. We got bean. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Please. Please. Don't do sheepy. Don't do sheepy. Don't do sheepy. Please don't do sheepy. Please don't do sheepy. Fuck! It's good. Are you? Are we fucking dumb here? Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we dumb here? Think that sheepy's good on an Iron Man count? The fucking hey, sheepy gives all bubbles and alchemy counters equipped. Yeah, imagine getting to that point though. Um, imagine, imagine getting to that point.
Should play Bubo. Could be second frog. Like, Kabob Pet is good. It's like 90% worse on an Iron Man. Yeah, it's like almost negligible on an Iron Man. But I mean, you know what? We'll take that. It's better, it's better than a fucking bean, okay? It's better than a slime, all right? Slime and board bean are probably two of the worst ones I could have gotten. So you know what? I'll take it. It's a sheep. It's a W. Fucking W. Now the real question is, do we replace Kermit with the sheep? Or do we, or do we keep Kermit? I know Kermit, Kermit kind of goes hard, dude, to be honest. Kermit is kind of a chat. Wait, did I... Did I get no gift boxes this week? Bro, this shit's rigged. Nah, dude, this shit's rigged. Yo, look at that, dude. Eight golden jam, though? Kinda good. Kinda good, dude. Sheep is baby, but mascot is better. Yeah, Kermit kinda go fire, dude. Okay, can I get some, like, fat hermit cans? You know, I'll take the goldfish. Goldfish is fine. Call it Sammy, dude. Where's my- where's my guild gift boxes? The fuck? Hello? Excuse me? Oh, 55 minutes. Sorry, daily resets in 55 minutes. My bad. Alright, chat, let's go kill some Amarok. <clears throat> we have to do our Amarok farming. Ooh, bro, look at all this- look at all those talent points. Just from skilling. Look at all that skilling. All right, boom, max that out. Now I have a hundred. Now I have full wisdom, full damage. Boom, meet Shanks next. All right, easy. And then we have another seventeen points right here. You know what we do? We we get crazy with it. We put into we put into double strike. Okay. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Double strike? Why would you do that? Double strike trust, dude. In 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 double strike we trust. That's thirty percent. Okay, thirty percent right there. That's big. You want that. That's double damage. And, uh, oh, look at that. That's some, that's some more base defense. That's an extra plus 8 defense. It's a 29. Close enough, dude. That's 29 is 30%. It's fine. Max survivability there. Look at that. Mmm. Yummy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we'd like to see, alright? This is the money. HP too low? You're right, the HP is a little low, but you know what isn't low? 165 MP, dude. Look at our defense. 136 defense. Look at our accuracy. 679. We officially have enough accuracy to fight Ephon at 100%. Alright? That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's the type of shit that we need in our lives, okay? Very versatile. Absolutely. All right, so now I can use my my big bubbles. Watch out, there's a grumble at board be Was there? Okay, no, you're trolling, dude. You're trolling. All right, how, how much, how much, how much life does this thing have? Okay, so we have three keys. Okay, bridge, dude, bridge. Huzzah! Uh, we should probably, we should probably throw on, uh... Or throw on this keychain. Throw that on. Uh, we should, now you can run hammer, hammer all the time alongside your main skill bubble. Now you have two bubble slots. Yeah, true. Okay, we got that. Beautiful. Boop. Oh, no slab. Huge. I love wasting my tickets for no fucking slab item, dude. Uh, my drop rarity is so garbage. Okay, so we can go to... It's possible. Yeah. yeah it's... Oh, shit. We also have to do our tasks. So we have to, we have to defeat one with a boxing glove. We should have probably have done that beforehand, to be fair. I kind of messed up on that one. Do we even have boxing gloves available, or did we sell them? We definitely sold them. Grab some tape here. Uh, I did my hyper obols. I got dog shit. I got one drop rate and four damage percents. Fucking hyper obols were rigged. I still don't have a pyre obol, which is even worse. Put a little bit of drop rate action on that bad boy there. A little bit of 2%. Give me that 2%. Let's go to quest here. Uh...
Where is it? 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 Is this hit six days off of Cosmic? Gaming. Absolutely gaming. Just got my fifth hyper multi-kill, dude. That's... I'm so upset. All right, let's go smash Amrock into the ground. I'm ready. Doesn't even know what's going to hit him. From 96 to 104 on DK? Hell yeah, dude. All right, let's give him the powwow, dude. Are the solo ovals even worth it? Mm. If you have nothing else, then yeah. Easy money. Look at these fisticuffs, dude. You haven't even seen anything hit him like that before. Boom. One tap. Come on, give me some slabs here. Yes! Two slabs! That's what you love to see. That's what you love to see. Yes. Okay, defeat Amrock without taking a single hit of damage. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if that's possible, dude. I mean, he's going to be doing big damage to me anyways. <clears throat> Boom. There it is. We got it. Another Amrock slab? It's three. That's three, Chad. That's what we actually needed here. All right. Now we're officially capped out on Amrock tasks. That's, uh, that's it. Plus one done there. Boom, boom. There we go. So now, now we can officially craft all the Amrock that we need. If we go here, go down to here. Boom. There it is. So we need five Amrock slabs, six Amrock slabs. And then, I mean, we might as well. I mean, I think we should. Item not unlocked. Wait. Wait. Don't I have to do Coliseum? I need Coliseum for Iron Boots, right? Fuck. God damn it. God damn it, dude. Need silver chest? I think it's possible. I think we can do it right now, don't you think? We have seven Amrock slabs in total, dude. That's not enough, bro. Oops. Not what I wanted to do. It's literally just not enough, bro. Not even, not even the slightest. Some more base damage, though. I'll take the 12 base damage any day of the week. Give me that. Uh, we'll run drop rate, I guess. So, chat, we're going to have to probably do some party dungeon farming today as well, because weekly reset is right around the corner. See that? Weekly resets in 48 minutes. So we should probably farm, farm, uh, farm more party dungeons. I know. I know. It's our favorite content. We have to get more talent points. We have to get more damage. We have to get all sorts of things. By the way, this is my skill info. Look at that skilling, chat. That skilling is popping off, dude. That's pretty good. That's, uh, that's definitely, definitely not bad. Damn, 11 catching you slacking, G. How's that slacking, dog? What are we talking about? It's pretty good, dude. It's pretty freaking good. All right, I think we're fine with the... Yo, we got some tickets for me? Nope. It's your lowest, though? Sounds like a slacker to excuse. Oh, you know what we need? Before we, uh, before reset happens? We need to, we need to, uh, the, uh, World 2 Coliseum guy. So yeah, just wait, dude. Just wait. We're gonna get juiced out. And everything's gonna be good. By the way, this whole mechanic right here is absolutely useless. 100% useless for, for Iron Man. You, you can't do it. You literally cannot do it. It's just not possible. It's, it's so, it's, it's dog. I killed boss tier one. Liar, no you didn't. I don't believe you. Oh, dude. 
Believe it or not, chat, I had a crazy dream last night, dude. I had a dream that I made, for some reason, I made six characters on my Iron Man account. And I freaked the fuck out. Hi, Zam. Y you know it's bad when you have dreams about your Iron Man, bro. I was like, well, that's a dead account. 100% dead account. No questions asked. Makes sense, to be honest. No, no, but it doesn't, though. It doesn't. When you have idle on dreams, I have idle on dreams way too much, dude. Nice. We got more Kali tickets. That's what we love to see. Okay, so now we get two tickets. The true idol on profit, bro. God, if only. If only, bro. One of these days. One of these days we'll become the true idol on profit. But until then, we are just simply just a peon. Waiting. Slowly wishing. You have Eilon dreams every night? No, I'm not crazy, dude. Are you allowed to do King Doot? Technically, yes. Technically, you're allowed to do King Doot because you don't have to party. So you can do King Doot. You get more tickets if you have more characters up away. I'm not sure if you knew that. Thanks, dude. I think G just walked past me and starstruck, dude. What's up, crazed? Imagine having Tetris nightmares, dude. Just having dreams about blocks. What a terrible dream that would be. I'll come with a mage, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'm nowhere close to being able to fight Dude. Dude's not possible. Like, not even close, bro. But what we need, what we really need is we need to be able to book. Once we can book, bro... That's when we're cooking, alright? Once we get shockwave slash like 120, 125, something like that, we'll be we'll be in the money. That's uh that's all that's all we really need. Can you do Walla Piggy? Does Walla, does Walla Piggy require people? I don't remember. I am eventually gonna need to farm out bleach logs. It's definitely something that's gonna need to happen. We are going to need to do some uh, fly minigames as well. Uh, I need to get my net. No, nah, but it requires going to YouTube, basically. Oh, Walla, oh, Walla Piggy's... Oh, Walla Piggy, the treasure hunt. Yeah, I can do treasure hunt. Yeah, treasure hunt's allowed. Oh, nice. I got a goblin card. Which character are you on now? I'm on the hardcore. That's someone's knocking my door, dude. Hey, that's that's the real dream right there. Can't finish though because it requires Beastmaster. Sick. I love I love how everything's locked to characters, dude. Makes me feel so good. Makes it makes me feel great, bro. Literally the best thing in the world. There's nothing better. If we can fight Baba Yaga, that's gonna be the play, dude. Baba Yaga needs to go down. And if we get the serrated Rex rings, which I think is not going to happen, to be honest. Just being, just being straight up. Yo, what's up, Walt? What's going on, man? Bro, imagine not having enough points, dude. Imagine, imagine, getting, imagine getting point walled. Rats don't do too much damage, right? Oh! They do 9 damage. Okay, good to know. Good to know, rats are a little dangerous right now. What's your drop rate at? Fucking negligible. Start playing this game? Dude, it's a good game. You'll love it. It's 10 out of 10. Would recommend. I'm pretty sure everyone in chat would recommend, uh, would recommend Eidolon. Yeah, rats do a little bit of damage, dude. I'm lost? Yeah. So, I actually... I've, I've noticed something. I took a look at the Steam, uh, the Steam achievements the other day. Uh, a lot of people don't even, like, get past World 1. Okay? So, what would you guys think that would honestly help World 1? Eidolon? Like, 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 real talk. Like, what, what do we, what do we think that could actually potentially help? 
Free 10,000, 100,000 gems. Yeah, 100 free draws using code 777. The game they're getting into when they start playing. Yeah, true. Faster move speed. Move more movement speed for sure. You think you think movement speed? Get like more early movement speed? So what are we talking like like 15%? 15% movement speed at the start? More damage? I think damage is the issue. Maybe 20%. Wait, we think it's just too fine with the stuff you guys mentioned. I just want clear requests. So like more quests consists just double speed all around visually at least i think it's fine game's just not for everyone stop at world one since you're the first world yeah but i feel like i feel like a lot of people will quit because of confusion not quit because they don't like the game more mana regen that's a good one more mana regen would actually be huge that's actually a really good point more more mana regen would be massive definitely help the game start off more fun too many things to learn. They asked me to get stuff. I don't know where the stuff is. Explain the necessities of using multiple characters. There's no way we're going to be able to get Yaga here. Yeah, there's no shot we got Yaga. Coliseum contender, though. Expecting more passiveness, and there's so many mechanics compared to expecting, like, cookie click or something, it's overwhelming. Yeah, okay, that's true. I could see that. Oh, there it is. Iron Boots. That's all we really needed. Let's get locked in spawn once because Massive Frog spawned in the interest and one-shot me every time I try to walk out. Yeah, that's an issue. Mana regen is easy after 900 mana. Yeah, but it takes so long to get to 900 mana. So, like, the problem is, is you use one spell and you're completely out. Pop up on a mouse over that explains where items can be found. True, that would be a good one, actually. Stopped and uninstalled a few months later. YouTube vid showed up. And if, yeah, but I feel like, I feel like that's, that's, that's a good thing on my part. But I feel like if the game requires a YouTube video in order for people to stay interested, uh, I, I, think, I think that might be a problem. Yeah, actually, in defense, I'm saying I started the game less two months. Make mana pots work like mana pots in other games where it refills mana instead of garbage they are. Just a link to the wiki might help. Yeah, faster portals. Yo, yeah, what's up, Soul Reap? Just doing some more hardcore. Okay. Let's see what you guys are cooking up. Alright, I see, I see. I mean, you guys got some good good ideas. Do we have do we have all the do we have the trusty nails? The trust nails? Are we are we are we good on the trust nails? Do we have five hundred or no? We just have five hundred. Okay, Puck. More areas to explode, lower enemy HP. Why? Well, I don't know if lowering enemies HP will fix it. Quick question about teleports through maps. What they run out? Do I need to pay for more? Uh they will you'll get you get daily teleports. So you'll get some Early alchemy is painful, it's unfun. Yeah, but we're not worried about World 2, it's mostly World 1. Because it's like, there's like, a really low, low, low way to get into World 2. A lot of people just don't get to World 2. You can buy more daily parts, yeah, but gems, yeah. I mean, Pickle quit because he's, just, I don't know, he's just maintenance mode. Game of Island reminds me a lot of that video I made World 2 Party Dungeon, just too much exposition. The game starts explaining itself before it even has you're fully interested. World 2 is like a day 2 thing. X to doubt, huge. Huge X to doubt. Most people don't reach World 2 in a day. Actually, lowering mobs wouldn't be bad. Like how it does be lowers World 4, World 5, came out World 3. Just do it every single world so earlier people can rush through area. They quit pretty quick because they didn't want to look at a wiki in order to play the game. Yeah, oh, yeah, I can understand that. I mean, that's, I feel like that's a somewhat of a problem for everybody. We can make Amarok boots here pretty quick. Uh, let's go grab some, let's, let's farm some grass leaves, chat. We have a couple of, what, what's our, how much time do we have left on our, we have 37 minutes. That's how I was lost, and then I started back. I feel like that's a lot of people's problem, is it's just, So 
until you make a count reviews was take to be in one uh when world six starts coming up then uh then then i'll be doing more but until world six is not up then i'm taking taking a break from ie reviews because it just got to a point where it was the same shit over and over again i'd rather not just repeat myself a hundred times no way to complete new player reach world two and world two with a guide yeah exactly dude Do not message me on Discord. Do not message me. I wasn't confused because I was watching UG. Yeah, but that's the problem, is a lot of people don't watch me. So it's like figuring out figuring out a counterbalance for that. You know? We're gonna need farm bleach logs anyway, so we're gonna go we're gonna go board beans. I think all of that makes a lot of sense to be honest. It didn't help her, she just and she didn't watch vids. Well, I mean I mean the thing is is here's how I see it. This is with content creation in general. If you're a dev or anything, if you, if you if you just assume that everybody has the IQ of like 0 0.5, then going forward makes everything easier, right? Because if you just assume that nobody can think for themselves, your life will go by a lot easier. That's what I started doing with my guides and it made my life 10 times easier. To be completely honest. But it just works better that way. Because then, because then you have no expectations for the player base. You know, it's just like here's a here's a great example: Diablo Mortal. Well, you guys don't have phones. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, so what I'm hearing is, is just, it just needs to be more streamlined. So, like lower mobs. Explain, explain where to get certain items in World One. Like, for instance, if you have to go get, you know, uh, green mushroom spore caps, you can hover over to find what mob actually has it. I Honestly, I think you should do that for all, you should do that for all quests, if, if that's the case. I mean, other players' account reviews, not your account? Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Just like when you drive, yeah. Call it quality of testing phase of a video game, Idi idiot-proofing the game, yeah. Make a good realm prog, but how do you know when it's a good time to rebirth? Um, when you start getting upgrades uh, for for your uh, blessings. I think it'd be more brutal, make World 1 easier and leave others like they used to. The game keeps getting harder. I mean, it takes longer to reach other stages, makes you see new things, come to new worlds, so World 1's basically nothing to focus on. When World 2, you'd be fucked. It's pretty good right now. Came for idolized state of the season, April Fool's joke. Yo, what's up? What's up, dude? Time counter, but portal kills? Eh, probably not. I would, I would, I would say. Well, the problem is, is it's obviously not pretty good right now because there's like a thirty-eight percent on Steam that have actually made it to World Two. It's a very low amount. Like if I if I go to if I go to Steam here, let's just take a quick look. Uh. Uh, let's see here. If I go to library, uh, that's trading cards. Whoops. A lot of mechanics not having a ceiling can be turned off. Some people like the dopamine of hitting cap, like we had it used to feel when we hit 100 on talents before we capped increased. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because if we go, if we take a look here, we go to global achievements. So the people that, so the amount that people were to re, so here, here's, you guys want, here's a great example, okay? Here's a, here's a fantastic example. The amount of people that have reached World 2. Guess the percentage. Guess the percentage of people that have reached World 2. Fifteen point three percent. Fifteen point three percent chat. That means 15.3% of people that have tried Eidolon have not gotten to World 6, or World 2. Oh, I have to deal with four different characters and then decide not to play. They weren't even trying. Uh, World 1 has too much, not too little. You can make a few parts of it easier. The late games are relatively easy, but early game, better statue cards, gold food drop rates it would help. Until I get chocolate chip, boob out of 200. My statues were at level 30. I have 200 gold food and level 2 on each card. Just my thoughts. Sorry, it's long. No, you're good. Daily login rewards. What would, yeah, this is this is this is what I'm this is what I'm trying to understand, right? 
what could what could lava do to have to increase that 15.3 percent and i mean 20 percent of people get level 40 yeah of course most people get to level 40 because they they just fucking afk some quit on create account screen that would still count towards that number yeah Star in world 2 bam 100 percent yeah i mean true Increased teleports would help. Yeah, he did the arrow, but it doesn't matter if you need to spend over a day on each map to progress AFK. Yeah. I th I maybe, maybe like a quick, quick little text be like, hey, if you actively play, uh, you you get more kills per hour. Drop rate could be higher in the beginning. Yeah, dr yeah, I think I think yeah, drop could drop rate is a huge issue. Things to make you get here, not gonna lie. AFK gains perhaps should be a base of 100%, not 30 or whatever whatever they are. And make it so first world is faster. People reading stuff would help a lot. Yeah, true. So we can implement guides in the game to make you progress by force, make catch-up mechanics better, don't nerf us, but buff new players. World 1 is already pretty fast, all things considered. I mean, to be fair though, if it takes, if it takes a skilled player to be able to get to the end of world 1 in under 3 hours... Imagine how long it takes for a person that has no skill in the game, or has no, no, no thought in the game, right? They don't understand what to do in the game. It takes them like a week. Better UI, better explain. Real issue, in my opinion, is World 3. And I agree, World 3 is the make or break it world, but if, if, if World 2 only has a 15.3%, that's a, that's a bigger issue. Because by World 3, that's when they decide if they're hooked or not. Should works work with someone like maybe you make a streamlined tutorial that holds hand well away way to Amrock? Reading does not help most of the things. It says memes during quests. World 1 is only fast if you know how to play. You start playing the game, there is only World 1. Yeah. Took me three-ish three -ish years to get to World 2. For me, it mostly kills per map. Even if I was one-shotting, it took me two days for one map in World 4. Well, World 4 isn't the problem. Like, it should be that hard once you start getting into later levels. Serious so idle games is people want to see progress ASAP, but Eidolon does have progress, but it's a little too slow. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, true. Need time to soak in the new mechanics of the game. That's three hours nonstop. The casual player wants to idle the game, play for a half an hour, take a break for a couple hours, and check back in the game occasionally, not running 24-7. That's a big true. Sorry, wait seven weeks, and it only took me like five to six days. The big destroyer is World 4 Lab. No, no, it's World. we're only focusing on World 1. World 1 is the big issue. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't play the game initially because I didn't vibe with it. I launched it, played for three minutes, installed, came back one year later. I actually did that too. I stopped playing it, came back, played it, and then the rest is history. World 5, two days by watching you and still made mistakes because I didn't watch the speedrun stream in day one, but I mean, it's pretty hard if you don't know what to do in the game. Actually, Yeah, exactly. Also, though, the stats are showing an alt account that made people and forgot about it. Even though that part dungeon gives outside dungeon buffs. I, 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 maybe, dude. Maybe, maybe... New players basically don't know what to do to get stronger, and I think that's a huge point. I think they, I think Lava needs to be like, hey, if you want some good early game bonuses to help you go faster, play Party Dungeons. The game is advertised as an AFK game. The more you try to AFK, the farther fall behind, longer it takes to so attack. Well, if we're talking, okay, if we're talking about, if we're talking about filthy casuals here, you can you can take falling further behind out of the equation because to to a casual player, that doesn't matter. Frankly, what kept me in the game is stumbling on the community here. Yeah, and what we're trying to focus on is trying to trying to figure out what would help make it better without having to use like YouTube or anything. At least get to world two. Increasing AFK gains for world one with those. I would I would say increase the AFK gains. I would say increasing AFK gains to like 50% instead of the stay instead of the baseline 20% would make a fucking massive difference. I think mobs in World 1 should be harder and crafting should be easier to get in cooler armor. I disagree. They realize that party dungeons in their second month. Yeah, true. I feel like making some World 1 quests required but easier would be better than any other tutorial. Usually people assume party dungeons are something you do after a while when you can just start very early. Free auto loot? They don't even know about auto loot. You can't even see auto loot for a while. Auto loot doesn't even show up as a pack for at least a couple hours of game time. We need more World 1 mechanics to keep new players hooked, and th that's kind of what we're looking on. I mean, falling behind as in how long it takes to get stuff like DR that has been mentioned, perhaps AFK games, higher base, maybe more XP for a streamlined way to get talents early on. So we're, we're saying it was increase the XP. 
Increase the XP and increase the baseline AFK gains. Reduce mass for some World 1 quests. Yeah, re re reduction of the World 1 quests because mob materials drop. Fucking, they take forever to drop. I think it just needs to be... Yeah, I, I, think, I think it should be like... There should be a quest that's requirement to you to level up stamps. So when you level up stamps, it'll tell you, be like, this is a really good source of getting defense, accuracy, and damage so you can 100% hit the mobs and not die. Um, maybe maybe nerf early game mana usage of, of spells. That'd be huge. Like, mage is fucking useless early game because you use one energy, energy bolt and you're out of mana for the next 15 minutes. Picture you can get test lava, dude. Thing is, if you're active, the XP is quite slow. If you're AFK, the issue gets multiplied further, so it's really bad. Tutorial pop-ups could contain more info. You show me unlock mechanics. You're true. No, I just I just noticed that was an issue, and I was just like, how how do we get more people hooked? I mean, m maybe what lava could do is he could do a a uh, a month of uh, a, like just like just do a month of new player double XP. So if you if you create an account, if you create an account and you just started playing, you get double XP, double drop rate, and uh, double AFK gains for a month. And it's a it's a new player experience. So you get a thirty day you get a thirty day buff. And making a codex more detail along the way. Unnerf weapon power, true. Unnerf weapon power would be huge. Double XP level 35. Yeah, so you get like double double XP, double drop rate, everything to level 50. Uh, yeah, I, th I think at like a level 50 cap and then everything's doubled. I can get a tummy camp to help zoom. Nah, but the thing is, is if you use world, world one, yeah, we weapon power got nerfed a long time ago. Congrats on Sheepy. You could also do double XP weekend, weekends every other week for let's say under level 150 players or whatever. Yeah, true. That's something that could happen as well to help get people caught up. Absolutely. I, I could see that being a thing. Double XP weekends have always been super, super good. Maybe lower poor oak requirements for the first character. Yeah, I would say, I would say, I mean, I mean, the only, th I, yeah. A few things more to craft early for a small push to actually make the drops get interesting. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, it is slow. Like, we, we, we know this. It is, it is 100% slow. Um, but yeah, we just definitely need to, so, let me pull up a notepad here, okay? Let me let me pull up a notepad for for new players. Um, so new player experience. I'm just gonna get them all down. Yo, welcome, welcome back. Okay, so for the new player experience, uh, the goal here is to keep people hooked. In World One, so I was I, so we were saying increase movement speed, increase movement speed, baseline AFK gains fifty percent. It's good. It's, uh, what's up, Lasky? Um, lower portal counts. Uh, unnerf weapon power. Uh, clear quests. As in a mouse over for item to see where it drops from. Because you can only see it if you have cards at the moment. Lower portal counts. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just putting, I'm just putting down like, uh, what you guys have said. And I can go through it and see what's, uh, what makes sense. Change presets from anywhere. Um, no, I don't think that's a huge thing. I mean, people, uh, I, I doubt that's, that's, I doubt that's a big issue. Uh, maybe have a, uh, new, new player, uh, account event. For 30 day buff. Uh, 30 day buff. That gives uh, uh, times 2 XP. Times 2 drop. Uh, f for uh, up 
to level 50. More money percent? 100% a new player account event? Yeah. I think new player buff should be based off level, not duration, because imagine new players want to come back and need to create... Oh, uh, yeah, true, true, true. Uh, event for, for buff, two times XP, two times drop up to level 50. Um, uh, direct people. Uh, have a quest. Uh, quest to direct people to party dungeons. And explain... You can get early juiced by doing them. Already a P is a PD quest? Yeah, but you have to go to the party dungeon. Most people don't fucking read and they just skip it completely. They just walk right past it. Oh, fix early mana. That's a big one, actually. Early mana needs to be fixed. Duration is way people uh, so people inclined to keep playing since it's limited. Honestly, oh, you 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 think you think a duration is important? A thirty day thirty day. Uh, but I, I would say it would cap at level fifty. Lower downtime when you just kill a mob. Oh, uh, increase to attack speed. Uh, like, I would say like maybe like a twenty percent increase would help. You have a daily bonus unlocks per login together with a buff times two. So like, okay. You should add world one class changes. Well, I mean, that doesn't matter. Promise unlocking big booba at some point. Don't cap, but make it 15 days. Something that tells people what to purchase in the gem shop. Oh, true. They don't play the duration. Level incentives, maybe. New unlocks for world one, world three. Remove loud ass noise you get sometimes. Oh, you mean the popping? You do party dungeons on the way, the boss, instead of being uh, beside the road. Well, I mean, that's fine. Like, reach level 20, 30 for gems, help out new counts. Oh! Well, th there's already gem incentives. Yeah, there's, there's already gem incentives for getting 20, 30, 40. Daily logins? Ah, that's a little too mobile for the daily login rewards for the seven days. Black Desert Mobile now scaling gems per day bundle. Cheaper, but makes you check in each day. So just log in, get 50 wood, 50 copper, etc., etc. Oh, oh, so you, so you mean, so you mean like, uh, daily login for, for mats kind of deal. So like, uh, oak, copper, etc. Uh, for, uh, for mats, uh, seven days. Uh, big clickbait arrow in gem shop to tell you first purchase which is golden anvil of course what about reducing overall smelting speed it's kind of slow especially on those bigger stacks honestly i don't have a problem with smelting speed early game smelting speed early game's totally fucking fine there's nothing wrong with smelting copper stacks or iron stacks those are fucking easy Dying once out of beans out of nowhere without the grind. 10 hours to get a piece of gear. Login screen with login bonus. Money mats. Tip of the day. Tutorial on all the mechanics would help newer players. Gold anvil should be given for free at the end of World 1, to be honest. Maybe there's just a free beginner card set for early stats. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah. Uh, kill Amrock. Uh, get card pack. Give gems to buy gold and anvil will be good. So, okay, so here's here here's what we have to help make it. Because right now, right now, world two achievements, world two achievement, fifteen point three percent. That's what we have. Make the armor that you fight the world carry more into world two than it now. Kill ten to get another card pack. I don't know. I don't know who I keep on. I don't think the gems is the way to go, but Amble is a reward for seven days or thirty days. Sounds like huge, to be honest. 
So daily, so, and then et cetera, and then at seventh day, get free, uh, get free gold, uh, infinity, infinity hammer. Seven, yeah, seventh day, you get free, that would, that'd be, that'd be. First 30 days of login rewards. Yeah, I mean the thirty the thirty days would be all right. I mean it's not too bad. I'd say I I mean the thirty day, the problem is is the thirty days the thirty days is pretty uh pretty pretty mobile esque. You don't want to go you don't want to go too mobile. Get wings in world one to be honest. People love cosmetics. It's not a cosmetic though. You don't need thirty days to reach world two. No, definitely not. Ton of gems worth such an important gem upgrade allows early players to miss out on spending gems on Wily regards death's a reminder to use second hammer once you get it. But it's on mobile too, basically. Yeah, but I mean it, it you don't so the problem is is if you make a game that's multi-cross platform and you make fuck and you make it too too mobile esque, people are gonna drop it faster because they're gonna be like, this is just a mobile port. You know what I mean? When in reality it's not. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, uh, didn't web come first before mobile? So you, so you want to avoid it making like, making it super, super, uh, mobile looking. If it's too mobile looking, people will just scrap it. Especially Steam players. Steam players are notorious for that. Sorry, one sec, chat. I just want to make the game better and get more people in. But after after seeing that's only a 15% that people get to World 2, that's depressing. To the to the IBA, brother. To the IBA. Thank you, Carp, bro. So they aren't doing nothing. Just a, just do a week then, and once you spend free gems, you're more tempted to buy gems. Yeah. I think the biggest problem is the difference between World 1 defense and World 2. Well, I mean, people lick the floor hard, dude. Like, the big, like what I see... Is people don't understand what the fuck accuracy is, and people don't understand what defense is. I mean, downloads we have a mo it's like uh like uh, like a, close to two mil or something, but you got to realize that's that's two mil in total. That that's been that's been a long time. You b believe it or not, I'm pretty sure more people play on Steam and web than they do on mobile. I would say I would say approximate approx approximate. Of everybody accumulated together from mobile and Steam, we're probably looking at about twelve thousand. Uh, approx approximately twelve thousand, I would say. So, or saw a person playing the game on phone though. There's tons of people. Also, have a count the player that has Steam and mobile app. Yeah, I mean, I know some people now. Problem is, is the buff the lower worlds you nearly as much dopamine from advancing. Yeah, but I mean, it's all about getting getting people. Uh, getting people hooked, right? And playing on the phone is kind of miserable, but I mean, if, if that's the first thing you start on, I mean, you don't mind playing on phone. I have to use my minigames before I get reset. One sec. I think almost too what would help is make accuracy scale faster. I think accuracy scales really slow, and I feel like that deters a lot of people. I think having having accuracy scale a little bit faster, but like even by like something small by like 10-20% would make a huge difference. It was on Steam playing on mobile emulator. Yeah, dude, it's on Steam. I play on phone because I can't have my PC running all day, but I might spare phone. Can do, yeah. That's what I started on. I stopped due to lack of accuracy and clicks, dude. Basically, meant I've never seen anyone who plays this game, even the people I know that love pixel art games. More XP equals more talents, more accuracy, so that should fix itself. 
Yeah, but they want to do, like, for instance, if you they don't do a lot of damage, right? Or maybe lower the accuracy requirements for enemies. It's also counterintuitive. You should put all your talents into wisdom as a warrior. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of people can't understand that concept. So if they can't understand that simple concept, that's an issue. So, like, I would say... I would say... Uh, increase the potency of base stats or accuracy like i would say maybe 10 to 15 percent give or take increase the potency yeah the the base stat potency would help out a lot well if you get people to world two in five seconds they'll just quit there as the mobs get quite more difficult that won't make it faster. That will just make... Well, it will make it a little bit faster, but it'll, it'll give them a little bit more of a dopamine hit. Right? Because I think that... I think that's... I think that's... That's the problem. Is that... Is that people aren't getting... They, they aren't getting the dopamine hit that they need. Right? Niche accuracy actually... Accuracy is certain is... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not... It's not necessarily fun. Like, try to keep it even. Yeah, maybe more specific tutorial for skills. Like, let's put some points into wisdom, now kill the mob. Yeah, yeah, that could be. Hades, the second they hit world 2 and lose that speed, sounds miserable. Well, no, they they don't they don't lose that dopamine hit. Because because the thing, the th like, for instance, the accuracy, that accuracy will carry into world 2, world 3, world 4, because, because it increases the potency of accuracy, right? And I mean, the, the, so, and like, and also the the seven day or the new player account event buff, which is two times XP, two times drop up to level fifty, that carries you past. Uh, that carries you through world two part way. Uh, early mana will carry over, even way as well. If you increase the attack speed by just a baseline twenty percent for new characters, that will also make it feel like it's more interesting. Um. I think kill cap could help. No, no, I'm not. I'm not worried about the. No, I, I don't. I don't. I don't agree with the smaller portals. I would say maybe early game kill cap. Incre increase increase uh, damage equaling kill cap. Could help a lot. You know, instead of instead of only doing like a hundred kills per hour, you can do like maybe two hundred kills per hour. The gap for World 1, World 2 is too big for new players. But yeah, here, here's the thing, though. We keep on talking about the gap in between, but that's not what we're focusing on. What we're focusing on is there's a 15.3% of people that aren't reaching World World 2. So there's there's an 85% or yeah, 85 differential of people reaching World 2 and not reaching World 2. We need to get that number from 15% and we can try to get it to like 20 to 25%. Lowering account requires on all mobs once a new rose release released instead of just the previous one. Well, you also need to keep them there, just not reaching it? Absolutely. Hit World 4 blew my mind. God damn, the real grind finally set in. Show current AFK gains versus AFK gains at 100% accuracy and damage. Yeah, but that's the that might be too much info dump. You know what I mean? You know, some, something like, uh, you know, give them, give them a quest to, to go to green mushrooms and like ha they have to open up the AFK window. You know what I mean? Like they have to open up the AFK window in order to see the kills per hour. And then there'll be like little, little pop-up box and be like, this is your kills per kills per hour. Well, AFK, uh, this is your accuracy down here. This is in order to hit hundred percent. And then it, it will say, and then this is your survivability. And then I'll have a big box that says you will lose kills per hour. If if you do not have a hundred percent accuracy and a hundred percent survivability, are you going to TwitchCon? I'm not going to TwitchCon this year. I'm going to TwitchCon maybe next year. Fifteen percent didn't finish World One, or fifteen percent quit in World Two. Fifteen percent people, no, eighty-five percent of people on Steam did not even finish World One. Eighty-five percent, dog. Don't your AFKs drop once you have lower survivability? Yeah, but people are stupid, right? You have to, you have to just take the take the understanding that everybody has the IQ of 0.5, and then all of this will make more sense. 
people should go this year and advertise Eilon. Yeah, true. Steam not really accurate. I think it's things first step is making people appealing visually with UI, explaining stuff better, better details on things. No, not not obviously not everyone is stupid, okay? Like fucking everybody that's still playing this game, okay? But it's like it's like if there if there if there's a if there's a large if there's an 85% differential, that just means that there is something wrong. There is something wrong that's not that's not making enough sense for people to stay hooked. You know what I mean? But I don't want Lava to go with the easy fucking, oh, hey, let's just, uh, you know, for 30 days, you get all these good goodies. Stay in here. You mean Iron Man at Twitch can help increase people in Eilon? Doing a Twitch, TwitchCon won't fucking help, dog. Jack shit. All right? I'm saying it now. If, you're, if I was to do, if I was to go to TwitchCon to promote Eilon, that shit would not help. Besides, if I was going to TwitchCon to promote Eidolon, Lava would have to pay me. That would be a sponsorship, okay? I'm not just going to brand myself as Eidolon. I'd be branding myself as Griffy Bit if I went to TwitchCon. There's no fucking way. Yeah, really. You just did that 30 days, you just inflate World 1 numbers, but lose after World 2 anyways, and that's the issue. How would you pay yourself? In green gems. Alright, I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh. People don't take into account how many people make new accounts in Iron Man Pat rolls either. It, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Completely honest with you. That wouldn't change. That wouldn't change the percent that much. Maybe, just maybe, 2%. If anything. That would be like a 2% differential for people that re-roll for Iron Man and Pet rolls. And realistically, people that are actually doing Iron Man accounts are they know the game and they'll get into World Two quite quickly. Because no, 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 nobody, nobody realistically just does Iron Man for the sole fact of just doing Iron Man. Yeah, and also they wouldn't. Yeah, they wouldn't be making Steam accounts. They would be making. They'd be making web accounts. That's another really good point. Because web accounts make so much more sense. Yeah, so that, that, I mean, that's, that does, that basically there's, there's a very negligible amount of people that are actually doing, making brand new Steam accounts to re-roll for pets. They would do it on web, and then once they got the pet that they want, then they would make a Steam account for that web version. And then do it on web. I mean, then do it on Steam. So it's actually not that, not that much. Not harder than world bosses get new players' middle goals for more dopamine. Was the percent of people did this or did that? Well, you, you also got to realize that this this is a fifteen percent over over since Eidolon has been released, right? So, like, since Eidolon has been re released, it's at a fifteen point three percent. So, but I mean, even still, random dungeon events can also feel terrible for new players. I honestly, I honestly think what the biggest problem is, is people don't understand how to get more damage, they don't understand how to get defense, they don't understand how to get accuracy to be able to progress. And I think, I think that's, that's the huge issue. Trying to level up and bonk your dead out of nowhere for one hour. Do I agree though, this game early needs, early game needs love? 
Yeah, and it, it the problem is it needs love before it goes full release. Based off players that have Eidolon in their library, remaking accounts would affect those numbers since it would be based on your Steam account achievements. Yeah, so I mean it, it's 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 a it's a finicky fish to fry. Because if you yo, thank you, thank you, God. Because here's the thing. If you if you make things my dude, what's going on? Yo, thank you so much, man. Because if you make things for a, for the lower percent, okay? If you make them if you make them for the if you make it for world 1 being easier to get through, then you have to make buffs that will per, that will progress past world 1, right? Like for instance, the really good one is making the mana early game much much better. That will progress through all the worlds. Uh, another one would be uh, the increasing the base stats potency for accuracy. That would be a huge one as as ever as well. That be that would make it so more people can focus on damage rather than focusing on accuracy. So they're not feeling like they're falling super far behind because they can't get the DPS that they're looking for because it takes five shots for a monster. And they, when they take a look at their AFK gains, they're getting like 20 kills an hour and the portal is fucking 300 kills. And they're like, what the fuck? This is going to take me two days. You know, I think that's, uh, that's also the other issue, is they're looking looking at the gains and realizing that the gains are not giving what they want. So basically, this this all needs to be fixed be before full release comes out. Because there's obviously something that isn't working here that needs to be worked. You know what I mean? So, like, because what, because basically, once you get past World 1... World 1 is, uh, is a little bit of a hurdle. And then once you get to World 2, it's not too bad. And then World 3 is where it really just starts. Either you're fucking in it to win it, or you're like, fuck this game. Is really what it comes down to. Realizing if you leave your game running, it'll take 5 days for the new portal, because you have 20% AFK games where you can do it 10 minutes active. Yeah, exactly. How many dungeons will we run today? I'll do a few. I'll do, I'll do quite a bit. I need to juice up my power. Like, really bad. Introducing new systems interacting before dropping down to World 1. Maybe you have a zone with enemies you can't kill and make the players upgrade one stamp, one bubble vial. Crafting some stuff until he's strong enough to get through. Yeah, like, even like a quest, like, you know, hit max damage of this before continuing. Long tutorials make people quit the game as well. Well, you don't need long tutorials. You just need, like, simple quests that are just giving you the basic concept. Shit, I got blood vial? Fuck yeah. Yo, thank you, dude. Thank, th thank you for paying it for it, bro. Yeah, but the problem is being forced in weird pros isn't like that appealing to me, at least. Yeah, well, I mean, every game does it. Like realistically, it's it's because here here here's the here's the alternative. Okay, you're either you're either forced to do a weird tutorial, or you're or or you're gonna have people that are dipshits that you'd be like, I don't know what to do, and they quit the game. So it's like, although it's like the one percent, a very small percentage of people don't actually like that. If we're looking for the grand majority, we have to think about what would work streamlined, not by just a person-to-person -person basis. Because that, that won't help. Right? That will just, that will just create a, uh, a differential that shouldn't, shouldn't be there. Right? So if, if it's a forced tutorial that's needed to fucking get people to figure their shit out so they know how to play the goddamn game, then, then it's something that almost needs to happen. At, le at least in my mind. Makes sense to me. Because apparently, apparently people just, just get bored. And it's like, that's understandable. I mean, you can get bored from this game. It's not like that's an impossible feat to even think about. It's not like it's complete blasphemy that people get bored from this game. Because it, it, it's, it's an idle game, right? And yeah, World, World 1 is fucking slow. World 1 is very slow. Especially for a new player game. Because it, it, it shows itself as an idle AFK game, right? And what does all idle AFK games have in common? They throw loot upon loot upon loot at you at the very start of the game. Like a shit ton of upgrades, shit ton of boosts. So giga busted at, at the fucking beginning. Number goes up, big dopamine, big happy, right? So I think, I think it's more has to figure out a sick level 20. Has to figure out more what would, you know, what would... But, like, we don't want to go completely that style, because if we go completely that style, the, the, the backlash of that will be like, it's a fucking, mo it's a fucking mobile game. 
right? And that's what we're trying to avoid. We want to try to, you know, it's a multi-platform game. But at the same, at the same time, you got to ask yourself, you know, it's like, okay, let's take a, let's take a, let's take a trick from other, other, uh, multi-cross platform games. Albion, for instance. Albion has no, Albion has no sort of direction whatsoever. It's a tutorial island, and that's it. Shows you what to do, bing bong beezle, you're on your way, but how does they, how are they managed to keep retention? Make, th make more things less idle MMO, make more active play versus idle play, but obviously won't happen, the game deserves six, uh, sick active activities that aren't time locked, but it's a free game and an idle game, so. Yeah, I, I, well, I mean, I, I think he should definitely specify, like, the difference between active play and non-active play, and be like, hey, you get more gains if you actively play. You know what I mean? Like I, I think I think he needs to make that apparent because there's no place in the in the tutorial or anywhere that not playing active is is the way to go. Because it just people assume since it's idle, I just don't need to play the game. Right? And also the problem is is with most idle games, if they are active, or like you can at the start you play the first one to two to maybe three hours active, they throw so much shit at you to make you stay active. Right? So we have to figure out, figure out a way to make them stay active so then they, they come across the realization that you, you, that you can play active and it will benefit you greatly. Uh, baseline is like 20% AFK gains. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure last time I checked, baseline is 20%. Heartwood? Yeah, Heartwood. Heart, Heartwood is not an idle game, though. I just, I just want to make it so it's like, it gets more people playing, but at the same time, it doesn't require to be like, hey, I didn't like this game until I saw Griffey's video. Now I'm hooked. That's, that's a bad thing. It's good for me, but that's bad in general. Like, just, just for the grand scheme of things, that's just not good. That's not something that you want to rely on. Most people don't actually look at the AFK window, the, the C right away. Yeah, they should be required to open it up. Pick it, pick it up as an aisle game, then drop it because it's not really that at least at the start. No, most most idle games are like that, dude. Most idle games get you make you play active for the first one to two to three hours. At least because of the amount of stuff that they throw at you. I don't know, I think I think they're just I think what the problem is, okay, is is it's easy at the start, but it ramps up too quickly. I think I think that might be the problem is the fact that it's the ramping. The ramping is insane. Cause, it, Cause it's like the first couple of maps, super, super easy. You know, it's like, oh, okay, we're we're banging through maps. This is easy peasy, dude. I love this. And all of a sudden you get to fucking slimes. And then it's all of a sudden, oh hey, guess what? You went from getting dopamine to now you have to farm the shit forever. Like that fucking sticks portal, three thousand kills. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Three thousand kills for stick portal, that shouldn't be a thing. All right, that should be nerfed by at least fifty percent. Understand that active is way more powerful than the AFK really talk about. I thought it was supposed to be more accurate at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, well, at, at the beginning, you can get away fine. Still have frogs, by the way. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just like how he forces you to make a second character. He's forced people to have to read things, point out, to make sure you don't miss and shit like that. Yeah, and be like, this is your AFK info. This tells you everything you need to know about how you're doing in this map. If you're not hitting 100% accuracy or 100% survivability, you're taking a huge cut to your AFK gains. To, to your uh, uh, AFK kills per hour. And I feel, like, I feel like that needs to be, that needs to be pushed. Another issue I see with new players making too many characters. Yeah, they need to let people know it's like, make one of each character. Don't make, or, or he, he, should, he should make it for your first three characters. You're not allowed, if you make one character, you're not allowed to make the other characters. So you, so you can't, so you can't instantly go with two warriors. I know that would, that would suck for Iron Man, but I mean, I don't give a shit. It's fine. It's whatever. It would just like triangle warnings for survivability should show accuracy and other big things. You should have warning at least to make two of the same class. Yeah. And just like have like a double click box and be like, are you sure you want to make two warriors? This 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 potentially could mess up your your account's progression. Just just something to just make it a little bit more 
easier. We just need something, man. So I just feel at this point, you should warning if you might bork your account. Yeah. Real question is, Lava, when are you going to hire me, dog? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me be part of the Eilon crew, right? Let me, let me, let me be a dev here. Let me go. Come on. You know, we got, we got, we got some, we got some big brains. You can't hire yourself? No, I can't, dude. Not allowed. So, can you code though, or is it just idea, man? Uh, I, I would, I, there, I'd be like, I'd be like the, the guy that, okay, so we have an issue. How do we fix this issue? And then I go, and I go through a bunch of shit of how to fix the issue. While he's busy working, coding other stuff, so he doesn't have to think about it. So he literally, he literally, that's every person? No, that's the bug guy? So, th you could say that's every person? Yeah, but who the fuck listens to every person, right? Sensel isn't that hard to use without code, you just have to code with custom stuff? Yo, Mr. Waffles with the five gifted subs, yo, thank you, dude. Because if you say that's every person, nobody, nobody, nobody listens to every person, right? Are you every person in employment setting would do that job is what I'm saying? Yeah, but it, but at the same time, that's product manager. Yeah, but don't have that type of manager authority, you know? Let's make a new quest line, bring it to world two. Things like making armor, upgrading them with stones, get a minimum accuracy and defense. Yeah. So you'd be like his assistant. Yeah, basically you'd tell me what to do and I would do it. Ooh, keychain. And we leveled up. Uh, four edgy. Ooh, whoa, hey, yo, 20 base damage? Yo, that's kind of, that's actually kind of a good keychain with 10% money. Yo, that's actually kind of fire. That's actually a half decent World 1 keychain, dude. I'll fucking lock that. Manager doesn't mean people management in a sense, just to steer direction. Yeah, true. Oh, hey, and daily reset just happened, chat. So that means we have uh, more party dungeons to do. What I like to see, dog. That's what I like to see. Equipment, what is it? Upgrade? 836? I think we might wait for the 836. Missing up to 30%. Could do a couple of armadillo upgrades. Actually, let's do some boss gall upgrades. Yeah, now we get 44% on our boss gall. That would actually be huge. That would help big time. Um, some more drop rarity for more consistency would be nice. I mean, the quest line should be like your videos explaining the game. Yeah, what it should really do is you should just embed my videos into the game so then it's so that I can give so I can give like a quick 15 second tutorial of how to do things and be like, hey, Griffy here. <laughs> just embed my fucking videos as 15 seconds. Be like, hey, this is how you do this. Hey, how's it going? Hey, yo. G tips. Yeah, exactly, dude. Nice, dude. Grats. Let's get some more talent points. And let's get a couple more pieces of accuracy here. Don't forget level 20 trait. Oh, yeah, thank you. We're gonna go definitely with Flurbos, 100%. Hey, Vsauce here. He already plugs his own videos, dude. Well, I mean, yeah, true, but I mean, nobody ever clicks on him. You tried this with alchemy, did not work considering the amount of alchemy questions I see. Yeah, but at the same time, it's it's in a small little square at the top right. This is 30 seconds. Nobody's going to click on that. All right. Be more like Clippy, the word assistant. <laughs> yeah, true. Make Yeah, just have my own V-man. V-man with the red hat. Like, yo! Sally, my dudes rings out of the players like, uh... My dudes! But play, play a lot of Blood Berserker, a bunch of dang, you do big damage, dude. Yeah, he does, he does all right damage. Let's do Kukuro. No, fucking... No. Absolutely not. But I mean, that's that's world two. I mean, alchemy alchemy's rough, but I feel like the biggest part is they don't realize like the type of gains that you get from two two sources in world one. Stamps, which is massive. People people underestimate the power of stamps. They really really do, especially in the early game. Fuck stamps or OP early game, and uh, and party dungeons. Those are the two biggest things that people just don't know about. And those are insane, massive upgrades. Both of them are. 
Like, without a question. They are so, so good, and, and people just completely neglect them. Start with replace the alchemy from Lavas to yours, dude. Yeah, true. Game Seas like has been balanced around alchemy, sometimes World 1, 2, but you need to World 2 for it. It's so bad, dude. Honestly, I, I, think, I think nowadays, alchemy is uh, less and less important. I mean, it's like, don't get me wrong, it's still super important, but it used to be like, like the difference I'm talking about is like, it used to be like 80% of the game. Now it's more like 60% of the game. Kids don't even want to touch it, even though I keep telling it, it's super important. Uh, yeah, I think increasing the chances to unlock new bubbles needs to be increased as well. I, th I, think, I think that would also be a huge help is increasing everything, basically. Or or letting them know, be like, hey, if you have a shaman and you put it into a talent called Bubble Breakthrough, it increases your chances of new items. Or, or new bubble chances. One of the lovely people in this community unknowingly took me into their first dungeon. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, a lot, a lot of people in the IBA just don't mind. You know, we see a carry, we do it, bro. It's because there was less mechanics, the importance of alchemy is still way higher than other mechanics, especially if you consider World 2 mechanics and stuff like Divinity. Yeah, I 100% I agree. I still, I still not disagreeing that alchemy is super fucking important. But I mean, when you get to a point where new bubbles take 4%, you're already hooked into the game. You're, you're already down bad for the game, realistically. When you start playing the game, there's only World 1. Uh, I did not play when there was only World 1. Make the mats easier to get for alchemy. Yeah, I personally think alchemy needs a nerf in the early game. Early game, or here, here's the thing. Here, here will make alchemy really easier. Give us more liquid. Give us early game more fucking liquid. More fucking liquid, and more liquid regen would make and and, and increase the chances of getting new bubbles. You know, you do those things and make things a lot better. Because I, th I think that's that's a huge issue. But that's not World 1. Uh, three Worlds. I, start, I started at the summer event uh, of World 3. World 1, World 2 balancing was fine back then, but once you got to World 3 and 4 on balancing, you shift towards more exponential curve rather than somewhat linear, linear than what we have. Yeah. Repeatable quests every day for Liquid? That actually wouldn't be a bad idea. You're going to confuse 90% when you say nerf. Buff is easier to get. Bro. Bro, I'm not... No, it's fine. Alchemy is a beast in itself, to be honest. Cool concept, but I feel like it's only make ant stamps each day. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a huge hurdle. Nerf alchemy requirements. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent, definitely. I think all, I think, I think that all needs to be fixed. I think alchemy is a huge problem because even because the thing is, is like, yeah, imagine a perfect world. We fix all the problems, okay? All the problems that World 1 has, and, you know, we've increased, we've increased the Steam achievements by, like, over a thousand percent, okay? We're, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're getting, you know, uh, 45% of people are able to get to World 2. But now, now that we have the problem of alchemy, where alchemy is super slog, super hard, dopamine is gone, so, I mean, that doesn't necessarily fix the problem in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, yeah, definitely agree. Atom upgrades was the step in the right direction. No bubble left behind. Perfectly, perfectly good. I 100% agree with that. I think that's a great change. Something that was super, super needed. But at the same time, it's not necessarily, it's, too, it's really late in the game for it to be, you know, super, super solid. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. More focusing on stamps could be nice. Also, make more materials drop more interesting instead of just being another portal to grind for. Yeah, I, I think I think world one items for drop rate should be nerfed heavily. Like at least at least by like a full full couple points, and reduce early game stamp leveling because I think that would help the power exponential go uh, much faster. View stamps and quick ref stamps and quick ref would be massive. Absolutely. But there, the thing is, is there's so many things that you can do, but there's also so many things that you could do that seem like a good idea, but are actually just fucking dog shit. Right? 
they they can they can end up being absolutely backfiring super super bad we're actually getting some good damage though some actually some big dog damage here Another thing you need to fix is adding more steam achievements. Someone who accidentally fixed the coding for the achievement still missing the Baba and uh, Duke kill achievement despite having both killed in a day multiple times. Yeah, that's just a bug, though. Scaling stamps would be better. Having auto stamp upgrades would be great. Eh. Eh. Wouldn't necessarily agree with auto upgrading stamps. I don't know how I feel about that one. No stamp left behind? Yeah, true, dude. I feel like that would just get out of hand real quickly. Because it would get to a point where you just don't pay attention to stamps. When arguably stamps are something that you should be something. It, because if the... Maybe it can be rewarded late game. Maybe. Auto-upgrading stamps would just mean people neglect it more. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, like you could... Here's a great example of what was a really good... What was a really good idea, but ended up backfiring at the same time. No bubble left behind. No bubble left behind. Absolutely fantastic. Super, super good. Absolutely love that mechanic. There's nothing better. But do you know how much people neglect fucking alchemy now? So many people are just saying, what the fuck's alchemy? Who cares? I'll just let no bubble left behind take care of it. So it, it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. Because it doesn't really teach people. It teaches people to be lazy. Which is not... You know, yeah, is it... Alchemy's not a fun mechanic, though. Yeah, but at the same time, you should at least be able to learn the mechanic. Because, because to be fair, there's, there's a lot of things in games that people don't like. It'd be interesting to see no stamp left behind becomes a thing would be if he uses up resources while upgrading them. Yeah, but I don't, th I don't think you'd want that. Or even better, just let us upgrade stamps from storage, dude. Let us upgrade stamps from storage and everybody would be happy. So, so we just don't have a cap on stamps. Let's just go ham on what we want. But that's, that's a later game thing, realistically. But I mean, at the same time, it would also help early game because carry capacity is such a fucking bitch early game, dude. Carry capacity is the worst thing about early game. Especially if you don't work on bags. If you don't work on bags, you get like 10 item per, dude. And it's fucking brutal. Bubbles just become so much of a dick measuring contest. Yeah, well, especially now games, because you get basically 90% uh, capacity, and you have to level up 3,000 times just to get an extra 2%. With no bubble, is that you get it too fast for unlocking alchemy, something similar for no stamp left behind. 51 rift example would be more than fine. Yeah. It just needs better explain. I'm lost with it for so long. And Lava say the, uh, we're there now. Yeah, I should be using them. Oh, I can't use them. I can't use them. I'm doing Iron Man. Yeah, the level 50 traits are available. They're pretty good. Think till you kill the first boss, you get any dopamine? Well, for me, it's different. Okay, I'm, I'm based, right? You, you can't ask me. You'd have to ask, like, a brand new player. Like, a new player would have to play World 1 get to the end of the boss, and then they would have to say, did I enjoy my time? Because I get dopamine from this game because I know exactly what to expect. I know what to do, and I know how to do it. That's a crit chance. That's going to be pretty good for pushing. Not going to lie, that's, that's 4%. That's not, that's not bad. That's like half a Maglodon. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie, the music nostalgia carried me through one in your vids. Yeah, dude. But that, that is problem. In brackets, your vids, dude. Did you like my idea for no bubble left behind? Wait, what'd you say? Is this your first, first thing you said, Weather? I don't see your other... Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't see that you... It's, I only see one one message. The only bad thing to see new dungeon traces now you can full clear so fast you have to wait around for three to four minutes. Yeah, I mean, that would definitely help if you were able to, like, end, end dungeon early. I would really like to push for action frenzy. I feel like action frenzy could be huge. 
No bubble left behind should work with Larry so that people realize they need to level it. I feel like at the same time, it gets to a point where if people want to, like, get juiced out, that's when they do start searching for guides. I, th I think it's more of the early game that's the issue, because if it's, you know, if people are just like, I don't want to use a guide to figure it out, they've already given up partway through anyways. Like, they're already, if they're already getting to that point, they're, like, pretty much done with the game. There's no real helping that. A new bubble would not be good. You have no bubble left behind, you're past the problem point. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude. There's just so many there's just so many things you could potentially change to make better, and it's just hard which one you would want to change, you know? Like the things that seem like a good idea, are they actually a good idea? Are they not a good idea? When he gave up on slimes and came back a year later. Yeah, I think I think slimes is an issue. Anything past slimes, this is where people are like, why the fuck am I playing this game? And you also gotta realize too that you have to take an account that you have to respect people's time, right? Respecting people's time is incredibly important when coming into anything because uh, if people feel like their time isn't respected, they'll quit on the spot. And also, also taking the understanding that the casual player base is, uh, can play like maybe half an hour a day. Half an hour to an hour a day is realistically the, um, the time that you have. Wait, what's the issue with slimes? It's, it's the ramp up. The ramp up, so the, so the ramp up from, from green spores to slimes is fucking crazy. Any slimes, it should tell you that now is a good time to work on another character. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because when, once you get to slimes, that's when the ramp really starts. And it's not, it doesn't feel like a smooth, kind of like a smooth experience. It's just like, bum, here you go. Have fun. See you later, loser. Enjoy. Enjoy getting dicked around. Yeah, maybe, ooh, true. Maybe a kill per kill ring, like a weak kill per kill wing that you could craft early on. That could be, that actually not, would be not a terrible idea. Because it would still go along the Eidolon's, uh, Eidolon's sort of expertise with, um, uh, having, having items that can work later game. Pugilist Demise Ring could do that. True, true. Pu change the Pugilist Demise in order so it gives you more kill count. Just, uh, just a 10% extra kills for World 1. And you gotta think that you gotta compete with other games' activities for time, so if you're not valuing the player's time, you're not getting play time, accumulative quitters? Yeah, exactly. They just got a game called Eidolon, and they're literally waiting 5 to 10 minutes at a time on it at most, with, with an hour or two at the initial start. Yeah, and, and you know, realistically, if you, if you think about it, people just don't, don't have that type of time. Like, I guarantee you, the people that are quitting are probably just not not feeling like their time's respected. Would actually help a lot to give dopamine for progress. So you can see the progress towards Amrock. That's I think that's a huge one. I I think I think I think at the at the beginning, uh, make stamps super easy to level up. Make stamps super easy to level up. I feel like it would fix a lot of issues. Just like like at least to like level twenty, level thirty early game, and then have stamps start ramping. You think people use guides like yours because they really don't understand things in the game or doing it correctly don't, uh, and don't wasting progress time? So people that watch my guides is because they actually want to, want to play the game. If you, if, you take, if you take into consideration, people are just like, oh, uh, I can figure it out by just watching a guide on YouTube, you're doing the fucking game wrong. Just ran into Griffey, thought it was you, Rip, dude. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Rosica? The world one gave you kill for kill. I mean, it's better than what it gives you now. Because by the time it takes you to get the world one card pack. There's also a fact that Eilon is a weird game that's not a lot of people's things. Even though they don't understand it, they may not like it. Yeah, but it's it, you have to. we have to figure out a way to give them the opportunity to figure out what type of game it is. You know what I mean? 
rather than just being like, here's kind of the vague statement of what Eidolon's supposed to be. Take it at your own leisure. You know what I mean? Because we, we know this, like, as anybody in stream, we know that Eidolon is probably the most unique out of its genre. All right, it is it is by far the most unique of the genre. You'll not find an idol game that even comes fucking close to Eidolon. This is this is like a uh, a a very rare specimen of game that in this year, uh, it's it's having a unique having a unique style to it, a unique play style. It is so rare to find nowadays, but the fact that. A lot of people don't understand that grasp that concept. There needs to be a better way to understand it. I don't play an idle game if it doesn't have a guide. I was watching you before I played Eilon. I mean, that's totally fine, but a lot of people aren't like that. We're talking about, like, the filthy casuals, right? Because the filthy casuals are what's going to make up the large player base of this game. I take a consideration it's a free game, and I'm sure it wants to make money, especially for that kind of time. It sounds like this would be locked behind pay upgrades and things. Just a vibe I've gotten. I mean, let's be honest. Lava makes most of his money from fucking end game players. Or no, sorry, mid game players. Mid game, not end game. Mid game players, hundred percent are making up the majority of the cash, not early game players. Quick question: How pay to win is the game? Um, you could you could be you could do perfectly fine just with auto loot. If you just spent five bucks for auto loot, you'd you'd be you'd be fine. You be perfect. You don't need to spend any more money, realistically. But I mean, there there is a there is pay to win mechanics. I'm not going to sit here and be like this game isn't pay to win. There is pay to win mechanics, but I wouldn't say it has to be pay to win. You know. Yeah, you can. the The, the biggest thing is is nothing is nothing is uh, paywalled, right? For like the game's actual progression. You can still play all the content that everybody else can play through without spending a single dime. It's just slower. Auto loot is for active AFKing? Exactly. It basically auto loot allows you to AFK auto. Mostly because so I can leave the over... Yeah, it's basically so you can run the game overnight. But if you're only strictly AFK, no, you don't You don't even need auto loot. Cones alone prevent me from leaving it on active. Yeah, oh, I just missed that. Fuck. Chips still suck. Yeah, chips, like, like, don't get me wrong. Like, there's still mechanics in the game that make it astronomically slow without paying. But I mean, it's not like it's not possible to get it. You know what I mean? What is end game to you? Um, your your end game. You're basically starting to get all your end game gear, uh, like cattle Cruck, magma. You've you've killed nightmare Cruck. and I would say that's the beginning of end game. Is I would say nightmare Cruck. Night nightmare Cruck, and you you're starting to get all your characters up, and your alchemy is your alchemy and your stamps is decently. We're I'm not I'm not going by bubble level anymore. I'm not going by because bubble levels are so fucking skewed now. Like what it used what's what it used to be for was like you know, it was it used to be like uh 140 minimum bubble level and blah 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 all this other shit. We I don't even calculate that shit anymore. When you're a minimum hourly clicking three base stat bubbles is the start of end game. I disagree. I would say once you finish all the content, once you finish all the content the game has given you, I would say you're in end game. Because the start of endgame. Once you start once you can start hourly clicking three base stats, you're like midway through endgame. And then once you can when, when, once you once you can like hourly click like twelve bubbles, I would say you're late late endgame. You're basically that's basically just fucking maintenance mode at that point. So I would say one, as soon as you defeat Nightmare Cattle Crook, that's when that's when you start. That's when you start at the very beginning of Endgame. End of Endgame is where you can hourly click P bubble. Yeah, that's that's when you're just you you need to go touch some grass. That's that's that state of the game. 
Two times effects from the first card slot with a max out Blitzkrieg. Game changer, worth the gamble. Yeah, it definitely makes... Yeah, card, cards are definitely huge. Very, very, very true. So, that, that I mean, that's basically basically how what I would consider. I mean, obviously end gamers would disagree hard. Um, but I would I would say you know that's you know that's the same with a lot of games. Getting closer hour of the click. Do I need to repent one of those days? Yeah. I could kill Nightmare Crack, take a very long time. I haven't sat it out yet. But yeah. Why are you hourly clicking Big P? What do you do with the unwanted keychains? You drop them. They're 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 donezo, they're useless, you can't sell them. Holy shit, that does 10 damage. That's a big juicer on that one. Yeah, you just drop your own one to keychains. We have the consistency now. The consistency for this is absolutely fantastic. We are we are solid when it comes to farming now. We're actually getting close to the third frog. We're still nowhere close to the third frog, but we're getting there. Can we get an eye drop? Damn. No eye drop. And we're level 21. Come on. Give me a hundo. Ah, rip. You misclicked the axe? Yeah, I did. Drop rate's going crazy. 754 mil an hour. Nice, dude. Hit end game when there's no world 4. Quite leave my characters from Rams when World 4 comes out. Realize 10 hours in. Quit till and make a new account. Bro, bro. Yeah, I, rem I remember the Rams. The Ram days, dude. The Ram, da the Ram days were... That was, that was interesting. Ram days were fun, to say the least. The good old days. Rams and alchemy. That's all you did. Just level up your characters in alchemy. Um, we need to upgrade a item. Yo, wild thing for the fall, dude. Account share between mobile and Steam. I want to switch to Steam, but I don't want to start over. Well, you don't start over. You can still switch. You don't. You don't start over. You know, we should probably upgrade. Honestly, Rose a little bit. We should. We should upgrade Armadillo as well. Armadillo and Deadbook. Those are our two biggest characters. Yeah, we just keep on pushing chat. We gotta get we gotta get some T3 keychains. We're at level 20 now, so now we can get T3s, and we need T3s really, really badly. T3s will make our lives a dream. Number of runs do we have now? We have 14 runs left. I think for the follow brain. Thought I'd be back getting extremely high level and prayers limit to AFK to 10 hours, dude. Well, dude, I've done that way too many. Way, way, way too often. 250 base skill efficiency chip from gem shop. Was it worth it? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, base efficiency isn't terrible. I feel like a lot of people feel like base efficiency is dog shit, but it's, it's, it's better than what people think it is. Because a base efficiency is what scales off of uh, skilling, uh, skilling percent or efficiency percent, right? So ba base, base skill, actually in some points, especially in cooking, uh, having a 250 base efficiency chip is better than a 20% efficiency chip. And even for worship, it's good, too. Remember when you went from cruising to burr? I would say, I would say once you're, like, kind of, like, partly deep into sailing in World 5, that's when, that's when shit starts just becoming, like, sailing hard. For me, at least, that's when I noticed. World 4 was a fucking slog. Before World 5, that what a slog that was. Wow, the plump dice unlock? So horrid, dude. Yeah, the plump dice sucks. He still needs to fix that. Still, There's still a ton of things he needs to fix, but he's only one man. It's going to make take a very long time. Yeah, Floms is not a... Floms is fucking horrible. I would say, I would say World 4 is still a little bit of a slog, but... I'm okay with, with late game being... Or, like, like, later worlds being a slog. There's nothing wrong with that. Because you're already invested, all right. You're already, you're already hard, you're already hard invested at that point. Like if you've, if you survived World Three, you're in it to win it. 
All right, there's 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 no there's no ifs ands or buts. You are fucking down for the grind. You understand the grind, and you're fucking ready for it. Uh, 1287 for 99 percent. How much do you think it'll take you now to get to end game? Three months, probably. I would say. Depends on how fast I am. Could be more. Yeah, 1287 is 99%. Oh shit, that was only first frog. Fuck, I just wasted all my reagents. Fuck. Rip, dude. I thought I was on second frog already. I wish we could have two rings and parties. You can have two rings in party dungeons. What? What do you mean? You can't have two rings. Honestly impressed with myself almost being world five first two weeks without whaling too hard. Yeah, I mean if you if you whale super hard, you can get into world five within twenty four hours. Realistically, which is kind of nuts. So yeah, if you super whale, you you can you can get into world five within at least twenty four hours. But you do need some knowledge. To be fair, you do need some knowledge when doing it. You can't just you can't just YOLO play it. Average of a triple A game, maybe a tad more worth. Yeah, define whale. Uh you could probably get into world five with about three hundred dollars. Three three. Three hundred dollars would probably get you in, no problem. We'll see it when you whale hard. Yeah, I mean, when I do my whale speed run, it's basically just gonna be fucking plinko. You guys are just gonna see basically all plinko all the time. Whenever I'm farming, plinko. Whenever I'm doing skilling, time candies. Balls? Yeah, it's just gonna be a fuck ton of plinko. I'd love to see a whale speed run. I'm uh, I'm gonna be talking to Lava soon about it. See what he says. But I'm gonna- I'm gonna finish off my Iron Man first. That'll be something that I'll do after Iron Man. And then hopefully by then, World 6 will be out, so I can just whale speedrun all the way to World 6. That's gonna be the goal. And I wanna see if I'm able to pull it off in like... A few hours. Well, maybe- maybe not a few hours, like a- like a few... Cause basically, uh, Plinko will get you all the time candy you could possibly want. Is Caustic Cheese or Scarf the best neck? It's the second best. Um, Divine, Divine Scarf is the best one now. It'd be insanely nutty series. I mean, realistically, it'd probably only be like one or two episodes. But it'd be fun to see. It'd be a fun thing to do. What is a whale speed run? I have basically unlimited currency. Unlimited currency, and I just, I just fucking go with it. I just go as hard as I can with, how, with uh, unlimited blue gems. And then after I'm done, I burn the account. The account just, the account just gets deleted. And I just don't touch it. Speed run is beating the whale quest. I mean, I would just probably skip all quests, to be honest. Skip all... 100% skip all quests. There'd be no point. No point to doing the quest when you just could just plinko time candy. A YouTuber... Yeah, dangerously funny. Um, I was... I was thinking of doing a DF... Uh... DF uh, sort of series where he, I just get a shit ton of time candy and I do it exactly the same way but then I took a look and uh, he got a lot of hate for it so I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, I don't want to do it just to you know just keep his you know safe face you know keep it keep his keep his name out of it stuff like that I don't think arcade was that important Arc uh, if you so arcade isn't that important unless you have a lot of balls Okay, you can, you can, because here's the thing, uh, you're time gated by how much candy you can buy per day, all right? So since you're time gated by how, how many candy you can buy a day, that's where you use Plinko. Plinko will give you unlimited time candy forever, as long as you have the balls. You have the balls, you can do it.
Balls. It would be entertaining because you'd actually play the game. Yeah. Realize why my character is still level one fishing. How the fuck did I miss that level? I don't know, dude. The balls, man. Have the balls and the arcade balls, too. Speaking of arcade, what's a good thing to buy in a bonus? Um, the biggest, the biggest bonus is accuracy. If you can get, if you can get the accuracy rotation, it, it it will give you the highest potency per per upgrade, like a lot. I think it's like caps out at like what thirty percent, twenty twenty thirty percent. I think part of the issue with him is he didn't really understand the game. Yeah, true, but still, regardless, saw so you swig off of Fiji. Do you feel like it helps your stomach? What? It's not. It's not Fiji. It's not. It's 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 Brita. I just I just had the bottle from the trip. I'm uh, I'm lying to you guys. It's not real. What's the second best defense? Defense is pretty good. Base stats pretty good just to help build up that uh, accuracy. It's vodka. Yeah, chat. I'm actually I actually drink on stream. Bro, imagine imagine just just this is just a full bottle of vodka, bro. That'd be so fucked up. Just by the time end of stream comes around, I'm just shit faced. You guys don't know. I'm the card guy. If you have, if you have a card badly on the foot, no. You're stupid. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I can't play online more channels. Watch some YouTube videos. I want to watch some reactions. My dudes. What's going on? Yeah, that's basically how that one would go. Ba basically, yeah, Mr. Leahy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, big time. We need some hundos here. I could, I could, if we can get a, if we can get a tier three key, if we can get two tier three keychains within these runs, this is going to be an ideal standpoint. This is what we really need. Because those keychains are 10 defense a pop. These are massive. Man's a legend. Yeah, this is, this is good shit. All good things come to an end, though. All good things come to an end. Thought DK would be better at car farm. It seems like ES is much faster. Is this right? Yes, that's 100% correct. ES is mucho faster. Because the amount of drop rate that you get from ES is insane. Because the higher portal kill, the more cards. Come on, give me a hundo. 93? Eh. Oh, that's a money keychain, though. 6% luck, 2%. Big Sag, dude. I mean, I'll even take it just for the defense. Money, card drop, that's garbage. Give me a, give me another. I think main class swap will be added to the game. Eh, probably not. DK is better, but only for World 4 5 maps that are flat. I would, I would arguably say ES just still just is the rule of thumb. Personally. Uh, let's max out this. Oh, we can't even max out the sword. Damn. The trophies retain themselves after each boss rotation. What do you mean by retain themselves? Oh, oh, you, you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, you got to keep them. It's not like Kilroy. Get two T3s with 10% defense. Yeah, if we managed to pull that off, we'd be huge. Be fucking massive. Now, do I take a chance at Milky Way candies? Or do I just say, fuck it? Ah, I mean, I, it's going to feel really bad to spend 80 Flurbos and just getting fucked, but I want Action Frenzy. Action Frenzy's pretty massive. But I mean, is it, is it even worth it? Embrace the Gamba? I'll do one. Yeah, I got 12. What a fucking waste. What a fucking waste. I regret that purchase. That was a huge waste, bro. Boost up class XP a little bit. I like ES, but my wizard is still a point where two perps are one-shotting. Oh, yeah, okay, that's an issue. Minus one handy, yeah, true. The, f the Frogger's coming in clutch, though. We are managed... I mean, even the Laszlo's coming in clutch as well. I'm so glad we did World 2 and got a Laszlo card. That's actually so big.
What's going on? What's up, Mebo? What's happening, dude? But yeah, we got we got we gotta do this party under grind. We gotta we gotta get our gear up because I was I was pushing, but I was slogging through, bro. My my push were absolutely dog water. I'm currently at Moon Men right now, and Moon Men have just been pushing my shit in. A helping hand, I'm holding myself right now. Okay, to buy four Zen Cogs from Gem Shop while only at 90k construction speed. Um, construction speeds, I mean, Zen Cogs are good, but I mean, I would probably, I would stay away early game from Zen Cogs personally. Uh, level my second ES because I even farm main ES. Yeah, it's active farming is the best for card farms, uh, except for skilling. Zen Cogs did get buffs, so they are a lot better than what they used to be, but even still, even with the buff, uh, they're like kind of more of an end game thing kind of deal. To be honest, I have an eight minute downtime between my. Wow, that's pretty good. It's actually pretty good, dude. XP Cogs. I mean, XP Cogs are the GOAT, absolutely. Three bonuses on the new update, even buffed all the time until I couldn't anymore. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. You know what we really need, chat? You know what I'd be really down for? Fucking bone mines for uh, Heartwood. Like, what the fuck happened to what? The, like, did did Heartwood die? Like, what's going on here? I can't wait for them to output a content update that's only gonna last us like two days. It's really, really upsetting. Coming soon, TM. Yeah, true. Nah, it's out, G. No, it's not, dude. No, it's fucking not. I would know. I've been keeping up to date. Stuck behind a paywall. Yeah, true. I think it's fair to not add a main class swap when players are that from start forced to make characters without knowing what the game will be like. Well, there's a normal class swap token. So if they mess up, they can pay gems to fix it. You're talking about... I'm ta There's already that. It's the elite class swap tokens. You talking about the hardwood devs, G? Yeah, I'm talking about the hardwood devs, dude. Is DK still uh, insta-spawn all mobs work while AFK? Or yeah, it has to be active. Has to be active. All respawn mechanics have to be active. Which is fine. I don't I don't mind it. That's not a big deal. But yeah. Hardwood definitely needs to get their shit together. I really want a character rename, a character lead option for Island. I understand at this point, delete could be problematic at this point. I, 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 honestly, I don't even think delete character could be problematic. Really don't. Um, but I, I could understand why he avoids it. Like, for instance, uh, have you guys ever heard of rage deleting? It's, it's, a, it's an actual thing. Uh, rage deleting is basically when you get angry with the game that you just fucking delete all your characters and basically just throw your account away. Um, that is a thing. So, um, that's, uh, could be a huge problem. Sounds like me on other games. Yeah, it's, it's a, actually a really big thing. Name five people that do that. What, what? Me first, dude? Yeah. So, that's, uh, that's also a really, really big problem. So, I, I can see why he doesn't have a delete character. It's not really hard to make a workaround for that. Could gate it with you can only delete one character once a month. Yeah, true. True. And also, also the other problem with that too is people could exploit the fuck out of that, dude. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, say they want to uh push alchemy. So they they will they will make uh they'll make like fucking nine boobos. Alright, they'll put all their gear in the storage, make nine boobos, uh fucking juice them out, uh push alchemy as hard as they possibly can. And then they would uh, delete those characters, make the other characters again. Yeah, and farm certain quests. Yeah, yeah, farm. Yeah, they could also farm out quests. There's certain quests that they'd be able to farm out. Yeah, that's why I said delete could be a problem. Yeah, you could easily make 2,000 gems to delete easy. Yeah. 
Just want to get rid. I play. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for the most people that are talking about um, deleting their accounts, they they base it off of a, a good thing, right? Say they have a they have a character that they don't want, they want to delete so they can make a new character. That that's 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 the normal people, right? But there there will be sweaty fucking people that will delete characters specifically for the sole fact of mid maxing. Yeah, 10, 10 DKs for maximum construction time. Yeah, exactly. Just want a name change. Name ch I would be down for a name change. There's nothing wrong with a name change. Name change would make sense. 10 ES, imagine them gains, dude. Yeah, they would they would delete all their characters and then make full 10 ES and put them all like green mushrooms. Like, imagine that, dude. Imagine that. They're just stockpile books. Have my name Decro, not Decro, triggers me. Oh, don't worry, dude. It bothers me too. I literally pay like 100 USD to get rid of my second VMN to get a second DK. Yeah, but but you pay that hundred dollars, and what happens if uh, you know, it gets to a point where you know you want to swap another character? See, that means another hundred dollars. It's expensive, dude. Very immense per character level. You can only deep one character at a time. We'll lose all benefits from doing that. Yeah, I would say only putting a timer would help fix that. Absolutely. Forgot to ask you, is there a way to push alchemy levels besides put characters on liquids? Uh, yeah, you want to wanna boost out your alchemy XP as much as you can? That'd be huge. Hey, I got one plat coin. Hey, that's Pog. One plat coin! Let's go, baby! Also, with elite class swap tokens, you can make DK and get a level 500 and then swap to Blood Berserker. Yeah, true. Bubble Breakthrough Talent. Yeah, Bubble Breakthrough Talent is huge. Gives you lots of alchemy XP as well. Big juice all around, man. So at least, at least, no matter what, we're consistently getting second frog. This is huge. Four dice. I mean, that's that's basically all that matters. I mean, I would I would like to get third frog, but that's just gonna happen just with solely just farming out party dungeons. And I know it's like. It's like, ah, oh, Griffey, why do you spend so much time farming party dungeons on your Iron Man? This is the shit I gotta do, man. This is the shit that you gotta do if you're if you're expecting to use a fucking Iron Man to get through this game. All right. Level thirty alchemy. I need to get level thirty five for Void Set. Yeah, that's fair. Easy gains, absolutely, dude. It's the it's the it's the only way. It's like the, my two biggest things that are gonna help me progress is fucking party dungeons. And stamps. Are warriors active not worth the mana? Why are you using the squire one? No, oh, it's worth it. It's uh, it's all depending on what level is your mana and uh, what you're using it on. Like, for instance, um, Shockwave Slash, I can run only Shockwave Slash and Warrior Buff, and then once I hit 200 mana, then I can get a little bit higher. Um, but until that point, I'm kind of just stuck with what I have. We have a lot of stuff to kill. I would say, arguably, the best active would be Warriors because their spells have the lowest MP usage. Mages are by far the worst early game because they're, uh, because their mana problems are so fucking bad. Like, holy moly. But I think if, I think if Lava fix the mana ratios in the early game and actually make mages a viable decision to use, uh, early game would definitely fix a lot of problems. Or even Archer, like, just, just make the other classes, because a lot of people, you know, some people don't want to be just warrior mains, right? You know, that, that, that ruins the kind of whole fun of it. Like, you, you know, you want to be a mage main, or you want to be an archer main, you know, you should have the ability to do that without getting uh, absolutely fucking um, punished for it. It's such a big punishment if you're playing anything else in the early game, because the difference is, is like, if you're pushing with mage compared to warrior, there's like a solid hour difference in the early game. Uh, between getting to Amrock, like if if you push Amrock with Archer compared to Warrior, it's a, it's an hour difference of active play. If maybe even longer, but I would say minimum an hour difference, without a question. But I I think if we I think if you know we can brainstorm and figure out a way to fix World One so it works for everybody, I think we we'll, I think we we'll would be at a really good standpoint. It's an 80, that's not bad. Is that another huge crit chance one? It's okay. It's not great. It'd be good for bosses. Crit, ch crit chance would be solid for bosses. 
Is there a reason to work on Divinity after unlocking Badger God? Uh, well, you want to unlock Cattle Correct. You just want to make sure they're unlocked. Armor requires mining the most of stuff crafted. Yeah, true. I mean, you're not wrong. But I mean, also, you know, oh, uh, you know, the wood is also important as well. But that's fine. There's nothing wrong with, the, with that sort of progression. I'm okay with that. There's, there's no big deal with that. So I think now we're going to start juicing up accuracy and defense a little bit for our next Flurbo purchases. Uh, we're going to probably want to increase base damage early. Get some, get some more base damage happening. Uh, we could just do some. We we could just do some free as well here. Get these up to level five. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, it's not like we're losing anything for upgrading those. HP is big. Yeah, H uh, HP is not bad. I like I like having. I personally like lower HP uh, when doing party dungeons, so I can get more potency out of blood vial. More potency out of blood vial equals bigger happy dude. Because it's le it's less less damage to hit that percentage. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, Kermit goes hard, dude. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I love Kermit. Kermit Kermit goes fucking. Kermit's our mascot right now. Kermit's our Iron Man, big boy, dude. Little Kermit behind us, dude. But I do, I do miss, I do miss the crystal custard. I'm not gonna lie, crystal custard was a huge difference. It is so much faster, and just in the level requirements. Massive difference. He's committed to the grind, bro. That, bro, bro. I just hope that we don't do all these fucking party dungeons and then we die to to a random boss event again. Just you wait. There will be a blobby light pet. If there's a blobby light pet, I'll be huge. But. Dead day, Ram's still my hero. Ram has literally made the scene, dude. Because it was either to source. It was like, it's like, do I want to, do I want to go as my mascot as a Ram or do I want to do Blobby Light? Those, those were, those realistically were my two choices, either Ram or Blobby Light. Don't teleport to random places. I'll no, I can teleport to random places. I just make sure not to move. Custer is almost three tier free currently. You'll get it, dude. You'll get it. Ram is cooler. Yeah, true. Ram is cooler. There's more you can do with it. Way more you can do with it. Absolutely, dude. And there's no there's no blobby light plushie, so it doesn't work. AG, hey, do you know if the gem shop deal is the same on iOS and PC version? Yep. All limited time shops should be the same. There should be no difference between the two. That'd be weird if Lava did it that way. Lobby like carrying bamboo mob ever became a pot I would use 100% of the time, dude. Yeah, I mean, that, that thing's pretty fucking adorable, to be fair. I think all Blobby Lights are really, really good. I'm interested to see how Cinderbane does with the AI with the Blobby Lights, man. I wonder how the Blobby Lights are going to turn up. I can see them either going really good or really, really bad. Bro, I just got now four of the rarest drops of World 4 first mobs and still didn't get one fucking bolt cutter. Hey, it's the way it goes, dude. I remember the days of not getting bolt cutters, man. Good thing not connecting to the internet for over half an hour, so things have not been nice for me back then, dude. Well, I mean, you're here now. That's all that matters, dude. Means it kind of worked itself out for the most part. What if the blobs are the bad guys the entire time? There's no way the blobby lights are bad guys. No fucking way. I promise you that the blobby lights are like the passive, passive creatures of this game, dude. That's like, that's like saying the, 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 the Cocos from, uh, from Legend of Zelda were the bad guys. All right. Just not a thing. Take that blasphemy out of here, bro. Blobby lights are like the minions from Despicable Me. Yeah. Blobby lights are like the villagers from Minecraft. Well, to be fair, to be fair, I disagree. 
because the villagers can become zombies and witches. Okay, and they do become hostile. And I mean, sh shit, man. I mean, that's when shit gets wild. I get a little too, get a little too crazy. So I, I, I mean, the day, the day that blobby lights become hostile is, is the day that I unfortunately, uh, stop kill, go pacifist mode. But if every species, then that would make, I mean, then that's, that's what I call lore. Give me that lore, dude. Saw a nice stuck behind storage, dude. Yo, when, when we, uh, the real question is, blobby light pet when? That's what I want. Is there an AI generated lava character yet? No, not yet. Not, not yet. Blob facts every video when? Just start, start giving blob facts, dude. Yeah, I don't know about that one, boss. I don't know about that one, dude. I'm not gonna put random facts in a video, dude. Kinda, kinda, it kinda feels like filler to me. Hardest Minecraft if it's peaceful? Yeah, but I mean, to be fair, we, we also just, just remastered our editing style, so I mean, just wait until the next video, chat. Just wait. Our new editing style is gonna pop off. By the way, by the way, chat, we are almost at 15,000, 15k subs on YouTube, bro. We're almost there. Almost at the big 15, dude. Getting close to the big 20. We be growing. We be growing. What would the blob, uh, blob pet even do? Uh... Blob you light pet could give shop decrease prices by 50% or increase increase capacity of the shops. Increase yeah, increase the amount you can buy from the shop by uh, uh, like a hundred percent, two hundred percent times two shop shop quantity. Doubles all pet effects, dude. Yeah, true. That's, I fucking guarantee you all, I guarantee you, dude, that is going to be a pet companion that doubles all pets effects, dude. There's going to be a companion. And it's going to be juicy. There has to be. Fucking has to be, dude. Pray for that day. Because then leveling up pets is going to be a joke. Need that Bob Joe pickle green stack? Yeah, true, dude. So right now, pets feel like sigils. Pets hard feel like sigils. And not in a good way. That little talent bonus of beginner class, dude. There's gonna be a pet that increases library. Library capacity. By like... Fucking... You can get to up to like talent level 70. So like, you can get like 495. Pets are companions. No, there's going to there's gonna be a companion that will double pets. Watch, watch there be a companion that doubles every pet effect, or every companion effect. So you get double dupe bonus, you get double sheepy bonus. So it's like, it's like using double, two bubbles. There's a lot of acorn in breeding, one in one in six chance, nice dude. Rift. Yeah, or doubles all rift bonuses. That would be, that would be broken, bro. Clip skulls, Jesus, Jesus, dude. Double eclipse skull bonus. Fuck that damage would just not even be funny. That would just be unfair. Game, congratulations, broke the game, dude. Double skill mastery. Yeah, I'd be like, would it, would it even be hard to level up anymore? Plus one artifacts, dude. True, plus one artifacts for Eldritch. That, mean, that means that's more talent levels. That, that means I'm going to have to fucking do more books. Now, the reason why I'm juicing out library so fast is because I'm trying to, I'm trying to get all my characters to three, 310. But at, at the same time, I'm also trying to... Uh, when, when new... Because I, I, I have a feeling... I have a large suspicion that he is going to increase the max talent cap again. So when that happens, if I can get it down to like two hours per 20 books, happy pappy. Pets broke early game. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with breaking early game, dude. 
double everything in the game, mythic rarity. Yeah, dude. There's gonna be a companion that's that's called fucking seven seven seven. You get a hundred free draws for your pet companions. Easy. Double vials or sailing artifact effects. I don't think double sailing artifact effects would be good. I think it would be too overpowered. Because you gotta realize the sailing artifacts are like one of the fucking strongest things in the game. I want pets to be less juicy or more focused on convenience. Like, I think, uh, personally, I, I disagree. Because if it's more convenience, people are going to be more pissed that it's based off convenience rather than based off stats. Because then it's just like, I have to get it because it's more convenient. You know what I mean? Worst thing would be getting doot early game. Yeah, but then you're set for early game. That lets candy progress 3D printer, popping one hour candies, doing all the hourly clicks. Bro, that would that would be too broken, man. That'd be way too broken. If you have a thousand one hour time candies, you'd be disgusting. Oh, we got a couple of keychains. Are those any good? Uh ten percent money, five percent base damage, garbage, luck, garbage. I feel like you should keep dupe banner as just add a banner or something. Yes, yeah, so you can choose which one you want to go into. See something like RAM being that big of a deal. Oh, bro, RAM is a huge deal. RAM is such a big deal. RAM is really, really good. Just drop the 4% crit chance? No, I have that saved on this one. Allows you to craft anywhere? Yeah, I think that'd be alright. It'll be okay. And we're gonna juice out some mana here. Get a nice 6 mana on that. Um, and then we could probably run our next spell. So now we should be able to run Power Strike and Shockwave Slash at the same time. Prefer Sheepy to Ram currently, to be honest? Oh yeah, 100%. She Sheepy's way bigger. Sheepy is arguably, I would say, arguably uh, the second best. There, uh, to do, by far. Like, not even a fucking competition. Either Sheepy or Slug. Slug's good, but not compared to Sheepy. Because if you have your alchemy set up, yeah, it's fucking gross. You gotta realize, yeah, 25 talent points is good. But, just think about this. Fucking big P? That's increasing your gods, which is increasing your doot. So it's actually a direct support to your doot. Hammer, hammer, running, running worship all the time, getting your shit ton of worship charge. Like, worship charge is no joke. If you have dude, yeah, true. If you have dude, if you don't have dude, then it doesn't really matter. Only place where you get free RAM for your PC, yeah, just download more RAM, chat. That's all you gotta do. Any XP, bubble, hammer, hammer, worship charge, kill per kill, multi-kill bubbles? Yeah, just all of them. It's just... It's so, so big, dude. It's so incredibly big. All big bubbles is just... Chef's kiss. Nothing better. I want... Yeah, and not to mention sheer convenience of not having to swap over your alchemy bubbles, your big bubbles all the time. You basically just knock out alchemy from your from your checklist. What about Sandy Pot? It's the best, dude. Sandy Pot is mid at best. It's good for early game. It's not bad for early game. What it, before, like, when Doot was available to use before you even reach World 5, that was fucking broken. Alright? That was absolutely disgusting. You 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 were just flying through the worlds. Feel the pets to boost your account, or in the end game, it's not much of a big deal. Well, I mean, if you're in if you're in end game, you're going for the pets anyways. You want you want all the pets, just because it's just another thing to add on to it, another another thing to check off your checklist. Slime clearly S tier once you give it more, you more gamba, dude. Yeah, true. She was my first companion. Never felt the difference. Had it before. I had too many big bubbles in the first place. 
Oh yeah, true. But once you start getting the big bubbles, it just it's just added. Added on to the potency. Like right now, I got Sheepy. Sheepy's fucking useless for me. Sheepy Sheepy does absolutely nothing for me and it won't do for me until I get a, like a two more bubbles. Two more big bubbles. That's when that's when I'll start becoming good. Goes do sheepy rift ram custard bean frog multi bloke pot slime. Yeah. I, I, I would I would agree with that. That seems about right. Seems like it seems like a reasonable thing. You won't feel it, but if you if you didn't have it, you would notice it once you get around to twenty bubbles each cauldron. Yeah, not in the Iron Man. <laughs> Good luck getting twenty bubbles in each cauldron on the Iron Man with like sixteen fucking liquid per hour, dude. Holy monka, dude. This means Petarina isn't much a big deal because you don't need to unlock the bubble slots. Yeah, true. I just got King Dude. Nice arc, huge dude. Grats, my guy. That's a huge one to get. I mean, I'm just gonna take a couple years. It's cool. Unless we, unless we get some super huge juicing upgrades. If we manage to pull off some juicers of upgrades, we're looking really, really good. Second frog is going down quite easily, though. Dubbo Dillo? Yeah, we're going for the Dubbo Dillo, big dog. Uh, so probably what's going to happen, chat, is we'll probably be on EFOD by Wednesday, by the way. We will be attempting EFOD on Wednesday, because we have the accuracy for it now. So EFOD's going to happen on Wednesday. Unless, yeah, unless, dude. And then we kind of can't progress World 3 until we have uh, some Amarok gear. So we're kind of locked until we have Ami. So I'll probably be doing a lot of work on stamps in the meantime. Watch out for snakes. Yeah, thanks, Jet. I'll make sure to watch out. Make sure to watch out for fucking snakes. Appreciate, appreciate you guys, Karen. Aim for World 3 by the end of October. I think we get pretty close, to be honest. If we get if we get good enough rolls and we you know we keep on our party dungeons, you know we stay we stay juiced. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, watch out for the random bosses. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Preach. Yeah, re real real nice, chat. Real fucking nice. Two more. Hopes you get custard before you use your Amrock keys. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a big one. How much bubbles should you have when on World 4? Uh... Like, I mean... I would say, like... It all depends on your RNG, but I mean, if you get, like... Maybe, like, 10 bubbles each cauldron, I think, I think you're looking at a decent... Because you start skyrocketing, right? Wait. What? When, when did fucking Smile make that emote? Bro, the fucking troll of that emote, dude. Jesus Christ. That is so brutal. He did it when you died? Oh my fucking god, you haven't been able to see it, dude? Bro. That's fucking hilarious. That's so funny, dude. Smiles the goat. Smiles the fucking goat, bro. Hey, when Twitch puts the people with the animated icons on the sidebar? Wait, what do you mean? What? We spammed it when Lava was here? Did you? I didn't notice. Lava was too busy trolling my ass, bro. Did you restart when you died? Yeah, it's a fresh account. Brand new fresh account, dude. But I got it. I uh, I was gonna just do the other rule set, but I I thought about it. And I'm like, you know what? It's not it's not really the heart of hardcore if I just go onto my next character and still get to keep all those bonuses. I should I should be punished for dying, and that's all what hardcore is about. So my bubbles are good. I thought I slept on. I have ten of each. Yeah, they're not bad. I mean, you don't want to sleep on them, right? You want to definitely take the time and figure them out. But I think as long as you have like Shakrsi and FMJ, like you're basically good until for a while. 
in the for you streamers bar some streamers have anime icons for their account icon it just keeps moving being distracting dude <laughs> ooh piece of candy ooh piece of candy we're 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 going a little bit faster than we were before Should be punished for dying. This is the sound of a masochist or the sound of a, doing a hardcore series. Oh, so, oh, so huge. Sounds about right. Flirts, flirts out here with the spe selling, spelling police, bro. I knew what he said. I knew what he said. That's That's all that matters. But I don't know about you guys, but my my favorite my favorite gameplay is is Party Dungeons. I actually I actually like Party Dungeons to be honest. I, I don't know I don't know why everyone I don't I don't know why everyone doesn't like Party Dungeons. I think Party Dungeons are fun. They're a nice active thing to do. Realize the shaman skill bubbles upgrade a week ago. Saw so one of your videos. Hell yeah, dude. I don't know. I I think they're I think they're they're paying the ass early, but yeah. But I mean, you can already see that I like, you know, I'm ranked twenty, but I'm I'm already I'm doing second frog, right? World one party dungeons, yes. Yeah, everything else is. Yeah, I agree. World one party dungeons are best. Everything else is kind of mid. To be fair, though, I don't mind world two party dungeons. I just would prefer if they didn't take forty five minutes per run. 35 per minute per run is a little bit annoying. All right, this is where we're going to get the big hundo here. We just need some T3 keychains, please. Give me my T3 keychains. I don't care what type of keychain it is. It can be a dog shit keychain, but I need that 10 defense. A 10 defense is going to make all the difference for me. God damn it. They recently chopped the palm trees at World 2 PD. Yep, and it's also plus one slab. It's also plus one slab. All right, we're getting crazy with it. We're going to do it again. Come on. 36. Damn it. Still not enough. Ah. Struggling over here. Uh, are we at... Do we still have more than 1%? No, we're less than 1% now. Okay, so this is where we start putting points into Gilded Sword. Because we're getting 0.7% total damage per, so now we want to do Gilded Sword. This will start scaling better. And then we want to put one more point into this for 30%, and then we're going to max out Strength and Numbers. Start maxing that bad boy out. And then we want to do more blocky skin, because we want as much defense as possible. So we give us 11 base defense. Perfect. That's what we want to see. Two T3s with 10% defense. The GOAT, dude, I think, I think that'd be super strong. Scale the total damage percent a little bit more. Get that going a little bit more drop rarity just for the just for the juice. And we'll do maybe one there. But we're we're very, very, very consistent now with our with our second frogs. Like I don't think it, I think it's gonna be impossible for us not to be able to do second frog now. Especially now that we're strong enough to be able to roll out two spells without an issue. That's an invincible frog. That's cool. I had the game open on Steam. I was checking them about 20 minutes ago. Oh, if you can't log into mobile, if you have a problem that you can't log into mobile, you have to uninstall the game and reinstall the game. And then that's how you're able to log into a different account. If you're looking to get that on mobile. No, that's not the thing, G. Oh, oh, desync. Oh, okay, desync. All right, all right, all right. Why you didn't run the gray build? I'm getting more scaling from Armadillo than I am from Gray Grumblow at the moment. You buy a T3 yet with the fragments you got? I think I'm still shy. Maybe? I don't know. I haven't checked yet. I'll, che I'll check after this to see how close we are to the next fragments. But fragments are so brutally bad to get, though. Like, they're actually terrible. The, the drop rate on keychains are fucking... 
Just trash. This guy's music rules, by the way. Here, let me let me let me change. Actually, we've been we've been listening to the same music quite a bit lately. Uh, let me change it. Ah, uh, no, not that one. There we go. Was that a bit of Undertale? Yeah, it was a little bit of Undertale. This is mostly our video game music that we listen to. Uh, we've just been listening to it a lot lately. I want to switch it up a little bit, do a little bit of the grinding playlist. Nothing wrong with a little bit of grinding playlist, especially when we're doing party dungeons. Makes the makes the clicks per minute go up, dude. That's what we all really want. Says so a du oh double army. All right, this is a good run. Blessed with the double army, love it. Tubbo Dillo? Damn, I didn't know you listened to Rave. Yeah, I, I love- I'm gonna be honest with you, I love all music, bro. Except for country. Country sucks. Yo, just with the- just coming in with the primer, yo, thank you, brother. Thank you, my man. I sync the game ticks and the music BPM? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I- I used to be, uh, a DJ back in the day, so... I love- I love all sorts of kinds of music. You can add Killer from the north side on Q, dude. I've... Nah, nah, dude. Funk is dank, dude. I love funk. I mean, obviously you guys can tell that I love funk. Fucking, that's what plays in my YouTube videos. My YouTube videos are fucking funk, dude. I don't know, I just, I just, I just think, it, I just, you know, funk just matches so much with everything, dude. Bam, bam. What is funk? I think I think I think he's saying f funk in a quirky way. Wait, is that wait is that two different things? Wait, no, I'm I'm saying funk. Is he is that a different thing? Is funk different? Funk is a musical genre. Okay, well apparently I don't know what the fuck that is. Apparently, I'm too dumb. Wait, funk? What the funk is funk, dude? That's what I'm thinking, dude. I'm saying I'm saying funk, like F U N K. But apparently, it's something different. Subgenre to hip hop and trap music. Oh, got a YouTube funk now. Two different things. Okay, well now we figure it out. Now it all makes sense now. Memphis funk. I don't know, bro. I'm I don't know what the shit that is, dude. You know what I'm also a huge fan of, though? Electro Swing. Electro Swing goes fucking hard, dude. The subgenre of hip-hop and trap musically inspired from... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Channel points, are you just chilling? I'm just grinding right now. Parvlo Stellar, dude? Yeah, absolutely. All that shit goes hard, dude. Actually, back when I was playing Stream Raiders, the majority of my stream playlist was just Electro Swing. It's basically all I listened to. To be fair, it's because I used Pretzel Rocks and I had a whole genre of just... fucking... Electro Swing playlist. So I just played the Electro Swing playlist the whole time. It's good shit. Feel a little funky like a monkey tonight? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Well, I mean, just, you know, just grinding party dungeons. Like, realistically, I mean, we might as well do this now because the, the episodes don't continue from the Iron Man series that I'm doing. Like, we have all the footage for the next couple of episodes. But since we died, we have to catch up to where we were in order to be able to uh, continue the series. Because it would be kind of pointless to... Uh, be like, oh, here, here's the, here's the second series of us doing the exact same thing. Here's the exact same video that happened literally two episodes again. So we might as well just skip that bullshit. Just do a quick uh, zoom in with the, some or quick speed up with the footage. Be like, I have to catch back up. Now we start the series again. 
Uh, what point should I focus on lab and cooking levels? Uh, cooking you can focus on relatively right away. A lab, just wait till you get to world five. Should do a beach episode, dude. Yeah, true. I should get I should get bikinis going. By the way, playing dual purple RNG is hard to get horn. Why? Why is it hard? Other than Amarok armor, how far are you from? Uh, I would say we would be back up to where we were by Wednesday. Do you care about DMCA? I do. I do care about DMCA. That's why I only say. That's why I only allow Spotify. I don't allow YouTube. Because I, I have a separate channel for Spotify specifically, so that's why when you hear VODs, uh, you don't hear any music. And it's also a different feeling, like, when, when you when you come into... When you watch the YouTube, but then you come into the stream, it's kind of like a whole different atmosphere kind of deal. Because uh, there's actually, like, music playing and shit. It's not just me, like, listening to silence the whole entire time. Because that would be kind of weird. That'd be kind of weird. But like, but like the YouTube people are able to put on their own music and use it as like kind of like background noise kind of deal. They can still listen to their game and shit, do what they want to do. Uh, that's kind of like why I prefer no music uh, going on in the in the YouTube buds. It just makes it better. Though your streams were silent, I'm not gonna lie. No, yeah, dude, they're not. No, that's always bopping. Same bit. First time hearing music, dude. Yeah, exactly. So, the fact that it's a different experience from just the Twitch streams, uh, from the YouTube VODs to the Twitch streams makes it, you know, makes it more of a different experience rather than seeing the same thing, you know? But also it gives them, it, it gives you choice, which is also very nice. I think, I think that's very important. Even if the VODs don't do very good in views, the fact that they're archived is what matters. DMC is why song requests are all Spotify, makes sense? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, only request songs that are on Spotify, because I can, I can mute it out. But I can't mute out YouTube ones, because if we ever do YouTube reacts or anything, uh, I, I need to have that volume channel available to me. Also, if you're new to the stream, Griffey does a catmate stream once a month? No, I fucking don't. Dude, that never happened. I don't know. We've never done one. There's never, ever been one where I've ever done catmate stream. There's no evidence... That says otherwise, y'all lying, dude. Brew your fucking teeth. I'm going to die. New here, heard that a lot now, dude. It never happened, bro. They decided to AI generate me in a, in a cat maid, and they never let it go because it was so well done. And what? That's, that's AI generated, bro. That's AI generated. It's a deep fake, bro. Shit you not, it's a deep fake. It's all deep faked. Sure about that? Absolutely. Absolutely. 100% deep faked. Wait, when when was that a command? Wait, when did that get put in as a command? What? Hello? Hello? Come on, Hundo? Bad rolls. Terrible rolls, dude. It's been like two to three months, dude. Nah, I don't believe you. This is lies and scandal. 26, 26. These are 50 and 30. I could do one upgraded talent points. Do I want to put... The real question is, do I want... Chat, what do you think? Do we want to push more defense and accuracy, or do we just want to keep on pushing talent points and weapon power? I feel like pushing talent points and weapon power might be the play. AFK gains? No fucking AFK gains. I play I play active. I play active all night. I don't use AFK gains. Try try for the skilling speed talent. We've already done it twice. I mean we do get 0.5 per. Alright. I think we just keep on hard focusing weapon power. The command was made the day of the stream or something week. He just kept denying it. It's because it's a deep fake. I, I am allowed to deny deep fakes, bro. AI generated bullshit. All right. 
strong Garbino, dude. No shot. It's not real. I have proof that it's not real. Source? Trust me, bro. AI can't make that realistic? Uh, not true. Okay? Not true at all. Have you seen- have you seen the AI Twitter? Have you seen the AI OF, bro? Well, I haven't, to be fair, but I, have you seen the Twitter post, bro? Alright? That shit- that shit is 100% deepfake, yet they can still pull it off, alright? It's totally possible. They're making tons of money from it. And it's some dude in a fucking turtleneck and a gold chain. And he's just like, yeah, I made this fake girl. Give me all your money. I will farm all of you. Not possible yet, dude. I'll give it like a month and it'll be possible. The amount that AI has advanced in like literally three months is mind-boggling. Not impossible. If you say anything is impossible in the course of 2023, you're living in the past. Accept fate. Enter monkey. You've never been in a mat cave? Totally aren't lava, dude. Yeah, yeah. See, lava's never been in a, in a maid costume. I mean, bro. There was for three years that you say three months, dude. It'll be, it'll be good in three months. Just, just watch. Just watch. Oh, we got two minute meal. Oh, huge. I didn't even realize. Wait, how, wait. How do we proc two minute meal? Oh, it's because we got it in two minutes. Okay. No, massive. Spam, spawn second frog in two minutes. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Spawn first frog in two minutes. Damn, we, we going fast now, dude. We're starting to, we're starting to really ramp up here. Big time. I for Griffey's Dior, dude. Bro, just you wait. Just you fucking wait. I'll become the next Batman. But I'll be like, I'll be like a knockoff Batman from Wish because I'll have Crohn's. Is your drop rate on your main like 21 times? You know, if Lava's been in a maid costume, he could be wearing one 24-7, we all know, because he doesn't show anything. Yeah, true, dude. True. Oh, yeah, and I have parents. And fine. You didn't get that on your first high hardcore Iron Man, though? I didn't do that many party dungeon comparative. Looking more like the pink one, dude? Pro. 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 What an asshole, dude. Who's this fucking guy? All right. Pickle doesn't even get to be a supervillain. He just gets to be one of the fucking henchmen. Griffey's the Riddler? Yeah, I'd rather be the- bro, I'd rather be the Riddler, bro. I'd be the Riddler. Overrated, dude. Bro, Riddler goes ham, bro. Alright, I'll be the Riddler. It's the start of my super- supervillain arc, dude. Just you wait. Just you wait. That means you would wear green spandex? Already am, bro. Wearing green spandex right now. Specifically strong acid reflux, dude. <laughs> you ever gonna go an account overview on your main? I might do a video where I go over an account review on my main, yeah? Maybe before World 6. Show the gains on the main account. Bro, just hit the gym and become Bane. I am Bane. You will never defeat me, Batman. You don't respect me. Will that include an IE review of your main? Yeah, probably. Yeah, most likely. Just go over my main account. Sure. Five minutes second prog, dude. Gotta love it, bro. Easy swindle. Easy bong beasel, dude. 66 crit damage? Not really what I'm feeling right now, to be honest. Can we get a better weapon? 2 damage, I'll take that. Minus 11, feels bad. Plus 26, plus 2. Huge, actually. 25 boss damage. Bing bong. Bing bong. Bing bong. 
We're almost at rank 25 too. Isn't rank 25 the next trait? I feel like the next trait's pretty good, isn't it? That just means how how am I I'm cut man. How am I going to uh anything to focus in cooking or just get everything to level 40? Well, I mean, if you haven't gotten Diamond Chef, that's your first goal. Get everybody, get everything to plate level 11. I just found it. Manly, Manly Meow was a command. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I just, just thank you. I, I realized that. Thank you, dude. Way to state the fucking obvious. Jeez, nothing gets past you. Bro, bro, bro. I I feel like there's too many emotes that literally just bashes me. Like, why why do we have so many emotes that's literally there just to bash me the whole entire time, dude? Like, there's like 10 emotes that's just straight bashing, dude. Name three, minus one card, minus one life, minus one hat. Minus one slab, minus one shrine. Do I need to continue? Minus one stamp. Refine, refine red, refine green. Yeah, true. Yo, Pixelate Pack, thank you for the follow, dude. Pokemon in. What is up with minus one slab? It's because I don't have the pink bandana. Minus 2k gems, that's not a thing. I thought those were for cheering you on. In what world would that be considered cheering me on, Duck? Might be really cool to get a blood vial right about now. Minus one crystal custard, dude. Yeah, right. Uh, we gotta chill here for a second. It's okay. Whatever, whatever keeps the shit interesting for you guys, I guess that's all that matters. Realistically. But the new shop rotation came in clutch today, I'm not gonna lie. Imagine you dying in PD. Yeah, dude, that'd be horrible. I'd be, I, I would be the worst. That, that just means I'm dog shit at this game. I even type that, Amy. So many use. Well, by typing all the use, five in. Random event. Okay, the random event. Okay, even Lava said he, himself that was harsh. He said it was funny as shit, but he also said it was harsh, okay? So even even the developer was like, damn, that's rough. Okay, so, you know what? I don't want to fucking hear it. I want to hear your bullshit. Of course you say it yourself. What do you mean? Okay, bro. I'm oh, fucking lava dog. Shut up, Tal. Oh, hey, we got an eye. What? Third frog summon? Come on, let me summon third frog here. Come on. Come on. Don't I have a skull? No skull, bro. Bro, I'm skullless. Oh my god. Can we not? Can we attack the frog without taking damage, please? Is that possible? Oh, look at that, chat. Ooh, third frog summon. Ooh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, we could totally do this in 40 seconds. For sure. For sure we could do this in 40 seconds. No questions asked, dude. Holy shit, dude. We are not getting third frog anytime soon. Holy moly, dude. That's bad. That's super fucking bad, dude. Oh, I should have I should have farmed out Sugar Rush. That's what I'm missing out on. I'm missing out on Sugar Rush. What if Griff dies in parties, then I die in real life. So let's make sure I don't die in party dungeons, alright? Iron Man leaderboard incoming, dude. Imagine. 87, 97. Wow, we got a couple of keychains here. Uh, oh! That's actually kind of big. Yo! Yo! 
Fishing XP keychains. Oh, baby. You have no idea how important that is. You have no idea. That's super important. Yo, 3% crit chance, 1.5% total damage. That's also a fucking juicer. That's a good keychain. That's a big W. You can, can you equip two at once? Yep. You can equip both at once. They're not unique equips. I think that's better than my best fishing keychain, dude. Expeditions, here we come. Yeah, absolutely, dude. You know, new Eilon leaderboards will be made? I don't know, probably, probably. Bro, we are so far away. Bro, tier three, bro, we have farmed so much and we are still not even close. Joel's going too hard to make my... All right. You know what? You know what? We're not... No, fuck it, dude. We're not, we're not even, we're not even going for that. We're just going straight weapon power. I'm not rolling for that. Not even bother rolling for that whatsoever, dude. Man, I see your death in the first character with a pain death. Yeah, it's all right. What do you want a T from a T3? 10 defense. 10 defense from a keychain. That's what I want. That's what I want. Yo, that emote with that link post is beautiful. Holy shit, that's good. Best I can do is three, dude. That's that's amazing. That's what we love to see. I mean, we could do more defense, more accuracy. That's T1, dude. I don't want a T1, man. Okay, so instantly our damage is already skyrocketing here. We're already getting way more than what we need. Definitely more defense, but you want defense? Yeah, I want defense, but I mean, 10% is still pretty good. That's like, what, an extra... That's, a ten, that's an extra 10 defense right off the get-go. So, I mean, we, we have a lot of defense. And, I mean, we have enough accuracy to fight E-Font, right? Uh, I think you need, like, some, somewhere around 600, D, uh, 600 accuracy in order to 100% E-Font. Defense keychains? No, you get... No, for any T3 keychain, it's 10 base defense. Silly. Yeah, they all have... And one weapon power. And one weapon power. You gotta remember, T3 keychain plus one weapon power. Massive. What are you... What are you, fucking stupid? The point is really trying Nightmare Amarok. Fucking... Way down the line. Way down the line. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do something crazy here, chat. I'm gonna accumulate a bunch of materials and we're gonna try to go for the next achievement here. Feeling good about it. Shame weapon power is literally useless now. It's still super strong early game, it just falls off hard late game. You get the rest of your of your cards on Steam? No, I didn't. So guys, by the way. If you got if you if you guys uh you guys want to trade me some of your cards so I can get to max rank on uh on on the on the trading cards that's my friend code for Steam dude. Trade me your cards, bro. Let's uh let's let's show let's show Lava that the community coming together can easily get all the cards. Ah, uh, for Steam. Steam trading cards. Taking advantage of audience, my head, dude. I'm asking, ask for help, bro. These cards are on a Steam badges section. Yes, yes, they are. Those are the cards. Even though we Eidolon got cards, it's actually a brand new update. There's cards for Eidolon. It's a brand new update. I'm holding a foil, yeah, dude, a foil Blood Berserker card, my man. Absolute giga chad, dude. Giga goaded, if you will. I can't, I, Chad. I can't be the Eidolon guy with with a weak badge for Eidolon. Okay, just not a thing. Just, just not a thing, dude. We got, we, we have to, bro. It's, 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 it's a thing that needs to happen. All right. Go 
Don't worry, if we band together, we can get it no problem. I got max badge. How the fuck did you get max badge already, Tomeo? I got a beginner and a wisdom foil? Yo! Hey. Like what you like like what you're saying. You get the cards through playtime or money spent? It's both. How much money do I have to spend for one card? Not through a market, but as a drop? I think it's like nine bucks. Steam profile one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like nine dollars or something, yeah. Spent like five dollars on a cards, dude. <laughs> This man wailed, dude. The audacity, bro. Are we gonna be able to get it in time? Surely, right? Surely we can get this in time. No, I still don't think we do enough damage, unfortunately. Gee, what pet did you roll? I ended up rolling a sheepy. Vape game, maybe when Island becomes, they will be worth something. Dude, imagine. That'd be sick. I'd be down for that. Is there a way to leave dungeon early? No, no, unless you want full rewards. No, you can't leave it early. No achievement. Nope, I didn't get it. Wasn't quick enough, didn't do enough damage. Is there a booster pack for sale right now? Damn, there is, dude. Shit. Sheepy will be more useful than you think. If I make it past World 3, I'm sure I'll be getting there, but I won't be getting any real upgrades until, like, we start getting to, like, World 4 and shit. Always hard drop in price after a week or so. Yeah, true. V-Man, a journeyman foil selling for 30 bucks? Yeah, dude, it's fucking crazy. Don't have to worry about swapping bubbles around? Yeah, that's true. And I mean, if I'm if I'm going to, like, farm out certain materials, multi-order drop and all that shit, multi-resource drop will be huge. You know what I need to... You know what I actually need to power farm? Multi-fish. Multi-fish drops will be huge. Or if you buy in the card pack? Nah. Nah, you go for it. It's all you, boss. Are we finishing Downfall the Hammer Thing quest? I don't know what that is, to be honest. So you're not a newer player, dude? I am I am so new, bro. How about farm out some bitches, dude? Bro. How dare you? You know sheepy work like that until now? Wow, dude. That's not bad. Not bad. Damn, still no eye? I mean, we got three minutes. We can do a full clear here. Oh, it's the Royal Worm quest. What's the quest, chat? What does the quest require? Is it the platform one? I think it's got to be the platform run, right? That's the one that makes sense. So I'm taking a guess. You have to, if it is the platform, defeat still Seekers before they're assigned with Big Brayer Prey on. Oh, you have to equip Big Brain Prayer, go to Stilt Seekers, and you have to slay everyone, so don't have a respawn mechanic up. Lock? Don't have a respawn up unless it's DK. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, true. Even with DK, don't run it anyways. Looking good, man. Two minutes. Two minutes on the clock here. We might be able to get an eyeball. But this is just good. This is just good. The fact that we do a full clear just for our first Flurbos, dude, that's actually pretty massive. That's going to be dangerous. Holy shit, that was way more dangerous than it needed to be. 
Let's just heal up. It's not worth it. This might not increase our dice roll chance, but this just gives us a bunch more Flurbos and everything. Take all I can get at this point. But that just means we're getting... Holy fuck, can you stop? That just means we're getting that much closer to third frog, though, which is huge. Can you keep ignoring... Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm fucking in a party dodge, bro. I'm gamming right now, all right? Kai for your stupid fucking party dodge alerts. Oh, there's new cinder bait? Yeah, we already saw it. I'm always ignored. Shut up. Don't die. Thanks, dude. Thanks, bro. Try not to. There we go, chat. Good run. Good run. Not bad at all. Hit the tree? I don't need to hit the tree. It's pointless to hit the tree. I can't hit the tree. I'm pretty sure I can't hit the tree. I'm pretty sure I need like a gold or higher. Yeah, plat hatch needed. Need a platinum hatchet. Get plat? Yeah, okay. Let me just get the jellyfish, dude. Ninety-five? Wait! Mob respawn is so big early game. Holy shit, this is good. I will take this any day of the week. Fucking 4% mo- That's fucking great. That's fucking awesome. It's so good. Boom. Big. Plus 10 defense. Yeah, plus 1 weapon power, 10 defense, 1 ult stat, 4 mob respawn. Yeah. Yeah. Keep sitting on this damn kitchen chair. Stop sitting on the damn kitchen chair, bro. Hold up, I gotta check my Steam. I got gifted some stuff here. You have some pending offers. Yo, thank you, brother. Thank you, dude. I appreciate I appreciate the patronage to the to the uh the the cause, my dude. So I need level 80 in divinity, it would be ideal. Anytime. Chat, you know what that also means? You know what that also means, chat? Crap batch. Bang! Bong! Bang! Bong! Bang! Boo! Berserker, baby! There it is. Plus one. Beautiful. Beautiful. We still need one more wizard. Anybody got a wizard in chat? Anybody, anybody, anybody got a wizard in chat? Need a wizard. What is this? This is the new Steam cards. I do? Come on, Rupert. How do I craft badges? You have to collect a one, of, one of each card. How do I gift cards? Just gotta, just gotta trade me, dog. I actually don't know how to- I don't know how to do that, to be honest. I got- I got a new frame request, chat. I got a new frame request. Ah, look at that, dude. I got a frame request. Just going on World 5, any tips what to focus on? It's time to do your divinity grind, bro. Time to do the old divinity grind, brother. So, it's the good stuff. I got- I mean, I'll take- I'll take whatever cards you have. I'll- uh, whatever cards you guys have, I'll take. There's my friend code. Any cards you guys are willing to give me, I'll take them. All right, getting them badges up. Okay, we have 9.2 weapon power now. 9.2 weapon power, not too bad. We're actually cruising with the damage now. I mean, chat, I'm going to be honest with you. We're just going to keep going, dude, because when we come out of this, we're going to have massive damage here. Big gargantuan damage, all right? Big dog damage. We need all five foils, dude. Yeah, we do need. 
I'll give you- yeah, hell yeah, dude. After that, just play the game, dude. Yeah, Andrew, keep juicing. Absolutely, just keep on fucking juicing, brother. Keep on juicing. Some- did I get- oh, I got two more friend requests, let me accept those. Okay. Good friends accepts? Easy. Yeah, there- so yeah, there's- there's- there's foils. You can get foils of the Eidolon cards. Same request. I accepted it, Wolf. You know what's funny? I just- I literally just increased my friend- my, uh, my friends list by, like, 40 people today. <laughs> 40 fucking friend requests, bro. Setting a- setting a beginner? Hell yeah, dude, I appreciate it. I need whatever I can get, dog. Now chat's gonna be able to find out what I'm doing all the time. I'm gonna see all my- see all my offline hentai games. The badge for the foil is called the- Enigmatic hot dog maestro of legends, dude. I need the foil cards, bro. Friendless got a whole lot cooler today, dude. Hell yeah. Has 30 minutes of math. Bro, Hadix, shut the fuck up, dude. Shut up. All right. I played it on console. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear your fucking blasphemy. More like Griffey Biz been playing Legends of Eilon for 300 days straight. I mean, you're not wrong. Like, I don't think I, like, bro, my, I'm so glad I got a new graphics card, because, uh, my graphics card has been going through hell. Like, like, if I ever sell this graphics card, it's gonna be like, graphics card for sale, this game, this thing went through hell and back, and it played literally a one game consistently for, like, two years. Trying to figure out how to send wisdom card? Oh, yeah, 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 give me a sec. I got you. Boom. Accepted. There we go. Boom. There it is. You guys are heroes. You guys are- you guys are- you guys are the heroes that I don't deserve. You guys are the heroes I need. Alright? Yo, thank you, dude. I'll check it after this party dungeon. Cause if we can get- if we can get all badged up, dude, we'll be huge. So we only get a Steam background when complete them? Yeah, I think so. If you have the Steam points and you go in Griffey's Stream Profile, go to Profile Rewards and give him a Clown Award, dude. Bro. Why give me a Clown Reward, bro? Hello? Does it give something in the game? No. No, it literally gives nothing in the game. It- I just- I just want it just because it's Eidolon. 5 billion damage to 15. Yeah, dude. Crystal crystal stake is huge. Let's just know he's a clown. I bet I bet the I bet the comments for this VOD is gonna be like Griffy's such a fucking bitch. <laughs> because all he's doing is shilling for cards, bro. Chat, give me your cards. In the comment section is just gonna be like Griffy bitch. <laughs> uh we should probably leave. Nah, no one comments on the VODs, really? They will this VOD. They will this VOD. Well, now you know he said it, dude. It's, it's gonna happen, bro. I'm calling it now. It's probably because I said it out loud. Evil streamer forces viewers to give away their hard-earned cards. Yeah, true. Evil streamer is right, dude. Welcome to World 4, dude. Oh, hey, hell yeah, dude. Nice job, Dex. I don't see the craft button. Uh, it, well, you have to collect all the cards, and it should be at the top when you're looking at your cards from your library. But you don't- you don't want to use the craft button. You want to- you want to- you want to give me your cards. Hey, G, what's Super Animal Royale? Oh, bro, it's such a good fucking Battle Royale game, dude. It's actually a game I used to... It was, like, one of the, my first games I used to stream back in the day. To my... To my fucking five viewers. So it's a Battle Royale game, and what I would do is, if I didn't win five games in a round, I would gift a sub. And I would get, like, 20 wins per stream. The game's actually really fun, dude. I actually really like Super Animal Royale. 
you guys haven't played it, strongly suggest to try it out, dude. You have a second if you need it again? Alright, I mean, it probably do, to be honest, but I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Oh, as is rounds like Kukuro? Shut up. How do I get Steam cards you get from playing the game or spending gems on the game? As soon as I saw the lab, I remember every time Griffey had a fit over lab, dude. Bro. Was Wiz foil was sent? Won't let me send the beginner for some reason? Bro, you gave me a wizard foil? Ah! What a fucking legend. It might be locked. 25 extra damage, huge. What was that noise? That was the noise of happiness. Of course you never know what that noise sounds because you never had happiness in your life. I, I spent like a thousand USD where's my cards at? It's not retroactive. Damn. Sorry, bro. He came at me first. He... T3 keychains give three defense. No, they do not. They give ten defense and one weapon power. Yes, bitch, Griffy, dude. It's a Griffy bitch to you, motherfucker. All right. Going straight to the pressure points, dude. Hey, man, I'm not strong enough to be able to just use brute force. You know, I have to use I have to use mantis style. Okay, I have to aim for the pressure points, or else it's just end game for me. Because if they get a hold of me, I'm fucked. One punch to the stomach, I'm down. I'm not coming back up. My stomach will explode. That's why I don't get into fights. That's why I don't go outside. One punch to the stomach, I'm done. It's Jover, bro. Well, I like my stomach will actually explode if I get a punch to the stomach. It's that weak. So follow cards are only available in packs. I think they're a rare chance. And I'm not, I'm not quite sure how they work. So, so whenever I go to BlitzCon, or BlitzCon, whenever I go to BlizzCon, I'll wear a bulletproof vest. So if I get, so if I get punched in the stomach for some random fucking reason, I won't, I won't, I won't explode. Did you just say Mantis style? Yeah, I said Mantis style. Absolutely. Mantis style is proficient in pressure points. Duh. You guys ever watch Kung Fu Panda? What the fuck? There goes my plans for TwitchCon, dude. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Foiled so many plans already, dude. Foiled the plans like a foiled card, bro. Fuck, I missed. I'm bad at this game. Would you die if someone tases you? No, I'll be fine. Tasing isn't bad. No, it's just it's just punch to the stomach, dude. Like the two-finger tase jab? Yeah, exactly, dude. Nice miss. Shut up! Uh, I almost took a thorny rose. Holy, that would have been bad. Holy moly, take a thorn rose. That would have been game over for me. I have no food. Oh! Okay, we're getting... We're, okay, this is, this is actually way too risky. I don't know why I did this. This is really bad. I need, I need, I need, I need food. Holy shit. Okay, give me that. Give me that, numbs. Those silver guys do 10 damage. Huh! Stop! Holy moly, that was dangerous. I'm like, actually, like, two tap right now. Risky game? Hey man, you gotta risk it for the biscuit, dude. Ain't an Iron Man if you're not risking shit, alright? Ow! Come on, give me, give me something like, okay, helping heart's not gonna really help me in this scenario. Bro, we're in such bad danger zone right now. Holy shit. I don't like how dangerous I don't like how dangerous we're playing right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop. Leave me alone. I'm like literally one tap. Oh. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're okay right now. I think we're doing good. Piss off, Rog. Okay, I think we're okay. We're safe. Golden. You know what? We're fine. Just, just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna fucking risk it anymore. Nine twenty-nine, sixty-nine. Nice, dude. 
Nice. Ooh, and a level up. Oh, by the way, if you guys didn't know, Party Dodge is actually really game, really good for early game level ups, by the way. Just wanna, just wanna make that, just wanna put that out there. Just wanna put that out there. Plus one talent points. Do some more base damage. Upgrade the RNG items. I already did the ones that matter. Already upgrade the ones that actually truly matter. <laughs> Alright, we'll do it again. We never stop, chat. We gotta just keep on powing this out. I know. You're probably like, oh my god, Griffy. You've been doing party dungeons for so many hours. Can you stop? Too bad. Too bad we do more. You're gonna sit here and you're gonna fucking enjoy it. Why not wait wait for happy hour? Hmm, I wonder why ha I wonder why happy hour wouldn't be working out. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. You could be playing Kukuro instead, dude. Bro, imagine playing Kukuro when you could be doing party dungeons and actually, like, trying to get the Iron Man series underway here. I would, I would prefer if the Iron Man series didn't last four months. Alright? Would prefer. Four part, but didn't have time to make it to the boss, dude. Iron Mid? More like, bro, when when all the videos come out, it's going to be a great series, okay? I guarantee you, it's going to be a fantastic series once it's all done. And people are going to be like, you know what, Griffy? We were in it for the long haul, and I got to say, overall, once once all the episodes were done, this is a, this was a very pogger series. And then you're going to... Then you, then you're gonna and then you're gonna see people coming from coming from YouTube and they'll be like, hey bro, I just watched your Iron Man series. Bro, I, I had to come check out the stream, just like they do with the fucking speed run. Alright? Just you wait. Just you wait, chat. Only because the editing was schmick, dude. The editing was sick, alright? The editing was good. It was S tier editing, alright? You're not wrong at all, dude. Hey, you know. Honestly, the first episode was really well put together. I really enjoyed it. Yo, thank you, my dude. Thank you. Appreciate it. I think I think the new editing style is how we're gonna go going forward now. Max single cut is juiced, dude. Yeah, max single cut is juiced. Oh yeah, how do we get single cut? That would probably be smart. What do you think is the best way to tackle Maestro? AFK. New editing style, bro. Have you not have you not seen the new? Episode? Pickle? And you got single cut? I have no idea, actually. Single cut would be risky? It would be risky, you're not wrong. Not gonna lie, I ain't watching your videos in like three months. Oh yeah, dude, it's brand- yeah, we literally did tried a new editing style. You should- you should check it out, Pickle. You should check out- check out the video. Tell me what you think. I believe white's done with the with the cut down. I don't have VIP, dude. Of course you don't have VIP, bro. You're a fucking mod. Imagine imagine a mod expecting to have VIP, bro. What is this? Single cut is three vials to level four. Alright, that ain't ever fucking happening. Three vials to level four? Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll get that we'll get there eventually, right, Jet? Fucking cope out of my mind. Cope is a hell of a drug, Jet. You do realize when we come out of the party dungeons though, like the like the damage increase is gonna be insane. Single cut is quite dangerous. Yeah, especially if you don't have the block chance. Once you have the block chance, it's disgustingly good, but you think there will be a new pack soon? Uh, new gem pack? Um, probably not for a little while. I know World Six is going to have a gem pack, but I, I, I don't, I don't expect that there's going to be a new gem pack anytime soon without a brand new mechanic. I'm surprised there wasn't a new gem pack with the uh, the new trophy guy. Do easy ones should be pretty chill. I think there's less than like 5k resources for World 4. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I'll probably be able to do it once I can start getting multi-kill from World 3. I think it'll be more possible. 
Uh, I haven't been doing a lot of material farming just because I don't have multi-kill. So until I have multi-kill, things will become a lot easier. And then I'll instantly get a 3D print of uh, copper ore and green mushrooms. Those are the two ones that I'm really looking for. Even if, even if they're like one an hour, it's, it's better than none an hour, you know what I'm saying? Those trophies are expensive? Well, yeah, for sure. They're, they're super, super expensive. Anybody that buys out those trophies from the gem shop is crazy with their money. Very irresponsible. <clears throat> Shut up, it's sacked right off. 250k damage low for World 4? I don't think it's not too bad. It's a tax write-off. That's my excuse. All right? It's always a tax write-off, no matter what. Even if it's not a tax write-off. Even when I, if I ever stop streaming this game, I'm still going to call it a tax write-off. I'll, I'll, I'll do, like, a bunch of payments on Eidolon, and then I'll stream Eidolon for one day and be like, Ah! Tax write-off. Look at that. I did it for stream. It's for content, yeah. It's for content. It's an investment into the future. Yeah. I was going to do party dungeon card farming on my other account. I mean, that's something you do on Wednesday when we're pushing. We're pushing for materials and stuff in World 3. We can always do uh, party dungeon farming. for, And then I can just do like carries and shit on the main account. If you guys need to farm out your flare bows. Deja vu. PD grind literally never stops. I want to get five star cards. Anything limited to shop worth it? Yes, the Rubifiers. Ruba Absolutely. The fucking Rubifiers, 100%. Super good. Farming those out. Ever get how players get over 1 million damage before World 4 comes out? Uh, it's because they stay, uh, they don't... They, because they, uh, pay attention to, like, alchemy and stamps and stuff. And they don't rush super hard. Because you gotta realize, more, the more you rush, the more you fall behind. Some people, some people like to take their time and they don't push on to the next worlds until they're ready. I think there's bugs so nobody can retry. It doesn't work for, it hasn't worked for me. I, I, Matt's not wrong. I can't read, I'll go check world two after this, but I, it, I probably won't be able to do it. He's talking about, he's talking about the new trophy. He's talking about the new boss. It didn't work for me. I didn't get it. I was only able to retry. I haven't been able to retry since reset. Wait two years from World 3 and went to World 4. I was lazy, dude. Work for everybody. Ask a lot of people in Discord, Jen. Yeah, exactly. It's Nick. Who's that Pokemon? After the first two, it will block you. At least what I've been noticing as well. Try to rush to World 4 and it takes slower, that's fine. Yeah, absolutely. If you're trying to rush to World 5, there's nothing wrong with rushing World 5. You're just wondering why it was uh, crazy how people are able to get 1 million damage before World 4. I'm sure Lava knows about it. I'm sure Lava will fix it. I mean, if there's anything I know is, 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 is people are not scared to bitch about mechanics in this game. So I'm pretty sure Lava's more than more than understanding what's going on right now. But it's it might not be a thing that's like necessarily in importance right now. Like the fact that the mechanic is out is probably more than good in his eyes is what I would understand. But I can go attempt this right after to see where we're, I want to see what damage we're at as well. I would like to see how much how much damage we've actually increased in the amount of party dungeons we've done. Because it's quite a bit, dude. We've gotten quite a bit of weapon power. And talent points as well. Will we ever leave dungeons today? Uh, probably. I would assume so. Eventually. I really like how everything is massive with your new style. It really suits you well. You seem like an Oriacha type post that gives you facial recognition. It's tough because I like to recognize why it's good, but I 
would know how to improve on it. Wait, wait, I got third frog! Fuck. Wait, wait, Pickle, did you watch the- did you just watch it? Is that what you're- is that what you're commenting on? I'm like a minute in. A minute in and you're already like, I like it, dude. I like it. You want more cheer options, dude? <laughs> no, thank you for the six nine, six nine bits. What was that, dude? Hey, that's the that's the that's the gamer that's the gamer sexuality, bro. It's really good. I'm glad you like it, dude. Yo, thank you so much, man. Yo, thank you so much, dude. Like an absolute chad, bro. Ah, lava! Stop! Get away! I don't want to buy your card packs. I want your mouse and keyboard support. Fuck off! That cape, though. Yeah, the cape looking saucy, dude. 69, 420 would be cool, dude. That'd be so expensive, dude. Do you realize how much that is? Yeah, so, yeah, see? Wait until tomorrow for another reset. My reset happened. I So I can't redo it. It is a bug. Look how long it stays on the screen, bruh. Bought it today. Hell yeah. So yeah, yeah, it doesn't, 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 uh, it's bugged out for some people. Speed watch, what's our damage now? What is our damage? What is our damage? Fifty-eight twenty, fifty-eight oh two. That's not bad. That's not terrible, actually. That's not bad. Not bad. I would give that. I would give that a solid. What is about a thousand thousand damage, give or take thousand damage increase from what we originally started with. So overall, I would say that's pretty poggers. Yeah, yeah, hundred. Yeah, yeah. We got. We ended up getting about one hundred and sixty defense, almost seven hundred accuracy. Not bad. I would give that a certified W. And we got some massive keychains here as well. Now we just need a we need to toss some things in here though. Well. We gotta get our iron keep on cooking here, man. We don't have enough iron. Hey, and I see you on live and watch a lot of your YouTube videos. Thank you for the comment uh, content. Yo, you're welcome, dude. Welcome, welcome to the stream where the magic happens, my dude. Glad you've been enjoying the YouTube content. More coming this week. I would hopefully like to get two episodes done this week. Hopefully, but uh I don't I don't I don't know if it's gonna happen. I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna happen, man. But what Nick, what kind of cheer options are you looking for, dude? What kinda of, what kinda of, what kinda of, what kinda of, I noticed that you deposit on Forge? Yeah, dude. Wow. I've been trying to play for around three weeks. Speedrun video made me sad, so I dumped my kid's college fund. Now I'm in World 5. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Sounds like that's the ongoing theme. Sounds like that's the ongoing theme. Party dungeons? Hell yeah, dude. Not that bad, but I did put 20 bucks in. Oh, yeah, I mean, 20, 20 bucks is definitely... You definitely get your money's worth, I think. Grind out the treasure hunt for time candy, dude. Yeah, that takes a hot minute. Let's do some more drop rarity. <laughs> you want some 10k juicers? My oh, fuck, all right. All right, dude. I'll give you. I'll give you some 10k juicers, I guess, bro. Oh. And then you know, next week we'll probably have to do more accuracy. What about lava made actually costs since he suggested it's in there, dude? They probably made it pretty expensive. 
What's that third star talent? It's uh, called Milky Way Candies. Just basically what it does is, I believe, what is it? 30 hours? 30 hours of AFK time and you have a chance to drop a candy? Yeah, 30k. 30 plus. Fill the gaps a bit more, like few 10 under, new under 10k. All right, I'll take, I'll take a look. I'll see what I can do. See what I can do. Is it 30 hours in one session? 30 hours in one session, correct. And dude, look, we're at, since we farmed 10k credits, dude, we're at 30% total damage. This is big. This is, this is, bro, people sleep on this shit. People hard sleep on the star talent, dude. This actually accumulates pretty mad. 30%'s no joke, especially in early game. 10k biddies for manly meow. You want 10k bitty? You want me to make a gif of the fucking manly meow for 10k biddies, dude? Oh god. Sound two, yes. God damn it! Get the candy talent. I sense 100 levels, dude. Nah, dude. Nah, there's no way, dude. There's no way. Oh, yeah, I got troll wings. So cool. Wish I got rose, dude. Bro, at least you got troll wings. I got a fucking cheese or. Like one for 69, 420 bits where you're an account man. Say, bro, dude. No, ain't nobody gonna pay for that shit. Your account point, you think you'll be speedrunning World 6 when it comes out? Oh, I will, uh, I will speedrun on my main account. Absolutely. Dude, you did Party Dungeon for four hours and then died? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. All right. I don't want to fucking talk about it, okay? It's okay, I didn't do party, un party dungeons after my daily reset, so... That's a, that's a huge plus. Alright. We're, 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 look we're looking, we're looking creamy, okay? We're about to, we're getting to a point where we're ready to start the series again. Yeah, my main account. Realistically, I should be able to beat World 6 on my main account, probably, give or take... Three days? Three, four days? I would say? Maybe, maybe a little less. I mean, my account's pretty juiced. Like, my, my account's pretty, pretty disgusting. Will we push with Bubo? 100% Bubo. Bubo, Bubo's by far the best portal pusher in the game. Can you explain the new Dr. Star for bosses killed? The DR Star? Oh, uh, we're not 100% knowing on it, Joe. We, we, it's either, it's either gonna be like, uh, 68% or it's gonna be 450%. Now I'm farming rats with Squire. Hell yeah, dude. Really queer, so I have skillings going to work without new classes. Uh, it's probably going to be all, like, I would assume it's going to be, like, character-paced. How, f how fast will whale count be Amrock? I don't know, probably, like, three minutes. Maybe, maybe three, three to ten minutes, I would say. What's the... In ten minutes, probably. Yeah, yeah, because you can just... Like you, like, you do realize I can just buy keychains, right? <laughs> I could just I could just literally just buy best in slot keychains. Imagine YouTube short of going from level 1 to Amrock, dude. Yeah, 10, just 10 minutes. Be good, bro. Be good. Kind of sucks that it takes you three days. What takes me three days? What, it takes three days to get to the end of World 6? Bro, it should it should it should take people like a month to get to the end of World Six. Realistically, that's what it should be. But it, since he has to scale it to the ninety nine percent, all the people that have been super juiced out for so long are just gonna skyrocket through like it's nobody's business. Who knows? Even with all my buffs, it might be less than that. You know, we we might be able to do it in twenty four hours. It all depends. All depends on what's set up. Yo, 30% damage, dude? I'd say six hours. I, I wouldn't say six hours. No, not six hours. That'd be a hell of a VOD, though. World 6 completed in... World 6 completed in six hours, dude? That'd be a, that'd be, that'd be a hell. You guys are over overpowered for even World 7? I don't think World 7, no. World 7, definitely not. 
Interesting thing about this update is World 2 Town, at least for me, the treasure hunt mole is missing a few pixels so you can see the area that he's in. Yeah, I saw that too. Which is kind of interesting to say the least. Watch this be a new mechanic at Time Gates Portals. Uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, Underwater World, and you need to have a set amount of oxygen in order to enter the next area. And you have to go into the gem shop. Saw a person with that. Uh, I mean, I can accumulate that amount of god shards. It's not hard anymore. Oxygen cost purple gems. Yeah, true. Buy scuba gear wings. Yeah, exactly. You know, golden golden scuba tank that increases your oxygen. You give unlimited oxygen for buying it. Well, you guys, you guys do realize, too, that I'm going to be buying out all of World 6 gem shop and buying a bunch of card packs at the, at the start, right? We're going to have, like, four-star cards at day one, right? You guys do realize that. And then not to mention, we're going to be also getting to level 60 plates because of all the Blood Berserker bonuses. Can't wait for World 6 boss spoiler, dude. Yeah, right. Because World 6 card packs won't be out by release. Bet you they will. You already have 20k gems on Gem Shop, dude. We're getting there. I spent- I have to- I have to buy more. I should make Nightmare Mobs mod for you in World 6. Yeah, true, dude. Yo, yo, real question is, when Lava gonna allow workshop modding in this game so I can get waifu enemies? I wanna slap frogs in, in waifu form. When is that gonna be a thing, yo? Yo, peace out, Flirt. Have a good one, buddy. I'll, I'll, if, 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 if he allows that, I'll do a smash and pass of that, absolutely. Like, bro, slime waifu? Slime foo? Queen dude? Shamrock, dude? Give me the Shamrock. She font? I'm down for a she font, bro. Give me, give me that she font. What if someone mods gr troll into Griffy, dude? The, the Griffy mod? That'd be cool, man. If somebody, if people actually did mods for Eidolon, then I could start doing like videos like mod showcases for Eidolon, bro. Bro! That would be so big! Mod showcase videos, dude? That'd be awesome! Cattle Lacruck, dude? Bro, you're fucking degenerate. Holy shit, Cattle Lacruck, dude? <laughs> 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 I think Lava would ever allow mods. Yeah, for that exact reason, bro. That's so bad, dude. Soon as soon as soon as Wally said cattle or cruck, instantly got an image in my head how that would look. That's fucking degenerate. Mod that puts a G's face on all faceless NPCs. That'd be sick, dude. Someone would make a horror mod? Yeah, probably. But just, like, think about, like, how crazy the mod scene would be for this game. The elephant skeleton, I don't think it would change much. I bet you, bro, I'm, you don't know that. When there's a will, there's a way, especially for the weebs, dude. Melee, I hate the editing style because it's DaVinci Resolve, dude. Bro, I saved so much money monthly, and don't even, don't even at me. You didn't even notice it was DaVinci Resolve until the end, bro. If I didn't say anything, you would have had no idea, bro. Yeah, so Pickle, give me the rating out of 10. Give me, give me, the, give me the rating out of 10, what would you say, without knowing that's DaVinci Resolve? Actually, all in chat, give me, if you guys seen the new video, give me, give me a, give me a rating out of 10, dude. I actually want to hear your guys' input. 9 out of 10? Uh, looks like that's the style, then. Just, just the, just the editing style, just for the Iron Man. 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10. G out of 10. Hey, that's the best rating you can get, bro. That's a high-ass rating, dude. 7.95. Why do we gotta be special and go into the decimals? Why can't you just be normal like everyone else? <laughs> Red? Alright, well that's... Okay. Alright, dude. Yes, Adam. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. I didn't saw the, see the vid. Bro, imagine not seeing the vid, bro. What is DaVinci's Resolve? It is a editing software. I'm gonna lie, I missed 2-bit Griffey you had in your old vids. Yeah, but that's because 
to be fair, uh, with the with the old vids, I was uh, um, how do you call it? Uh, not confident really in my in my editing style. Like you could you could even see like even if you watch like my Megalodon video, like or like my a thousand hours played, right? You can clearly see that I'm not confident in the in the in the stuff that I'm making, right? There's a clear indicator from then to now that the sheer sheer confidence of making YouTube videos have gone through the roof. I'll do I'll do a better job next episode though. Don't you worry. Next episode will be better than ever. It'll be better than the first one. You guys will be like, "Wow." Griffey, because now that I, the first one's a prototype, so always figuring out how I want the first one to go, and then having people's feedback will, you edit yourself? Uh, so I have, I have my boy White, White H2O, uh, he cuts down the VODs for me, and then I do the editing, and then put it all together. So it's, it's, it's a, it's a group, it's a group effort. But when it comes to just, like, the special effects and shit, yeah, I do most of it. Like, 95% of it. Gotta add those 2008 power, bro. Bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a subway surfer joke. All right, it's gonna be good, dude. I'll make a subway surfer, subway surfer joke, and that's all that matters. It's extremely entertaining. Like I'm riding a roller coaster. I don't need to think. It's just fun. The problem that I came into was one when your glitch transition. It looks good, but there's a real drop in quality for me, and there's just a sort of lot of cursing. It's not too bad, but randomly cut out words kind of takes me out of the experience. Well, I mean, I don't want to get monetized. Best part about it is just how cap captivating it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So we're cooking, is what you're saying. We got. The, we got. The, we're cooking. We got the big cooks. Monetize these nuts, dude. He glazing, dude. Absolutely, bro. We glazing. If I put. I haven't found one that I. I haven't. I haven't found. Your eyes are very captivating, G. I, I, my favorite, honestly, my favorite part of that video is the intro. I'm very happy with that intro. <laughs> Griffey, that doesn't work. Too bad we made it work. Welcome to episode one. Saying they could uh, try to curse less during important moments. I don't know, maybe it's not really that much of a big deal. Yeah, probably. Probably did. Probably right. Might be right. Might be cooking. Might be gas. A funk you mean, dude? And I tried a new new style with the uh, with the music. So so if you guys if you guys listen to the if you listen to the to the video, whenever it's just me talking, it crossfades into a song a different song. But 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 when it but when it uh, goes into the uh, actual vod, it's uh, it's a different type of music. Favorite part was when he explained the talent setup. So smooth, dude. Trouble with that since I don't. Yeah, it's it's the difference between headphones users and not. It's always been an issue. Headphone users usually have a better experience than non-headphone users. But it's good. I'm glad that everybody likes it. I was super so worried, dude. You have no idea how much I was panicking, because trying something new just always makes me feel like so worried. Because chat doesn't like change, dude. You know, people may say they like change, but they really fucking don't. They definitely do not. Whatsoever. People don't know what the fucking they want, dude. They may think they do, but they don't. Play swearing with the strength talents would be so funny, bro. Oh yeah, true. I, I could probably figure something out, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll work on it and get it, get it done. Is there a really funny Eidolon sound effect? Do we guys know of a funny sound effect? Roll 2 music, no slime death sound. Oh yeah, true, I could find a slime death sound. Is there a stash death? Oh true, the death sounds, dude. Only people that liked it would make it to that point? Yeah, true. Tense like trying to find out random to see which one's the best. Yeah, if you want to do that, Matt, that'd be huge. Figure figure that out, dude. That'd save me some time. Try try to find some death sounds that sound good. 
Yeah, but I, I want. I, I know there's a lot of iconic death sounds, but I like. I want it. To, I want it to keep it like Iolon, you know. Actually, snowball death is pretty good. It has to be super short, though. It can't be super long. Has to be like two seconds, if it, or even like a second, just a quick one. What about a laugh at the end? Show you a laugh, dude. No, the next video will be better now that I'm feeling a lot more confident with it. So, and and that series is going to be a slow cooker as well. It's uh. You know, it's going to be like the speed run. Like, the speed run early didn't really pop off. But then out of nowhere, the speed run just fucking got crazy amount of views, like, really fucking fast. Sheepy death sound just breaks my heart. Poor Sheepy, dude. Oh, yeah, dude, true. Does Troll make a funny sound? I have no idea. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I play this game on fucking mute all the time. I want to ask how long did it take that you to make the scripting, editing, and vocal recording? Believe it or not, I didn't use a script for that video. I watched a bit of the video, figured out where I was going to chop it, and where I was going to put my... And then I did a quick spiel. Um, but... It, uh... Yeah, I just, I just, I just fucking improv it, dude. You can't keep on getting away with it? Yeah, I know, dude. Just realized I'm missing half my achievements to Steam for Eilon, dude. You'll get there. How many takes, though? Uh, it was about, uh, maybe two to three takes per scene. I would, I would go off the improv, and I feel like I'd say something too many times, so. I would redo it. Uh, but with the script, with the editing and vocal recording, everything in general, um, for me, I was able to get it done in about, I think, 14 hours? I think, I think the editing sesh took me about, took me about 14 hours. The only problem with, the only problem with that editing is, uh, is it takes longer to do the script than it does to actually do the video now. So I take longer recording instead of editing now. So it takes, it takes much longer. So, I mean, I I mean, I don't mind it taking longer to edit ra or record rather than taking longer to edit cuz honestly, editing is fucking more of a pain in the ass than recording. Recording's fine. I don't mind recording. But the editing is a fucking pain in the ass. I hate editing. Have you considered getting a scriptwriter? I do have a scriptwriter. I do I do have a I I work with a person that helps me with my scripts. So when we when we when we go through it together because we work on it together um basically we go through we figure out the formula and then as we work together with it we can bounce back off each other and be like are we missing something are we not missing something does this is this correct um is this fact checking properly is this a good formula instead of just doing one person so we work together on a script and then if I don't have time then they can usually take away the script and then I read it change, make some changes to it, and then bing bong beasel. Should I get a doggy profile icon or blue grumblow? Should get the fucking doggo, dude. Doggo goes ham. So, yeah, there's, there's certain videos that are helped. Worlds have the worst music. Um, I would arguably say World 1. World 1 has the most annoying music. By far. By a long shot. Oh, Pickle, I'll show you- I'll show you a really fucking big brain after this, dude. I'll- I'll blow your fucking mind with my giant fucking brain, dude. My giant giga brain. Old school Maple Story vibes. I would like to add Maple Story, but I'm I'm just I'm just so so scared of DMCA when it comes to Maple Story music. So I use Motion Array, so I'm I'm fully licensed to make music and not get DMCA striked. Because all it takes is one day to be like Maple Story is just like not nah, we're gonna copyright strike all of our music now, and then they just get fucked. 
worldwide includes Amrock music's different. Amrock music's way different, dude. Amrock music is probably some of the hardest soundtrack in this game, dude. Really need to get my shit together so I can start editing again. Oh, you got you got that you got that bug, bro. Because if you use it in every video, that's that's your whole channel gone. Yeah, that's exactly it. Everything gets everything gets demonetized. My favorite part of the music wise when the game tutorial starts in late world four. Yeah, true, true. Oh god. We're getting, a little, we're getting a little rambunctious right now. Kind of like World 5 music, not gonna lie. There is no World 5 music. Big Rumble isn't the strat anymore. It just, it just, Armadillo just seems scaling way, scaling way harder. And the problem is, is you have to get a lot of great Grumblows in order to be effective. Jump shop music goes hard, dude. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna die if I accidentally move too far. Grab some food here. Yeah, you need like yeah, you need like ten in order to start scaling. Great Grumbo comes a little bit better once you actually start uh scaling base damage. Like I could probably benefit from Grey Grumbo right now. Uh over over Armadillo, but then I miss out, miss out on like drop rate and dead book and crits and all that shit. I wouldn't say it's necessarily overall worth it now. Okay, that's gonna be very dangerous. Very, very dangerous very quickly. Holy shit. Voucher build when? Yeah, soon, dude. TM. But I'm always one drop away from the boss. Yeah, that happens. You just need to get more drop rate. Uh, especially World 1. World 1 is hard focused around drop rate. More drop rate, the better. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Is World Two still broken? Uh, what sense? Big gains. Ooh, a ninety-two. So close, dude. So close, man. Garbage. That's pretty good. That's, that's, that's pretty good. That's, uh, that's, 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 that's pretty solid, actually. The th uh, like, minigames don't work? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's do, let's do, we can do two talent points instead. We're gonna do two talent points. It's basically a full level up. We only have four more party dungeons, Chet. Should we, I, I think... I think we should just- I think we should just do the party dungeons. I think we should just fucking get them done. Staying away from that last snake, dude. I mean, I got the second snake already, so we're good. Full send? Yeah, dude. Might as well just get it done, so then it's just basically all other working later. Um, I do want to keep my drop rate keychains. I need- I need to- I need to put some stuff in the storage, actually. Oh, hey, my guild box has finally showed up. Oh, look at that. Hey, they're finally here. Big gems? Let's see. Let's see if we get big jemmies here. Big jemmies? We got four boxes this week. Or three. Never mind. So how many, how many do we get blessed with here? 25 gems. Dog shit. Holy moly, those are good. Worst, worst fucking thing ever, dude. Damn, that's bad. Okay. Put two more points into there. Two more points into there. And then we want to do two more points into there. No trophy, dude. No trophy, Doug. Fortunately not. You always need gems. True. All right. All right, Pickle. You ready to see this? So you know how my green screen is, right? Okay. And we're, we're not going to hear music for a second, chat. So I'm just showing you guys something. Mostly showing Pickle. Okay. So, you see how this is the green screen, right? You see, you see all the different colors everywhere? Okay. 
You see how you see how everything's a different fucking color? So it ma it makes it actually really hard in an editing software to be able to take that out. Okay, because there's there's so much different green going on. I'm gonna see I'm gonna see a lot of flickering, a lot of clipping. But you notice how it looks really good on stream because I have an OBS setting. Here's what I did. Ready for this? So I just use a green screen OBS effect, and I put a green screen, just a flat color source behind me. So now whenever I take it out, no matter what, no shadows, no nothing, absolutely nothing is going to be changing the color of the green screen. So now whenever I record myself, I can, I, it's, it's simple as just pressing the button, getting the color, and taking off color spill, and it's perfect every time. Literally perfect every time, no matter what. What's that setting? I just add a color source. That's all I do. And then that's, that's how you do it, bro. That's all there is to it. That's it. That's the fucking big brain play, dude. That's the big brain play. That's, that's, that's how you get it done, bro. Green screen, the green screen. Exactly. That's the way to do it. It's really annoying to take out every single color from actual backgrounds. Absolutely. And since it's already since it's already perfect on OBS. You know, it's just you know, see what I did is I took a book out of from Sony, you know, PlayStation. If it ain't broke, why fix it? You know what I'm saying? Little mic issues, but overall perfect. I think that's because uh, my uh uh, what ended up happening is my air conditioner we got picked up. Do you stockpile any arcade balls? Uh, I used them today. They they were used. Uh, we managed to get actually some really big upgrades from Gem Shop though. I mean from Arcade Shop. And I don't know what I want my next purchase to be. To be honest, I don't. I I have some gems and I have them have them kicking around, but. But yeah, that that's that makes that makes things ten times easier. Yo, peace out. Have a good one, Wrench. Bro, when will we leave PD? In about three more runs. Three more runs and we'll be out of PD for a whole week. So all we do is push. All we do is push and farm stamps. All of next week, bro. And then that's when we're going to see big gains. PDs are the shit, dude. Cauldron, trust me, bro. PDs are pretty good, chat. Anybody that doesn't like PDs doesn't like gains, all right? Just comes comes with the comes with that shit, dude. Think of saving gems for the cape. A thousand gems for the cape upgrade? Oh, I mean, I mean, it, it unless you can roll like an insane cape, like you're probably if you want to roll like if you could roll a rift wings. If you could roll Rift Wings, that would be ideal. Oh, imagine, dude. Imagine if I would have saved my jackpot, dude. Saved my jackpot. For, and I didn't die, bro. The Rift Wings? Oh, my God. Insane. Yeah, so there's blue wings you can get. They're called Rift, Walk, uh, Rift Walker Wings. And they're very, very, very strong. They have lots of weapon power. And all stat. Imagine if you didn't walk right, dude. Imagine if I didn't walk right. Imagine ending up with Amrock Wings. I'm going to be honest with you, Amrock Wings would be insane. 20% damage ones? Yeah, I think they're 20% damage. Amrock Wings are insane. Early game, are you kidding me? How much defense that is? Yeah, any yeah any stats that will help at this point. With my Angel Wings, at least it's not a far... Oh, bro, you got Angel Wings is huge, dude. That's like the second best pair of wings you could have gotten. Yeah, it's 50 and 10%. Troll Wings got the drip. Yeah, but it's all stat. Early game all stat wouldn't be that good. It was 98% of my gems, dude. I got it by paying 1.1k gems, dude. How many bad wings are there and how versus how many good ones? I would say there's about uh There's about four four five bad wings. Five five I would consider bad wings comparative to the ones that you can get. The rest are pretty good. Molten Cape would be decent. Molten Cape would be huge on this account. Imagine rolling around an Iron Man with a Molten fucking Cape, dude. 
Uh, which ones? Uh, all the boss wings. So Amrock, Efont, Cheezor, Troll, and Cattle. All those are considered bad wings. Another Vine Cape would really make you want to roll it, dude. Oh, the chance at a Vine Cape? True, dude. Vine Cape would be massive for this account. It'd be like a fucking Crystal Custard, dude. Just for levels in general. Because uh, Amrock, get, Amrock gives you defense percent, Efont gives you 5% skill efficiency, uh, Cheezor isn't too bad because it gives you damage percent, uh, Troll gives you all stat percent, and Rift, uh, uh, Cattle Crook Wings gives you skill, XP, and AFK gains. So I mean, I mean, I would say arguably probably Cattle's the strong, or strongest of the bunch, but there's definitely much, much better ones. Already boss damage? That's kind of good. <laughs> but realistically, you want any of the rare wings. If you can get rare wings, that would be the ideal standpoint. The, the wings that you can't get multiples of, those would be considered really good wings. Wow, 32 damage on a pair of sandals? Holy shit. I roll a second pair of Riftwalker wings, and yeah, that's that's not bad. You know, double Riftwalker wings isn't terrible. Ideally, the best one, the best one to roll possible would be the Golden Rose. The Golden Rose is like the cream of the crop one. That's the one that you want to get. Because that's just, it's just the best. Because it's just so much AFK gains. We're a little behind on the time here. Yo, what's up, Zingo? Angels are far- Yeah, angels are second best for sure. Angels are definitely second best. I just realized I have enough gems, so I'm going to roll for it. Wish me luck. I wish you get the golden rose, bro. One less weapon power, 11% instead of 13%. All AFK, I'm quite pleased. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They're definitely strong. Angel wings are very, very good. Oh shit, I got the rose, dude? You got the golden rose? What the fuck? I like how we're just talking about it, dude. You're welcome, dude. I'll send you my PayPal, bro. Uh, I'm, I charge people for that type of luck. Blessing RNG, dude. That's some bullshit. Thanks for the luck, dude. That's some bullshit, dude. Literally blessed, bro. Kind of lost. I want to use my gems on so many upgrades, so little gems. Yeah, true. Is the cape worth it to spend 1k? Um, I mean, that's that's up to you. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest to to spend it on capes personally. Um I mean. Yeah, I I, I wouldn't necessarily suggest it. But that's just me. It's really expensive. Need for the stats? Yeah. Are Riftwalker wings in that bundle? What, in the, uh, what bundle? Are you talking about for the, uh, limited time shop? It's worth it if you get a good cape? Yeah, but you're, you're taking a very big risk. Yeah, it's, yeah, Riftwalker wings are in the riff, are in the bundle, are in the potential to roll. What else would you spend it on, though? Well, I mean, there's a plethora of things that you'd spend it on. Damn, dude, we got the fucking damage this round. Jesus. And a Gambia deck for nothing? Yeah, true. I'm just praying that we get one more. One more tier 3 keychain. That's all I'm asking for. I don't even care if we, I don't even care if we get bad rolls or anything. I just want one tier 3 keychain. Just for that extra defense. It'll make all the difference. Normal shop can always have the chance for limited time items. I mean, if, if you feel that it's worth it, go for it. I'm not going to sit here and suggest to spend over a thousand gems on it. You gotta realize those are, that's ten bucks for a pair of wings, right? I got troll wings. How fitting, dude. Bro, troll wings. Rest in peace, dude. 
If it makes you feel any better, I got fucking cheese or cheese or wings, which are honestly just so dog shit for me. But to be fair, there's only like one pair of wings that I could have gotten. It's only ten dollars if you spend money on gems. I mean, you're not wrong. That's a that's a fair assessment. Just got the angel ones, huge dude. Grats. I got Amarok. <laughs> Never seen someone so excited to get Amarok wings, bro. I mean, it was five dollars since came from the starter pack gems. Oh yeah, nice dude, huge. I'm I'm angry, not excited. Oh 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 okay okay all right all right. I was gonna say. I was gonna say the excitement. Uh, you know that's that's kind of solid. Dude. Sometimes you get it. Sometimes yeah, that's part of the gamba. Sometimes you get it. Sometimes you don't. That's what you get if you gamba. Amrock is good early game. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think Amrock is ever good. Maybe that's just my base take, but I think Amrock is always kind of just dog doo doo. It's like it's just a placeholder wings. Hundred percent placeholder wings. You use them if you got nothing else. Yeah, they're Beastmaster wings for the drip, dude. I had him on for so long. Damn, got Ephon, bro. Yeah. I'm wondering how people got so many post office bosses only watching Eilon efficiency review. I can realize I just use pens before I just used to skip orders. I couldn't complete, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Shit. Yeah, no, that's, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely not, dude. Yeah. All right. Now you, now you know. They look dope, though. Yeah, Amrock wings look really dope with the Amrock helmet for sure. 100%. Upgrade that, some merit base damage. Okay, you know, bro, we're almost level 50 on the stats for this. That's getting pretty good, man. Let's just let's just fill it out with a flat 20. And then we're gonna do some more weapon power. Uh actually. Mm, fuck it. Let's do it. Damn. We're getting closer, dude. We're getting we're getting closer and closer, but unfortunately we're just not managing. What about the mob respawn pendant? What, for the Flurbo shop? Uh, I feel like that's pretty expensive. It could be good, though. I mean, you're not wrong, actually. The mob respawn, mob respawn it could, be, could be solid. It's weapon power? True, it is weapon power. I think it's super expensive, though. But it, it would be good for just solo play, to be honest. And I mean, even the accuracy pendant would be kind of solid. It's expensive early game. How much is it? How much? How much is it for the? Uh, is it six hundred? Ooh, that is pretty pricey. That's a that's that's a lot of upgrades. But ten percent mob respawn, because we won't get elite class till world six. That might could become out. Definitely a net positive. But we're not really clearing all the mobs. But it would be good for farming out materials. Yeah. Can't say much. We say nice try, dude. Yep, nice try is all you got, dude. Fish pennant would be huge, actually. Fish pennant for fishing. Definitely would be good. I mean, we're cooking. Cooking with something, dude. But yeah, we basically... We just, we just want to get these... We, we basically want to get as much party dungeons done as possible. I think it's going to end up being a point where Monday is kind of the party dungeon farm. Where it's a brand new week, so we decide to do our pet rolls and we do our party dungeon farming just so we can get our early gains. I like Eidolon reviews, bludgeon for class, camp, chamrock for, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, bludgeon, I don't even know if the bludgeon's gonna be possible. Why don't you save your boosters for happy? Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. Do you have the stats for the upgrade fish necklace from Biggie? No. No, I can't even kill Biggie yet, actually. We do eventually need to farm out a Serrated Rex Rings as well, but I, I, we're definitely waiting for a bit more strength. 
Like once once we get uh Amrock gear and our royal bayonet, that's where we're gonna really start popping off. I should probably hard farm royal bayonet as soon as possible. Yeah, big crystal custard rip, dude. But yeah, Royal Bayonet's gonna definitely need to happen before we fight Efont. And then we can just basically and then and then we have to farm all our Amrock keys from Coliseum. Unfortunately, that's what's gonna have to happen. We can't really get keys anywhere else. So, but I think we're I think we're gonna attempt I think we're gonna attempt Efont in bronze gear, dude. I think we're going to attempt it. 100%. Fucking Copper Gear e -font fight, bro. That's going to be sketchy, dude. That's going to be so sketchy. I'm going to have to bring backup food. And I can't get hit by any mechanic. Yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be troublesome. Just boomerang cheese? Yeah, I'm going to have to boomerang cheese it, but... I need- I just need to get started on multi-kill as soon as possible, bro. The faster I get started on multi-kill, the better. Armor is a super force, it's a weak attack, so do a lot of strong one-shots. Yeah. But- but at the same time, it's- it's the- it's the circles. The circles just do constant DPS to you. Get iron gear? I mean, I could get iron gear, but I mean... If I'm so close to Amarok, I mean... I might as well just hold off for it and save those materials for something else. Yeah, it's the purple ring hitbox that gets the best of you, dude. But if you learn how to dodge, it's not too bad. I'm just glad Efont just doesn't throw it out his legs early. In the earlier tiers, like he does on Nightmare. If he, if he threw out his legs, it would be way more of a dangerous scenario. Ever died once to Efont? I've died to Efont. Not on first try or anything, but I've died to Efont. Love nightmare mode. It's just so it's just so dangerous, man. You know, it's like it's it, this is a whole new, this is a whole different game, because it's like the way that you have to plan yourself out is so much different. You can't just leave guys to go farm shit. And it's like, every- every chance that you take is a fucking risk, bro. And not to mention, crystals? Holy fuck, crystals are the scariest thing alive, dude. And it's the worst part, because it's a 1 in 2k chance, so it can literally show up anywhere. You go to take a piss, that motherfucker spawns on you, dude, you're fucking dead. Alright? That thing will slap you into next week. And you'll just come back to a dead body, and you'll just be like, fuck. Don't pee? Yeah, true, dude. I need- I need to- what is that? What is that called? What do I need? Uh, the catheter? That's what I need. I need a catheter, dude. It is what it is, yeah. Piss jug, yeah? Thought E fought early with iron gear, low defense, rings did like 40 HP to me and I had no food. Elite gaming toilet. Yeah, I need a skibbity toilet, dude. Everything will be okay after that. Skibbity bit. Skibbity bit. Imagine volunteer getting a catheter, dude. I mean, I, I mean, most volunteered to get a fucking bag sewn to the side of my body for my Crohn's. But I decided against it. Because no fucking thanks. Oh, and chat. You guys want to know a reason why I also did the new editing style? It's because when merch comes out, it's the easiest way to promote my merch without even having to say I got new merch. It's free advertisement. Because, because I'm standing up, so you get to see the merch no matter what. That's the big brain play. That's the big brain. <laughs> Shop dude. I don't even think that's a real site. Bro, I, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm getting I'm getting like really impatient with my merch, but I know it'll happen eventually. But even still, dude, even still, I'm getting I'm getting impatient. 
Three first three Efon fights. I die like three more days and wait till kill him, dude. It's not you know what to do. And true. True. Not wrong. I already have a shop set up. I just have to wait for the new stuff. Did you end up filing for Copium Corp trademark? No, fuck no. So big sad you won't sell any more Rams? Yeah, I know. Maybe maybe he'll make a comeback. Or maybe maybe he'll he'll start selling uh the 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 piggies. Maybe he'll sell like uh Hamish and and uh cattle prod. And fish paste. I would want a fish paste one. Bro, I'd be so down for a fish paste plushie. Holy shit, that would be fire. His little, his little fishing rod and shit. A little fishy at the end. That was Copium Corp. It was it is Copium Corp. Mid paste, dude. What about shiny ram, dude? Actually, there was supposedly supposed to be a shiny ram in the purchases. Apparently somebody could get a shiny ram. I never heard anybody that did, though. I think that was Cope. I think, I think, that, was a, I think that was just Lava. Lava's trying to make more sales. <laughs> one in 1,000 chance, bro. Mine was shiny. Was it? Fucking, I... Pixar didn't happen. Wait, Hadix, you won! You won from the giveaway. No, no, it wasn't. It's a fucking lie. The, what the fuck? What kind, of, what kind of bullshit are you talking about? Uh, with space is not without spaces. Yeah, true. You're peeking at my RAM, dude, bro. I didn't have it, bro. Of, of course I peeked at your RAM. I looked for which one was shiny. Do you think I? Do you think if I got a shiny RAM, I was gonna give away the fucking shiny RAM? Are you kidding me? I was gonna keep it for myself. What the fuck? What, 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 are you, what are we saying here, dude? I peeked at all the rams. I was looking for that shiny, bro. Was chasing after that Charizard, you know? Ram whore Naz, dude. Hey, I only have one, all right? That's the last long time. Hey, Ramsey. Never fucking, never forget, dude. Chasing that purple Zard, bro. Mmm, that Adventure Quest reference. Mmm. Be honest with you, Adventure Quest didn't age well. <laughs> Did not age well at all. Easy plus one summon. 20 seconds left. I'll take it. Summon. See if we can get as much kills as possible here before the end. Two hour video about Adventure Quest pop up the other day. Drop Stripes Haze. Come on, Hundo. 89, close. Not quite there, though, dog. Rank 24. Good one. <gasps> Dude, that's so banging. So I, so I have two of these keychains. Two of these keychains, so I get... Oh, wait, that's mining XP. Ah, uh, well... Uh, 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 no, that's dog. No, no, 20% mining XP is fucking dog shit. It's easy to level up mining as a fucking squire. I don't want that. The fuck out of here. Come on! This is too low, bro. 88! Come on, man! I need- uh, Dude, I was two away! Two away! And I would have had Action Frenzy! Bro! Come on! Don't do me like this, game! Oh, so close. I've spent so many unnecessary flurbos, dude. Oh, come on, man. Action Frenzy makes all the difference. I got a link to the index, please. That's in the it's in the Discord, bro. We have two more runs, chat. Two more runs. Bro, if we can get Action Frenzy next week, that would be ideal. Action Frenzy next week would be so big for, for skilling. Just the overall material gain increases hugely. Just, just even fishing. Fishing is huge. It's all good. It's all nice.
Maybe I, I like I like the new golden stopwatches though, dude. I'm excited excited to get some golden stopwatches to be able to just scale alchemy even harder than it is now. It's gonna be great, dude. And like, these this just be fire just for pushing anything realistically. You buy Bob Joe pickles, bro. Surely that doesn't push your 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 free uh, free pet roll, right? I don't think so. I doubt it would. There's no no way that it does. How ideally uh, farm pens kind of lost on that one, to be honest. You can farm it with crystal farming. Crystal farming is a great way to farm pens. You know how to get alchemy speed? Uh, Brustachio is good for it. Uh, vials are good for it. Pretty stingy with the pens, dude. What are you talking about? The golden stopwatch? Okay, so so with the new mechanic that just came out, and one of the rotations, there will there will be uh there will end up being a um what is it called? Uh a golden stopwatch which allows you to skip 24 hours, and that counts for uh that counts for daily resets. So it's basically like an overpowered time candy. So that means you'll be able to do your alchemy prog. And what I'm thinking probably what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to save all the golden stopwatches for world 6. So then when world 6 comes out with all the new world 6 bubbles, then I'll use a bunch of golden stopwatches uh, to, to help get like 80-75% on all my new bubbles once they get atomable. It's above idle chat. Yeah, King, it's in I it's in the Discord. Where do you get the golden stopwatch from the new mechanic when it comes into rotation? On what Discord? Our Discord, the IBA Discord, bro. I assume that they won't work on World 6 stuff. Well, I mean, it's not technically Alchemy isn't World 6. Alchemy's World 2. So I mean, so it's like candy, but it works for everything. I don't think it. I don't think it uh, increases your. I think it might increase your count. Yeah, I think it's just an overpowered time candy. Yeah, you won't be able to see the idle index without joining the Discord. Yeah, the, the I meant the new alchemy stuff. Yep. Oh wait, you know I just realized that too. That'll push everybody smithing. Or they'll push, yeah, they'll push smithing as well. So basically, desync in a bottle? Yeah, for the most part. I've joined, I don't see it. Bro, I swear to God, did you, did you read what you have to do? Or did you just join and be like, I don't see it? There's like literally a video... There's literally a video that tells you how to do it. Spam click? Most people do. Most people do. Okay, give me a minute. Ah, see, okay, now, now he's actually reading it. Okay, see, see. And that's why we have that special precaution in the Discord. It's called a child luck. Yo! 19 Raiders coming from Snaily Pierre. What's going on, dude? Welcome on in, chat. Defend the raid. What's happening? Yo, what's going on, my dude? Welcome on in, everybody. We are currently farming our Iron Man. We are doing party dungeons because if you guys didn't know, party dungeons is a really good early way of easy game progression at the beginning. Welcome on in, guys. And since it's uh, so hard to get Iron Man scaling, this is what we have to do. Time to ask for new cards, Griffy. Yeah, true. True. It's okay. I'll ask again tomorrow. Don't worry. Or I guess on Wednesday. Let you guys, let you guys get on up there. Bro, why'd you got why'd you got why'd you got why'd you gotta do me like that, huh? Why'd you gotta post that? Best early stats? Absolutely best early stats, dude. 
they're free, free real estate. Ooh, he's playing Lies of Pi, dude, eh? How is, how is Lies of Pi, by the way? Wait, you don't stream on Tuesdays? No, that's YouTube day, bro. I work on YouTube videos that day. It's like literally only dedicated to YouTube. And uh, now that I have voice acting classes. So it's, it's split between YouTube day and voice acting. Felt like Bloodborne, but a really fun. Hell yeah, dude. If you saw played Sekiro, dude, if you, yeah, I don't mind soul games here and there. When you start taking those, uh, class started last week. Uh, well, it's voiceovers, voiceover, act, uh, act, voiceover class. So it's kind of, kind of, we, we started that. We'll give it a little shot there, but it, it covers basically everything. Animation, video games, uh, voiceovers. Uh, a little bit of singing kind of deal. Got a feeling of Sekiro, but Liza Pi have to parry too. Well, I mean, if if it's fire, that's good, man. I'm fucking tired of games being dog shit on release. The new goal is going to be an item in the shop, but isn't the current shop is the new mechanic? Yeah, it's not. It's not there at the moment. Will he sing us a song, G? No, absolutely not. Me hey, Griffey, you do Eilon voice acting? Yeah, I'll do I'll do all the voice acting. You have like the perfect ASMR, deep but not too much. What I actually what I was actually kind of funny of what I want to do, Night Snafu, is I want to do uh uh voiceovers for sleeping. So I can uh while while people are going to bed and they like listening to ambient ambient sounds, I can be that guy that reads books while they're sleeping, bro. Thank you all for your vids on your YouTube, my dude. Yo, I appreciate- yo, appreciate it, dude. Glad- glad that shit that can help, my dude. Doing voiceover acting for Eilon? That'd be kinda cool. I would kill for that, dude. Please voiceover, go to the fuck to sleep, dude. Yeah, dude. Start a- start a- start another YouTube channel. Not tell anybody about it, and call it Griffey Narrates. And then just- just- just do a bunch of fucking content on there of me reading books, bro. Just absolutely tell nobody. That's the secret. Don't promote it. Just make video after video till it starts cooking, bro. Eight hours. Call it call it G night, dude. G night, bro. We will find it, probably, bro. Probably. But we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll see we'll see how uh I still have way too much work on my hands. Isn't this what the stream already is when it's bedtime? Shut up, dude. I, you know, I gotta, I'll keep that balanced so you won't randomly hear me. Let's fucking go really loud. Is this song from Beat Saber? Yes, it is. You mean you haven't found it yet, dude? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? So that means you, so that means realistically, chat, you could have Griffey 24 7. Man, imagine listening to me 24 7. What, what a dream. What a world to live in. Is there an easy way to rearrange cogs without individually dragging them? Unfortunately not. Fortunately not, dude. Yo, auto sort, auto sort cogs when? That'd be the dream. That's what I'm waiting for. Auto sorts everything but your booster cogs? That would be, that would be good. That's what we need. Awesome quality of life. Actually, I have to do cogs soon. Have to do the cogs again real soon, actually. Yeah, auto sort with lockable tiles. Yeah, exactly. 100 roll? Here it is. Come on, ding me a tier 3. Come on! Come on! Bro. Forever alone, dude. Just saying, my dudes, what's going on? On repeat? That would get annoying real quick, dude. Alright, this is the one. <gasps> Wait! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please, 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 please. Another- Another 88? Another fucking 88? What do we mean? That's the exact same one! Why would you give me a duplicate? What are the odds of that? This game's bullshit, dude. Don't play this game, by the way. This game's dog shit. 
Anybody that's promoting this game is a fucking shill, and they should never ever play this game because it's absolutely fucking terrible. Fucking dog shit game, dude. One star, dude. 88 should be enough? It's not. I need 90, dude. I need 90. No, I got an 88 beforehand. Would you have that? No, no, I need 90. You must get the previous star talent max level 90 before you can purchase this. Okay, bye. Time to restall Wizard 101, dude. No, look. What am I looking at? What? Eighty-eight. What am I looking? Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. We're both eighty-eight. Yo, peace out, snail. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, it's 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 unlocked to show, but I can't I can't purchase it. It doesn't give me the purchase. No, you see how I can purchase here, but I can't purchase here. Trust me, dude. I can't buy it. Trust. No flurbos. But then how come I can purchase this even though I don't have enough Flurbos? I promise you, I fucking promise you, I don't have it unlocked. Promise you. Alright, last one, chat. Last one of the day, and then we're done party dungeons for the whole week. We've crushed out all of our party dungeons for the week, dude. Holy moly. That was a lot of party dungeons. 100% you have it unlocked? Nick, I d uh, trust me, dude, I don't. Trust me, bro, I don't. Do not have it unlocked. It's the worst thing that's happened to anyone ever, dude. Yeah, true. True and real. Try getting Amarok. Yeah, okay, let me let me go let me go fight let me go fight Nightmare. I'll be right back. BT dubs. That's uh that's a death waiting to happen. Should max first blue dungeon stat? Uh a mixture of base damage and max damage or damage percent. We are almost rank 25 as well, Chet. So you plan to die this to this run, dude? Fuck. I'd rather not. How about a bet? How much you want to bet, Nick? How much you want to bet that I do not have it unlocked yet? 5k bits? Okay, so how do we know if it's unlocked or not? Because I know I can't purchase it. Get the Flurbos. Alright. I won't be able to get the Flurbos this run, and I can't even see how much it is. I can't even see how much it is, bro. The only way to truly tell is if, if, the, if I actually hit a plus 90, and it actually unlocks, then it'll show the Flurbo cost without having the amount of Flurbos. Now, what happens if I lose? What happens if I lose? Because you don't have a Twitch account, so I can't do 5k bits. Got a friend to start Iron on your Iron Man account? Did it's not going that good for him? Yeah, if your friend's thinking about starting an Iron Man account, he should just play the normal game. Cost 200. All right. All right. All right. Feel like an Iron Man for them, dude. Nick was right. You have to fight Efon tonight. Well, that's impossible. I wouldn't be able to get it by tonight. It'll be past midnight before I could get to that point. How about a manager Discord role for Thomas for one day, then ban him? Bro, he would destroy the fucking Discord. He would he would destroy the fucking Discord. All the Discord names would be like, Griffy, hang out with me. Just name him, dude. Very banned from the Discord. You don't trust Thomas? Bro. 
be honest with you, I fucking don't I don't trust anybody that's like, hey, uh, without asking for your consent, I want to hang out with you. Uh, come come hang out, bro. Yeah, that that shit's weird to me, dude. It's Ninja's old manager. Thomas and Infinity Wealth content. I mean, you're not wrong. So when's the sleepover collab? I don't know, Marby's? All right, all right. Yo, peace out, Zingo. Hang out with me, Plocks. Get me shark blizzard. Yeah, is there Excel sheet? Best place to farm each individual statue? Uh, I... The, uh... The video that I make for statue... For statue guide would be the place. Um, just rule of thumb, if it's a crystal mob that drops the statues... It's a crystal mob that drops the statues, you want to use Divine Knight. But if it's a normal mob that drops the statues, you want to do it on the Sorcerer. I don't know if there's necessarily a guide for it. But I can, I can ramp them off pretty quickly. World 1, board beans on DK for crystals. World 2, sand castles for, uh, for crystals. World 3, Dedidaid rams. World 4 is clammies. World 5 is citrons and then um i you have a choice of either wood mushrooms or walking sticks for accuracy statues uh you also have uh i believe it's what blokes for seesaw cryo snakes for two soul and I don't remember, but there's only, there's only like two, two things to drop from me, yes. No, no it doesn't, unfortunately. Kyro, uh, Kyro Snakes for construction, and then I believe Two Souls is Quenchies? I think, I think it might be Quenchies or Penguins? One of those? Quenchies, yeah? Okay, yeah, Quenchies. Chad. Absolute Chad. No, thank you, dude. All right, all right, all right. But we got to get to 90 Milky Way first before we can even buy it. So, I mean, hey, hey, you know, thank you for the five gay biddies, dude. Good bet. Good bet. But I mean, maybe I'll just do what? Maybe I'll just do some Marbies just in case. I'll do Marbies anyways, dude. Do Marbies anyways. Because you guys are so down bad for fucking Marbies, dude. Beanie from Limited Shop get plus one stats. It does. It does. There's actually believe it or not, chat. There's a lot of items in this game that aren't shown on the slab that do count for slab. Should do the random event. You should fuck right off, dude. Fuck right off with your random event, dude. Did I hear Marbies? <laughs> Marbies? Huh? No, dude. No, dude! No! My gains! Why? Lame. Fucking lame. I didn't know that happened on fucking web as well. Man, oh, it didn't count! Hey! Hey! Hey, we got one more! Hey, let's go! Alright, alright. I guess that just prolongs the inevitable then. Save, bro. It's fucking save, dude. Gotta love it when the crash is the crash prevention comes out, dude. All according to plan. Yeah, that wasn't a hundred roll. This is the fucking run. This is the fucking run, dude. 
By the way, I need you- I need to get you guys their new bit badges. I've been- I've been slacking on that. I'll try to be better, chat. I'm sorry. Now that explains how you got yourself a jackpot. Yeah, I just force crash every single time. I was like, my precious Flurbos, dude. My- you have no idea how precious my Flurbos are at this time. Years to unlock the next thing. I thought Red Salts was bad, dude. Welcome to I actual idle games, bro. This game, this, you know, you guys think this game is like time gated as shit, dude? Play another idle game, bro. You'll you'll see exactly that this game is not that badly time gated. Not even close. That other shit is way worse. Some shit takes you like I play Maple Story. Yeah, true. Maple Story is so bad. Ah, uh, but thanks for the emotes. Hell yeah, dude. The the cursed bit emotes. <laughs> Actually, Idle Games is unlocked periods longer than the observable universe. Maple Story takes literally months to years, bro. Griffy Bunny solos, dude. Bro, just just even just even the Maple Story fucking Legion grind is brutal. Damn, the cursed emojis, bro. The cursed emojis go ham, bro. For five months to reach SSR on an idle game, dude. Yeah, that's bad. Idle scaling is quite literally time gated. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad on the time gate. Maple Story is bad. Maple Story is really bad for progression, dude. Idle Scaling is one of those better idle games. Yeah, you play it once, and then you're like, okay, I get it. All right, no more. No more of this shit. I'm done. Idle Scaling's fine, dude. Nah, dude. Morphin, nah, you just, you just bad. I don't skilling's fine. It's a fucking skill issue. I know how to play that game for 300 hours, dude. Yeah, I mean, hey. I don't know how players can't appreciate idle skilling because Eidolon's just better. Yeah, true and real. More fun with IS than Eidolon, to be honest. Slowest shit I've ever played, idle skilling's more like lab. Bruh, is that bad to me for the idle skilling, dude? Yeah, do you have the idle skilling trophy? Tal. When those emotes become a thing? They've always been a thing, bro. You just... The reason why you don't know about them, Rupert, is because you just figured out about biddies this fucking month, bro. I was going to be I.I. if you're just doing the crossover event, just still... Yeah, exactly. I'm about to get it, dude. Just don't have it. Sounds like a skill issue. Sounds like a skill issue. Ah, bap, bap. See? See, Ripper, you have them. Right there, dude. Actually, I'm pretty sure you have all of them, I believe, now, Rupert. No, I think I think there might be a hundred K. Is there a hundred K one? I don't remember. I think there might be one. Maybe spamming that bunny, dude. You go for it, bro. That's what they're there for. Bunny or the whale, dude. I need to make another one. I need to figure out more mobs to make. Rupert loves the bunny. He's a big fan of the bunny, dude. Make him a marbles bunny. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, dude. Bunny and Jordan. Preglo with your face on it when, dude? Bro, I'll put that one at 100k bitties, dude. I'll put I'll put a Preglo one with a fucking 100k bits, dude. Absolutely. Easy, bro. Easy. No problem. Threat me with a good time. That's what I'm talking about. This is this what you love to see. Would you take 50k dollars or play idle skilling every day on stream and forget Eilon? I'd take 50k? I'd take 50k? What? Fuck, I'd take, I'd take fucking 2k. Fuck, I would do it for free. Fuck. Just wouldn't fucking play idle skilling, fuck. Oh wait, oh oh it's oh, I I saw an ore. Would I take would I take 50k? 
No. I would not take 50 gay to play idle skilling every day. Because that means I could never go to a different game. I'd be forever stuck. Do song requests work? They do. I'm just not playing them right now. Marble emote for everyone to use? Uh, I mean, we already do have one. It's a 7 TV, though. Idle coping. Yeah, Pickle, can you refund Dex's song request? Last run of the day, might as well just... Yeah, see? The ball's right there. Balls. Balls. Is there a way to do the normal Twitch client or do I have to go to mod view? I think you have to go to mod view. Pretty sure there's no other way around, unfortunately. Man, these skulls just don't want to drop, eh? Wow, no skull drops. Wow. Wow, we wow, wow. Good game. Good game. 10 out of 10. So this is the last one is going to give us a hondo here. Or I think all we need... Actually, I think all we need is a 95, I'm pretty sure. Wow, uh, imagine not getting any skulls for this run, dude. Last run ain't so blessed. Wow, we act this is actually wow, we got we got really screwed over, dude. Yeah, we're basically out. Materials. Rip. Alright, that's it. So what happens now? Do we just chill for the next two minutes? Chill for the next two and a half minutes. Just crash again. Yeah, this is the run shit. It's not the run. We got crash. That being said, no, we, we got to set up before we get off stream, dude. Party dungeons is a dream. Party dungeons is your life. It is what it is. Chop the tree. I can't. I need a plat axe. I can't even chop the fucking tree. I don't even have the proper tools, man. Hell, do you think this is? Think this is a goddamn IKEA? Think we can just build our own weapons? What the fuck? Make a plat axe, dude. Yeah, true. Get good. Yeah, it'd probably help. Probably, probably help, dude. Roll in weapons. See if I can get anything good here. And 10% crit chance, and 9% total damage, and 21%, and 6%, and 9%, and 5% boss damage. Wow, all of these, wow, these are actually... I, Because this game doesn't take realism into account, okay? You can't get gains from AFK, dude. Imagine if that was possible, chat. Imagine if you could get stuff done while sleeping, bro. Bro. That'd be next level, alright? That'd be, that'd be some serious shit. AFK for three years, you can. You need a hatchet, not an axe. Yeah, I mean, it's that new world mechanics, you know? Oh, chat, by the way, it's official. It's official. I escaped tax evasion. I paid my taxes. Everything's paid. We're good. We're solid now. We're officially a fake streamer now. We're a fake content creator. Because everyone knows the true ta true content creators commit tax evasion, right? So we're not we're not real anymore, unfortunately. We're we're fake. Tech Discord DM. Right. Yo, Mr. Mew, dude. Yo, thank you. Thank you for the uh thank you for the cards, bro. I appreciate it. Hell yeah. Yo, Wolf the Paladin, dude. Thank you for the beginner. Appreciate it, dude. That, okay, that's on hold. Rip. Okay, nice. Thank you. Huge. Okay, confirmed trade. Okay, thank you for that one, dude. Huge. Love it. So I got one on hold. That feels bad, bro. 
Alright. This is the one. Here we go, chat. Thirty-three. Come on, give me a hundo. <gasps> there it is. Oh, that's a chain blobulite, baby. The last one gave me the hundred. Let's fucking go. That's the money. That's what we're looking for. Come on, be a juicer. That's an all-around good keychain. That is an all-around solid keychain. It's pretty good because this helps skilling and it helps damage. And it's better than the other one I had. All around W. Could be better. All around W. All around. Okay, here we go. And this is going to be a 100 book. 44. Fuck me. God damn it. God damn it. What are you doing? What, Nick, what are you doing? Nick, what are you doing? What are you doing? Bro! <laughs> Bro, he's just getting crazy with it, dude. Yeah. Bless Game Crash. Absolutely. It was calculated. Dude, thank you so much. I'm having fun. You have all the fun you want. Bro, hey, don't let me stop you from having fun, bro. You keep on, you keep on having fun, dog. Hey. Hey. Keep on with that fun. You know? Hey. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. Now let's see what our total damage upgrade is here, chat. Why does it look like you unlocked the next talent? Because I got close, but I didn't get close enough. It's a teaser. So, our damage- Ooh, Snake Swarm? Yikes. Nope. We started off at 4,000 damage, chat. 4,000 damage, now we're at 6,500. 165 defense, almost 700 accuracy. There it is. Pet the snakes? I'm not touching no fucking snakes. I ain't touching the snakes, dog. That's so fucking cursed, dude. That's so cursed. <laughs> My fucking eyes, dude. My fucking eyes, bro. Bro, that's so bad, dude. That's so bad, bro. Looking forward to that to smile, dude. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. That's, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Oh man, I feel so bad. Bro, Lava just messaged me and he said, dude, I just woke up and saw your comment and I fucked up somehow. Oh man, I wasn't being I wasn't being serious. I was just kidding. Oh I was I was trolling, bro. I was I was trolling. I was trolling. Man. Trolled too hard? Yeah, sometimes you troll too hard. Oh, because he made a Megalodon guide. But chat, you ready for this? Ready for this, chat? New badge. Next badge is ready to craft. Pew. 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 Bang, 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 bang. Boyd Walker. Hands up, baby! Infinite is on the next one. Hey, anybody got a Beastmaster? Anybody got a Beastmaster for Infinite Doing pretty good. Level four. Level four, dude. Me? Yo, send me that fucking Beastmaster, dog. Send me that Beastmaster, homie. Mass got one, dude. Big Booty Judy's got one. Zem's got one, dude. Decro's got one. Lol, I need my Beastmaster. I do I put it on hold unless I find a way to stream guard my account, dude? Man, rip. Man, big rip, dude. Got rank 50 results? Hell yeah, my dude. 
I'm big booty Judy. I don't even know what that means, but hell yeah, dude. All right, chat, where's the... Never mind, I found it. Okay, we're just gonna... Just gonna stand. There it is, okay. Imagine the snake moves, just hops on me, bro. See, don't it see I can't attack it because it's right on a rope. If I if I if I attack it on the rope, I'll be dead. I'll die. Because I'll just walk to the rope. That's a death. It's an easy death. Touch it, you touch it. Rupert, you first, bro. Touch it. F fucking no balls, dude. Bro, I'm fine, bro. <laughs> this is PTSD, dude. My heart, my actually, believe it or not, my, my heart rate went up. My heart rate actually went up, dude. What's up, Llama, dude? I was just kidding, Llama. That was a joke, buddy. It was 100% it was a joke. It was I, was just, I was just busting your balls. Yo, that guy just walked past it like nobody's business. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna take it down. It's gonna be fine. Sent the bees master? Hell yeah, dude! Climb up the rope, please, G. No, I don't. Boo! We just did a bunch. We just did a bunch of fucking. We literally, we literally just did a bunch. You didn't die, did you? No, I didn't die. I came back to the snake, dude. Oh, good. I just could be sure. Texas, no contact. Yeah, sure. For sure, dude. We're talking to the NPC guy. No, no. Chad, I know you want it to happen, but it's not going to happen. I'm going to I'm going to get rid of my PTSD here, okay? This is vengeance for the first dude. Absolutely. There it is. Yes. Nick gifting a T3 sub. Yo, thank you, my dude. T3 Sheesh! Yo, what a... Yo, thank you so much, dude. Goddamn. Look at that, Llama. You got a whole T3, buddy. You're a big juicer. Oh, yo, they gave me 15 health statues? That's kind of big, bro. It's kind of big. Kinda, that's kind of huge. That's kind of huge. How much health is that? Boom, 18 health extra, dude. So what's the new card thing? Oh yeah, true, dude, true. We got a, we got a new pending card here, pending trade offer. Yo, Matt, giving me uh, giving me the beast. Oh, uh, trade held for fifteen days. Fuck. Yo, anybody got a beast master that wouldn't put me on hold? Any beast masters in chat? Yo, peace out, wild. Too many freebies? Yeah, apparently they're like, yo, this guy's getting too many freebies. He's probably thinking I'm like, I've got a fucking trading account. Just... Fucking hell. Okay, the real question is, here's the real question, chat. I was getting pumped by moon men, okay? Stream badge kingpin, dude. To be honest, you can't are, dude. I mean, hey man, I got the IBA, bro. What I say? IBA comes in clutch. IBA is the hero that I don't deserve, but the hero I need. What did you just say? Uh, I don't know. <gasps> Yo, we got carrot men, dude? Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me, you're a what? What am I? I can give you my dupe, that's all I can part with dude. Wait, what did I say, chat? Wait, what did I say? Did I say something sus? Wait, what I, wait. Oh, oh, I got pumped by Mo Oh, true. True, I got, yeah, I got, okay, yeah, yeah. You're getting pumped by Mo Oh, I see, sometimes I just say things without realizing that I said them, dude. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. 
Wait, are those guys on the spike traps? Wait, hold on here. Excuse me? Wait, are the spike traps deactivated on this map? Bro, I don't fucking trust that, dude. No, no, no. I don't, I, no, I don't trust that, dude. They're probably, like, invisible. No, there's no way they're not invisible, dude. Bro, this is so dicey. I don't like this at all, dude. I'm, bro, I'm, I'm fucking freaking out here. I'm thinking the spikes are here, bro. 100% think the spikes are just invisible. Don't stand where it ends. Yeah, true, dude, true. I'm not going over there, dude. You can't, you can't fucking make me. Oh, yeah, true. Don't stand here when it... Oh, true. Don't stand here when it ends. Oh, true. Probably spikes show back up. Oh, dude, true. Fucking true, dude. True. Yo, that's dicey, dude. That's fucking big dice. Good, good call. Good call, chat. Good call. That would have been rough. Okay, what can we buy? Okay, so... Well, I mean, obviously, chat, we just buy balls, right? Like, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I think, I think we just buy balls. Yeah, I mean, balls. Crystals. Not, <laughs> fuck off. I'm not buying no fucking crystals, dude. Just shut the fuck up with that. Buy them balls, dude. All right. We have 40 balls here, chat. 40 balls. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Reward you guys with some balls. Been going balls and dungeon dice on my free to play. It'd be smart, dude. Smart. Jackpot? Dude, there ain't no fucking way a jackpot's happening right here, dude. Yeah, that's what I thought. Give me more wisdom. Oh, I can't even afford the wisdom one. I'll afford some more defense, I guess. Well, that was kind of sad. He didn't get anything good. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Are we are we still getting roughed up by moon men? Because apparently chat is sussy baka. Ooh, we only take one damage. Ooh, we take one damage. How's our damage looking? Ah, uh, it's better. It's a lot better. Yeah, the gold ball shop rotated. Oh, oops. I got a. I mean, yeah, it's a lot better than what it was. So, I mean, we're just going to get this done faster. What's my AFK time? 181. That's actually pretty good for no multi-kill, dude. 181 with no multi-kill? I will fucking take that. Absolutely. That's way better. It's a good. It's good stuff. That's what I like to see. What I like to see, dude. That's what I like to see. But chat. Chat, chat, chitty chat, dude. That being said. That being said, chat. That being said, I know it was a good stream today. Lots of fun, lots of high energy. You'd love to see it, dude. That's the end of stream, chat. That's the end of stream. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had fun. We were back at it. Ready to go for the beautiful, beautiful Monday. We got huge gains today. And then we're going to be doing a lot of pushing in E-Font. Might be happening on Wednesday, chat. Big old E-Font happening on the Wednesday. So make sure you're there. Make sure you're square. And make sure you're ready to get some... Gains, I guess. Uh, you know, fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you for all the follows today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you for all the follows over the weekend. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. I hope you guys see you guys again. Oh, for all the good times for the Iron Man. And uh, make sure, yeah, make sure you're hip and, you know, cool and all that good stuff or what those, what the, what the Zoomers call it, uh, fire. Hope you're fire. Uh, <laughs> thank, thank you for all the biddies today. You know, the gifted subs, dude. The biddies, the gifted subs, the donos, everything in between, guys. Keeps stream reality, keeps your brother off the streets, keeps the IBA rations nice and high, and keeps the IBA content for you guys to help you guys on your idol on journey. Make sure to tune in because this week we're going to have another beautiful Iron Man episode. So you guys definitely don't want to miss that. And chat, we are getting super, super close 
to the amazing super awesome 15,000 subscribers on the main channel. So if you guys haven't subbed yet, make sure you go sub, make sure you watch some videos, make sure you give it a like, make sure you give it the bell, put it in the comments, put it in the algorithm, all that good stuff. Help out the IBA because we are all one of the same. But with that being said, I've been your guild master for today. My name is GriffyBit, proud owner and leader of this beautiful, dedicated, hardworking, giga chad, super cool party dungeon farming, Megalodon guide looking. I mean, and I mean, to be fair, Lama, that was a good video, by the way. Unfortunately, you are still only the Megalodon prince. You cannot overtake the fucking king. Itty bitty army. With that being said, guys, I bless all the wing gambas upon you. I hope you guys get all the good gains. I hope you guys figure out all your sick fish facts. I hope you guys stay safe. Happy grinding. And peace out. Good night, chat. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bye! See you later! Bless up! Bye! You know, don't get killed by a random event if you're doing your Iron Man, because that sucks! Okay, bye-bye, see you later. Okay, nothing left to see here. Okay, go away now. Alright, go watch somebody else, okay? Maybe, maybe Llama stream.